to the 846 people know that it is time! <laughs> We have a lot to do tonight, we have a lot to talk about, and I am very excited. So, for context, uh, we might watch the lyrics call if it really comes up in there, but the main call that I want to discuss is the Mudahar one. Because Mudahar is not a random YouTuber uh, covering the story. This is, Mudahar is a person who knows Max. Mood has been in Max's corner for a long time. I, I think they stayed together at VidCon. I've offered uh, Mudahar to come speak to me on stream today, but I do not want to make him feel like he's, um, you know, on the spot or something. I don't know a lot of people. I'm sorry, that's not even true. I, I, I was about to say I don't know a lot of people who are like on Max's side, but I, do, I know a bunch of them. Um, I spoke to a, a good friend of mine, Lord Vega, someone I have a podcast with. Uh, well, I had a podcast with Half Baked Podcast. A lot of you guys really liked it back then. I would love to work with Vega again in the future. He worked with me and Turkey Tom back then. But again, Vega is somebody who says like Max is a good guy, and I guarantee if I brought him on, he'd say very much the same. Um, he's very friendly with him. Gets along in person. I think he's met him at VidCon as well. There are a lot of YouTubers who very much respect Mama Max. Uh, and they were a lot more vocal beforehand, but I mean, when you criticized Mama Max two years ago, you would be bombarded with, like, a lot of these, like, the film guys, like the Night Docs type people. Um, I don't know if he was in it, but our donation sound, uh, who the fuck's our donation sound for this? Not Hassan, the other one. Um, what was his name, chat? Who did we debate on, I think it was copyright? Again, there's like, all these, like, film buff YouTubers and, like, guys who, who try to make, like, movie content. Um, Oki's Weird Stories, yeah, yeah. They make, like, movie-quality documentaries and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure he was, like, a, a pretty solid person with Max. I don't know their friends, but he was a, he defended him back then, too, if I remember correctly. Right? Um, I know Nuxtaku, even though I'm not a huge fan of Nuxtaku myself, um, is one of the people on that list, alongside Nexpo. Nexpo makes, like, amazing documentaries. Covers stuff like this multiple times, right? And he's done it well. Mudahar has done investigations into the Club Penguin thing. He's been involved with the Gerard the Completionist case, so not just st strictly on things that involve like minors and stuff like that. But he's covered uh, a lot of high-level cases. A lot of his videos, sure, there's some of those, hey, what's going on, guys? Let's talk about the current trend. Kind of similar to like a, a, a video you'd see Charlie put out, like a lazier, you know, just generic commentary video. But when Mudahar needs to do deep documentary uh, dive-ins, where he needs to look at stuff um, under the finer tooth comb and, and investigate something serious, uh, he's been known to do that on uh, time to time. So these are friends in high places, I guess, for uh, for Max. And I would love to hear from someone who, who knows him, knows what content he was making, who's defended him in the past and kind of explain what they saw in that content that was was valuable enough to jump in and, and jump into because now i've been seeing streams from trud logic calling into question all of his older content lyrix is doing a, a video right now calling into question a lot of his older content stuff that i've never been around for i mean if you look back two years ago i was fighting with max so i i, I wasn't one of the people who were out there um pushing that stuff at the time i'm wondering uh, from those perspective, from somebody who is there, somebody who's seen it, I want to hear what they have to say. So I did invite Mudahar on tonight. He hasn't got back to me just yet. I'm wondering if he will. And, um, we, ha we have just hit 1k concurrent. So I guess that means we can kind of hear, uh, this one. This call in particular on the live stream, um, is the most impactful. A lot of people like to listen to the Xyli one that we'll get to in a little while. And I get why, but this is a friend to a friend kind of just having a you'll see I'll, I'll explain it as we go yes sir it's been a minute yeah I'm good, I'm good so last time we talked max i thought you got you had a video about this coming out the concise documentary a timeline a comprehensive timeline so this is kind of important here apparently max was working on a comprehensive 
timeline. We were finally going to get that video. Apparently, Mudahar reached out to him privately, and they discussed that he was making this video, and it was coming out. And I'd heard when I was making my stream that within one or two days, you might not, we might want to either do this quickly or slowly, depending on how much you want to go back and talk about it more. But supposedly, the big video is dropping, and instead of that big video, we got this live stream. So Muda's like, "What the fuck is going on?" Uh, we released a short saying that as things have evolved, it's taking longer. Uh, more, sur like I told you, more survivors and witnesses are coming forward and joining. Uh, and that's oh. what's causing the delay. But it was like a You're saying, nah, he reached out? No, no, no. There, There's more to it than that. Yeah, they did speak on the first live stream, but also Mudahar reached out to him privately and was supposedly shown some of the evidence that I myself have not seen. The stuff that the public has not gotten a chance to see just yet. So Mudahar had not only the public conversation, but also a separate private one. And that plays into the whole narrative of like, well, I've reached out to all these YouTubers to help me. Well, now somebody has attempted to help Max. And the outcome is perplexing to say the least, I would say. A legal notice or something. You guys are you guys are you guys are getting like legal and everything involved already, right? Like Correct. And, well, We've already so. spoken with a lawyer. They suggested we don't even pursue him civilly just because if he doesn't have substantial assets, there's no point in a civil suit. So he recommended that we all go in person to file a police report, uh, and that will make them take us the most seriously because we've tried phone calls and. I mean, phone calls for the law enforcement? Yes. We recently okay. called uh, Baldwin County uh, Sheriff's Department, mm -hmm. and I spoke to a sheriff's deputy and, you know, even asked for an email so I could send them what evidence we do have. And They weren't interested yeah, in even looking at it. He okay, I want to talk about this really quickly. Um, this is a bit fucking frustrating for me. Um, and I know I tried to speak about this on the Chud thing, and I got kind of shut down about it, but I I'm going to say it on my own show here, too. That's not a good excuse. I went to the police is usually the barrier of entry for these stories. I don't like talking about stories that are up in the air. I don't want to be four hours into a, a situation about fucking pedo and rape allegations and have to be asking what happened. So if I sound a little bit more frustrated on episode two than I am on episode one, it's because more info came out and none of it was the stuff that I was asking for in the last stream. So I guess the level of charitability is slowly crawling down. So when I cover these stories, there are two things I'm looking for. Has somebody attempted to go to the police? That's number one. What hasn't, what, what has caused them to go public after the police? Have they, have they gone through proper law enforcement? Years ago, we were covering a story called Instagram Wake Up. And I'm going to compare it to this because what Max is doing right now is essentially gathering several victims so he can go to the police to attempt to put a predatory figure allegedly away in jail. And this is a huge operation moving on, getting all these people involved, getting them to go all at one place, getting all of them on board to even do that, to bring them all down to Georgia, to go state your case, to try to be taken seriously by, by law enforcement. This is not an easy process. This is not baby's first rape investigation, baby's first pedo investigation. It is not baby's first- <laughs> Instagram wake up in particular, I had to watch a bunch of people who have never done this before make all of the known mistakes involved with the case. Okay? They they went to the the internet police. They sub submitted to the FBI tip line, waited 3 days, didn't hear back and thought, "Let's do let's go put everything public." And they did very much the opposite of what Max is doing in this case and sent everything out that all the information got deleted and they and they blew a hole through it. If you haven't seen it, one of my earliest videos on my YouTube channel are categorizing how people like Twoon, uh, Bo Blacks was involved, but not to the extent that it turned out that he actually was like investigating this thing fully. Augie was the the, the, the host in which was, was was hosting like the show or whatever to promote it or whatever. Uh, Charm Skull was another person involved. But it, it, that was very much so Baby's first investigation. This is bigger. There are people like living with him, right? There, there are people... I mean, th this is like a massive undertaking is what I'm trying to explain. And when I hear somebody says... 
I'm going to the fucking police or whatever, and I talked to a sheriff's deputy and they weren't interested. My next question is, well, what did you say to their superior? When are you going? Who did you call after that? Did you ask for like anybody else to, to file a report with? What's the next step for you? It's not just, oh, I talked to some deputy. You're handling the fucking potential child abuse case for eight people. What did the deputy say? I know what the, the, the sheriff's, uh, the, the fucking, well, what did the sheriff say? You talk to the deputy. What did the sheriff say? Who does that guy report to? What did that guy say? Keep going. You go up. You make more calls. You talk until somebody answers. This is eight fucking cases of child abuse. That is the first thing you do. That is like the most important thing to do. And I don't care what these people want to do. That's for your, like you have to like play to that. But if they tell you, I'm not interested in pursuing that, you should urge them. You don't have to force them, but you should urge them to reconsider their decision. Because throughout this whole process, I, all I'm hearing from Max is, well, I'm doing what the survivors want. Well, the survivors don't always have their best interest at heart, or the survivors don't always know the best way to handle it. That's why they came to you, the guy with experience, supposedly. Okay? So you need to give them advice and try to convince them to make better decisions when it comes to stuff like that. You need to empower them to do things that will help them going forward. It's not, oh, I don't know, I wanted to go work on my video, but the survivors want me to do a live stream. If the survivors knew the live stream was going to be a commentary debate panel against Smaggledaggle, then the survivors shouldn't be considered in that discussion. I, that's, that's just stupid. Why are you debating Smaggledaggle? If they knew what to do, why do they need you? Okay, so let's listen to this. It was like, oh, well, it didn't happen in our jurisdiction, so we can't do anything, even though we... He resides in their jurisdiction. Yeah. I thought you guys had, like, the feds or something involved, too. I don't know. It's been a minute since we've covered this whole thing, but... This has been, oh, like, I, I heard a bit of the lyric stuff at the end of it, and you guys were discussing the whole concept of doxing and everything and all this stuff. And it was just, like, a matter of this whole story, it hasn't really properly Slidey been Weasley told fuck. yet to the mass public. You know what I mean? Yes, we know. Which, which like, and that's the big problem, right? It's, like, for people to come in here and, like, the thing is, it's like you're accusing somebody of really serious situations, right? Like, a, like this guy of really serious crimes. And I know that you believe you're in the right. And from a personal perspective, I know that you feel you have the evidence and you feel like you know what you're doing is the right thing. But the thing about it is, like, if you want people to take this as seriously as you guys are taking it, you need to start providing that evidence to the public and provide, like, an actual story, you know? Like, I've seen the evidence that you posted, and obviously there's an NDI sign, so I can't publicly discuss this with anyone. But I can say, obviously, it, like, you know, it contains... Uh, one side of the events and obviously you know my thing on screenshots is that unless I refresh something from a server myself I never usually believe it or jump on the gun. Uh, you know recently I covered a you know scam situation where I had to pretty much dot my eyes and cross and he's my talking about Gerard I make here. the accusations right and obviously with a situation like this look I know that you know that there is something amiss here right like with the cam the, this Camden individual I know you know right like I know you from a personal level I know that you believe this and you're not doing this out of I would say malice, but I, I hope you understand that the way that this whole situation has been pre has been presented has actually hurt this case, unfortunately, because from the public perspective, it's like people have been sitting here for months now waiting for uh, a definitive, you know, ti not timeline, but like a definitive proof on this individual. And it's all just been a mess being presented. And I think it actually hurts the victim in the situation more than it actually is assisting. We are wasting valuable time. And that's what Mudahar is talking about here. They, like every second that we spend having these conversations instead of getting that video done and getting that 
message put out there to the most like digestible degree okay if i show the video to my mom she needs to be able to digest what happened in their story i was much nicer in the first stream okay i understand if you're a filmmaker trying to make something uh you don't want it to be called an arg but it really looks like an arg okay my mom watching that does not understand what the fuck you're doing okay i can't show that to my fucking friends who I hang out with. I can't go my non-YouTube friends. I can't hand them this and they're like, oh, okay, Camden Gerard Davis is a uh, fucking vampire cultist potential pedophile who apparently fucking punches pregnant women in the stomach, okay? They're not pulling that from not one video, not two videos, but they're not pulling that from three videos, okay? The, the process needs to be, I'm going to get this, and, and by the way, I don't even agree with going directly to the internet in a lot of these cases. But at, but at least to do that, okay? You need to present something in video one, if not in video one and video two, and if not in video two and video three, that easily explains what you're accusing this person of and providing basic information. I, I, I know everyone knows this already, but I guess Max doesn't. It should be pretty eye-opening if someone watches your entire series and all we know is his name and his mom's name. Okay? That's like, that's gotta be like the first fucking thing. I need to know more about him. Because if you weren't Mama Max, okay? If you weren't Mama Max who had a history of doing this type of content with a bunch of big YouTubers backing you, telling everybody that you're such a good guy, because it's starting to sound like uh, the way that people treat Gerard, I guess, where it's like, listen, I stand up for his character. I know he's a good guy. It's starting to sound kind of like that. You got 15 people willing to come out and say that you're a good guy, right? I, I mean, <laughs> I need to know more. I would be much harder on you. Like, everyone would be much harder on you. If this was, like, <laughs> and, and the thing is, I, I'm saying, like, if this was your first time, but it kind of is because you've never done anything this size before, and you are so out of your depth. That's why this isn't a debate right now. What we're listening to, this Mudahar conversation, that's why it's not a debate. It sounds more like a dad telling their son that they're disappointed in them. There's no fight back here. There's no, well, Mudahar, this is actually what I meant. You're wrong. This is a dad disciplining his son. ...them at this point. You know, last time we had a conversation weeks ago, me, you, and Nux, we had this discussion. It's like, you gotta not do the streams, you gotta bunker down, get this entire video out. And the moment you present this individual in the in the light that it, 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 the moment you present the story in a way that everyone can follow, victims will just naturally pour in. You know, it, this isn't a situation where we got to sit down and wait for everyone to join together like a class action lawsuit. All this is doing is it, it's jumbling up the story and it's making people question you. And it's it, it's ultimately hurting the entire victims at the end of the day, which I don't want to see happen. You don't want to see happen. This story needs to be presented properly. And that's that's it at the end of the day. You know, we've, it's been over a month, it's been two months now, and it's just been a jumbled story. Like, most of the people that are talking about this, outside of this circle specifically, they don't even know Camden. They just have heard Black Vampire die, but they don't know the real extent of what this person's done. They, they don't know the, the, they don't know anything about this cult. I still don't even know everything about this cult. We have no explanation of how this cult operates, how it gathers victims and what it does, its entire procedures and, and whatnot. Presenting that, presenting this ringleader and how it works and how children are brought into the situation and how they're turned into these really, really dark fucking situations. That needs to be properly explained. I, I really feel like that has to be the thing, you know? If I was if I was in your shoes and this was my story, what I would do is I would present this cult, I would present Camden, and I would tell people, hey, listen, this is a guy that's done some real- This is why I don't call into his show. He wanted me on, he wanted to do an interview, he said I'm a truth seeker, and I am. I want to know what Camden did. I'm not here to crucify Mama Max. I want to understand more about this vampire cult and the eight people who are looking to him to help them legally, some of them financially, because they're living with him, okay? This is serious. There are actual people involved here. This isn't some fucking stupid YouTube drama. Okay? So yeah, I am a truth seeker. I want to know about Camden Gerard Davis. And I think uh, there's a lot of people in this audience. I, I polled my audience the other night. They didn't think so. Maybe their opinion has changed. A high percentage of the audience that is watching this story on other channels thinks that Max is a clout demon, thinks that he's just in a niche trying to make as much money as possible, trying to take advantage of people who are um, 
like, you know, predisposed to supporting people who make content hunting pedophiles because they themselves have been abused. And if that's tr like true, that's like demonic. I like to believe that's not the case. I like to believe that this guy is a fucking filmmaker who's in way over his head, who asks for help and fucking went ballistic trying to like figure out this whole fucking scenario. And he doesn't want to take criticism on the matter because he believes his method is right. Because people have told him for years that it is okay to call in all these huge YouTubers and celebrities for your cause because your cause is just. And people on fucking YouTube and people on Twitter have told him that what he is doing is good. I know it because I experienced it firsthand when he was doing fucking videos in an ARG format talking about how Susan Wojcicki needs to step down and had fucking pictures of dolls getting lynched or whatever on the screen in like a horror movie fashion as he explained why his video was taken down because YouTube loves pedophiles. Okay, I remember what people were saying to me when I said, hey man, that's that seems a little hardcore. They were like, you, fuck you, this guy's protecting fucking, I, I'm a fucking victim, I'll have you know I was molested 52 times and fucking, this guy's making content to hunt, hunt pedos, what have you done, how many pedos have you, I, I get it, I, get it. I, I had to deal with this, everyone who's covering this had to deal with this at some point, but this year, when Max woke up and made the same video for the third year in a row, suddenly everyone was like, you know what, fuck that, this is ridiculous, this is crazy, I don't like this, this is weird. Why is he calling out Charlie? And everyone woke up and realized this was actually kind of a super fucking weird thing to do. And maybe, like, we shouldn't just sit here and allow him to do this or whatever. And then people started leaving. I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. Really, really fucked up things. And we've got a few victims. And if you know this person, please come in. That don't kind worry, of video Steve Wolf. We're going to talk about that. I guess, like, I want to believe... That Max is doing this incorrectly because he's being stupid with the story and he's green and he needs to know more. I understand that a lot of my peers and friends don't think that way. But here's what I'm saying right now. We will accept no less than a full documentary that details what was what happened to these people with information that you can show us that won't be deemed fucking useless the second you show it. Okay? Obviously, don't put anything in there that could potentially hurt the case. But in reality, exposing people doing nefarious things typically doesn't damage the court case unless, like, you're doing something really wrong when you're doing it, okay? There's tons of cases where things get exposed publicly and done the right way where, again, I'm not the one saying go to the internet. That's you. You're the one saying go to the internet. I'm just saying you need to bring more. I need to see this whole fucking story put up there, easy to digest done correctly, and that we will we will take no less than the Camden Gerard Davis documentary that we should have got three months ago. That's the only way. Otherwise, people are just going to say you're a fucking clout goblin, and I'm not going to be able to debate them on it because they're going to because they're going to look right. I, I don't know. I don't know how to debate them on this. All right. You need to go out, put up, shut up, put everything out there in a responsible fashion. And we will expect, we will literally, we will not, we will reject anything else. That spreads naturally. I covered something not similar to this, but I covered another really bad guy years ago with a YouTuber known, known as Kavos about um, the Club Penguin situation. That was a scenario where we sat down, we grabbed evidence, and we presented a story. I made an hour-long video where it definitively went through the beginning, middle, and end, and it showcased how fucked up this individual was. And that reached out to people. Like, this is this is something that we kind of fucking need to see with this situation. Right now, we only know about the theatrics and the arguments around this situation. We don't know the cult. We don't even know everything about Camden. And, you know, we just have one account of the information. You know, all this is doing is hurting the story, it's hurting the victims, and it's it's going to actually hurt a legal case. The, pro the Law enforcement agencies, look, I get it. The law enforcement system fucking sucks a lot of the times, okay? I get it. It sucks ass. But the reason why they, sometimes they, they're, they're, they're indifferent and they don't give a shit is because they don't have a story to also piece together. They don't know what to go into, you know? They, they have a million cases to deal with. Dude, five years ago when I called fucking, when I called the police and told them that, like, there's a chance that I could be swatted. Okay, this is five years ago. This isn't a decade ago. This isn't ten years ago. This isn't fucking um, nineteen fucking ninety five. Okay, I called the police and I said like, "Hey, what's going on? Um, there's a there's a chance that like people have got my information. Uh, I just want to notify you that like there's a chance that this address could receive like a f fake phone call." Guy goes, "Oh wow, that's super concerning." Came to my house, had no idea what fucking swatting was. The first person I talked to had no idea what swatting was. Second person dead. All right. But five years ago, 
people didn't even know what fucking swatting was, dude. You ask a lot of, I mean, there, a lot of my friends had to do that. They had to call the police and say like, hey, uh, if you get a phone call um, saying that I'm like holding my family hostage or something, random scenario, uh, just fucking knock. Don't kick my door down. I know you got to come here, but just knock. That's what happens with Keem. People just go to his house. Even like some police departments didn't know what that was. Okay. And I tell you that story today because your wording is very important when you're calling the police to discuss something like this. Lord people in with a vampire sex cult is not something that Sergeant Payne is probably going to understand. Using online apps or the Leviathan to get my nudes or the Leviathan will come kill me is you got to build to that. You have to explain this in a, in a way that these people understand um, and, and go from there. Because like if you're taking this online all those all those details are super important and they will push your story forward but when you're talking to a real officer you have to like speak their language a little bit and explain it to them in a way that they would understand okay some people are understanding the deep cut sergeant Payne reference when we called the police on stream a couple of years ago one of the best clips of after hours history but uh but yeah that's my point is like i mean sometimes you got to push this issue you got to speak you got to call a few times you have to try to like these guys have to take you seriously. It's, it's important. If you bring them black vampire cultists, they're going to sit down and think, okay, where the fuck do we begin? You know? And that's ultimately the situation. Look, I want to see this asshole fucking, if he, if what you're saying is 100% true, I want to see this motherfucker behind bars. But there, there's a long, there, there's a way to present this, there's a way to handle this before you get to that point, right? And that's what we need to be focusing on. That's like where everything needs to be centered on. It is where I'm at. And that's all I really can say about the situation. <clears throat> okay. So I would have really appreciated this like two months ago when we first reached out. Uh, I reached out to you and multiple other creators asking for help. Mm -hmm. and this is a really weird answer to some genuinely sound advice. This is why I'm mad. This is the type of shit that pisses me off. Because Muda came in and he's telling him fucking facts. And Max's first response is, where were you a few months ago? Bro, are you not listening? He just said he spoke to you a few weeks ago. And he gave you advice and you didn't listen to it. What would that, what would talking to you a few months ago have changed? If you're not even listening to advice now. When you're understanding how fucking out of like how far out of your depth, out of your comfort zone, you actually are. I don't know, man. Say about the situation. <clears throat> okay, so I would have really appreciated this like two months ago when we first reached out. Uh, I reached out to you and multiple other creators asking for help. Mm -hmm. And none of you were responsive. I understand y'all are busy and doing your own things. But this is this is the first time I've ever handled the case of this complexity and magnitude, and that is why mm -hmm. I was asking for help. Um, but, but Max, me and Nux told you- Police departments han handle shit like this, okay? Detectives handle shit like this. Lawyers help handle shit like this. Why do you think that you alone can consult for eight victims and you're looking for more. You don't even know how to handle the ones you have and you're looking for more? That tells me you need more evidence. But I'm just speculating because I haven't seen anything. But if you're looking for person number nine, it tells me person one through eight don't have their fucking kill shot that they would need if they, call, if they went to the police right now. You know, I don't understand this. Why do you want to make this more complicated? At what point, like, are we just stacking stories here to be like, all right, now that we have nine people saying the same thing, now that we have 15 people coming to say the same thing. I mean, he says hundreds. Does he plan on bringing hundreds of people down to the precinct on the same day? What is it? What? I don't understand this strategy. About this weeks ago, almost a month at this point, exactly what I just said right now. Right. And I am working at the sur uh, my platform is for the survivors and mm -hmm. if they want to stream that is what we're going to do we're going to stream yeah. i am and I am maybe i'm crazy i believe that how stupid am i 
I believe that he does care about this Spencer person because she lives with him and she's a family friend. I absolutely believe him. But this response is fucking crazy. Nux told you about this weeks ago, almost a month at this point, exactly what I just said right now. Right, and- I told you not to do this a month ago, and you're embarrassing yourself, and you're fucking up your investigation. That's what Muda said, but meaner, okay? And what does Max say? I am working at the- sur uh, my platform is for the survivors. And mm -hmm. if they want to stream, that is what we're going to do. We're going to stream. Fuck you! Fuck you! My platform is for the survivors, and if they want to go live, goddammit, I will fuck their story up. No! They came out to you for advice! Why are you debating Smaggledaggle? Tell them no! Stop standing, like, he's just, like, pulling them in front. I understand in this picture... If you're looking at it, Spencer is behind him. But Mudahar is asking, hey, dude, you're fucking this up. Why are you fucking it up? I don't know, man. Spencer wanted to stream. They came to you for help, dude. Help them. Don't let them help you. I, I mean, you're the fucking person they came to help. I, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. I am. I am. I'm giving them my platform. And, and because we... Uh, we... It, it takes me, like... No! You're not giving them your platform! Use your platform to help them! There's a difference! Almost a year to make a video about even just one pedophile, like... Right. Like, I, I, I was looking for help so that someone could, could talk about this case in a way that, you know, like, the way you talk... I mean, like, if... <laughs> That's what I don't get, like... I'm, I'm giving them a platform. That's why we put all the... That's why we put the four-hour interview on her channel instead of my big platform where people will see it. <laughs> I mean, like, come on, man! None of this makes any sense! I don't know how to do this, all right? I'll be the first one to say it. There's not a person in my chat that could take what you've put on your shoulders and do it effectively, okay? I am not sitting here saying that I could do this better than you because I never in my life would choose to do it. Okay, I would never take this on. But like, I don't think you can do it either. Come on, so man. Fuck. Talk about your videos. I would have liked you to help me on this and and you know just make a, even just a PSA saying, hey, there's this guy came to Gerard Davis. Uh, please reach out if you are a survivor. What would a PSA do? Do like would it make your video better? Oh, guys, I don't worry, dude. Mudahar shouted it out. I guess that just means we'll support it now. I don't understand. What is Mu? Oh, I, dude. Hey, I reached out to you and I told you this is a bad idea and I told you you need to put out X, Y, and Z. Well, dude, asshole. I reached out to you fucking four months ago and I asked you to tell everybody that my video is good. Does that would that automatically make it so you're presenting us information to use? Or, no! You would just have people go, Well, Mudahar said the video was good. And it would give you just enough credibility to post nothing! You're not looking to fix this situation. You are looking for someone to put a hand on your back and say, This guy has good intentions. You're looking for Gerard's friends to come out and be like, This guy's a good guy. He would never fucking fuck up charity. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares if fucking Mudoar comes and tells everybody that you did a good job? Like, that doesn't make this better. Um, like, but, but see, okay, this is this is what we talked about, though, like a month ago. It's like, if we're going to make a PSA and we're going to talk about it, we need to make sure the story is, I'm not saying 100% bulletproof. I don't live in that world, right? Like, obviously, you can't have 100% evidence of something, but I'm saying very, 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 like, fucking very ironclad almost. As close as you can fucking get, right? And we talked about this with a month ago. We were like, hey, listen, we got to make a story. We got to make an hour long something video, whatever, in your style. Because if you want to provide your platform to the victims, your platform isn't built upon live streaming like this. Your platform is built upon hard hitting videos that present the story, albeit in a you know very flashy way. But you have to present that story first. And then naturally, the rest of YouTube and the rest of the Internet. I got some news, guys. Uh, Mudahar will be joining us tonight and we will be having a chat. Um, I, he just got back to me and he's interested. So.
community will come together and view your video and say, oh my God, I get this. That's how you get the victims on your side. I can't sit there and say, let's make a PSA. There's this bad guy. Hey, come together. Let's go after him. Even look, what this sounds like, it's like a class action lawsuit, right? Like, hey, this person's done something wrong. Please come together. I mean, recently Logan Paul had that crypto zoo shit. I mean, not recently, but with Logan Paul's crypto zoo, if, a, if attorney Tom came out and said, hey guys, this, this, this asshole scammed everyone. Join our class action lawsuit. That's not going to be his video. His video is still going to go through beginning, middle, end, and describe exactly why uh, they're suing Logan Paul, what the scam was. They're going to describe this. And then they'll say, hey, listen, at the end of it, we're going after this person legally. Join up. You still have to present the story from beginning, middle, and end. Then you can ask for a PSA. Then you can get people in. And we, we talked about this a month ago. And that's all that, that you can, it still can be fixed, right? Like all you can do is like, again, hunker down, spend a week to- That's the best part is it's still salvageable. And that's why I'm so mad. That's why I'm not being nice. That's why I'm not sitting here and being old, my ultra charitable self that I was last episode. Because like, at this point, I watched five people call into Max's stream that he shouldn't even have been doing, doing what he's already done before, that people asked him not to do, walking in one by one to tell him every single sentence that I could say on stream tonight, and he doesn't fucking care. So what's the point in treating this like with fucking kid gloves. What's the point of trying to reason with somebody who does not fucking care what I have to say, what you have to say? I, 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 it's, this is all I can do now, okay? This is all I can do now is to explain this publicly and try to create some sort of public pressure so he'll take what we actually say seriously. There is no reaching out to him privately to discuss this. There is no calling into his stream to sit down and have a nice chat like Mudahar did here. Okay? That, that, that's that, that time is over. Everyone's done it already. He does not care. Two weeks, a month, honestly. I mean, right now it's YouTube down season, really. All you have to do is craft this video from beginning, middle, and end, and I promise you, it'll attract attention. It'll it'll grab victims that would never even have heard of your channel, and they will come together and they will join this case. And that's how it. That's how you do it. That's the fucking. That's the end goal here. That's the. That's the. That's the path to victory. I would say. I I agree with you. Um, Can I say something? Yes. Yeah. Please. Sorry, Muda. I know I'm a nobody. I'm this just... is my favorite part. Is when one of Augie's community members goes, "Hey, listen, Muda." I understand that you just talked down to my, my friend here that I'm coming on stream to talk to. But I just want to say, I love your content. I love your reviews. You're doing so much for the community. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say one thing, like, blah, blah, dude, blah. you are, like, the fucking master of <laughs> taking a fucking really complex topic and, like, making it digestible for regular, like, people, and that is fucking, dude, you, like, I... Dude, I think as he's saying this, Spencer in the background is thinking, like, fuck, dude, I wish we had Mudahar to cover this story. <laughs> dude, he's glazing Mudahar so bad right now. Fuck, wait, is it too late to see if he'll do this? Like, can we get you in touch with eight people, Muda? Please? Uh, I love your videos. Like, you... I watch them all the time, Thank but you. like, anyway, I just wanted to say, like, Max is just a different kind of guy. Yeah. Like, he makes, like, arts, he wants to make movies and shit, and like, you can see no. that. Well, I understand that Max wants to make movies and shit, and that he's like a different kind of guy, okay? I get it. But this, on uh, this given day, he's a pedophile investigator who is trying to, who is speaking on behalf of eight potential victims of a guy who is, like, potentially grooming children, could even be active to this day. Okay, so I understand that he wants to make films, but he has chosen to do something that has a lot more to it. Um, and he should probably just do it. I, I, if he's gonna do it, he should do it right. I don't know. I listen, dude. <laughs> I am sure. I, 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 if you tell me right now that Steven Spielberg did not want to make Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, okay, I would believe you. All right, if I was F F Steven Spielberg. I would not have wanted to make that Indiana Jones movie in the mid-2000s, okay? But he's fucking Steven Spielberg, and his job was to make fucking Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, okay? I know he'd probably be rather making something more profound, but that was the video, that was the movie that he was, that he chose willingly to make. And when it was bad, 
I mean, he had to go tell everybody, yeah, I made a really shitty Indiana Jones movie with old Indiana Jones and it sucked and it was really terrible. Okay? So, this fucking situation is Mama Max's Indiana Jones Kingdom of the fucking Crystal Skull. That's what it is. That's what it is, bro. He's not, like, the master of, like, figuring out how to get this case out there and all of that. And, like, he's very aware of that. That's why he's saying, like, please, every anyone and everyone, just help me. Like, help me figure out how to tell this story the right way and all well, that I mean, shit. I mean, don't, I don't think that, I don't think that Max is incapable of telling the story in the same way. I think Max, if you... Smaggle, I'm not clicking that. That is a risky click, my friend. There's no way I'm clicking that. You, you've got the evidence. You've got everything right there. You can still produce a story where you start off in your typical fashion and you tell people, hey, listen... We're going to talk about cults. We're going to talk about, you know, people that run cults, the psychology they go through. We go talk about Camden, and then we bring up victims, and that's all we have to do at the end of the day. You can present it in your style, but again, it's just, you got to amalgamate all the evidence, and all you have to do is explain, again, in your style, you start the video off, you talk about a cult, we talk about where this cult is, you talk about what it is, you talk about Camden, and then you talk about the victims, and that's it. And and the thing about it is, is like instead of making matter of fact statements like I'm going to call this guy a pedophile or everything, it's like what you have to do is you have to present the story and you just tell the audience it's like, hey, listen, I've given you everything. Now it's time to for you to come to your own conclusion. <laughs> All right. Colton just said the issue, Nick, is that Max never made Jaws, Close Encounters, E.T. or Jurassic Park. He came out of the, the gate swinging with 10 crystal skulls and he expects everyone to take him seriously. <laughs> That is probably one of the coldest specific responses that I have ever received after making a hypothetical. Jesus Christ, dude, that's fucked. <laughs> and if there's somebody that recognizes this cult leader that I've talked about, please come forward, get in touch with us, because we have a legal action taking in. That's it. Like, right now, the public perception is they have no idea what this is. All they see is the fights that you're having with other people, and that's it. <sighs> I want you to succeed in this mission. I want you to take this guy down. But sitting here and screaming about this isn't really going to help the situation. It's you, what you need is you need to present the story, then scream all you want afterwards. Once you got that video out, and once it's spreading around and reaching to victims, that's all that matters. You know. Max, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. You said you can't present. Dude, so Mudahar just again info dumps on him all the information he needs, and then some random retard on the Discord call. No offense to that person, but I mean it's kind of fucking frustrating to me. I got to be honest with you. Goes. Max, I have a question. And Max is like, oh, thank God, please. What? What's your question? At evidence, because the lawyer, right? The lawyer's advice we... not to present anything. Max, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. You said you can't present at evidence because the lawyer, right? The lawyer's advice we... not to present anything. We are protecting the evidence until until law enforcement has, has done something or shown that they're not going to do anything. Okay. That is that is why we're holding on to everything. And so let me just and, explain this to you in in fucking strict like strict terms. What the fuck he's saying here? Okay, so he can't show anything to you until the law enforcement. Oh no, his lawyer has told him that he can't show anything to you until after the police decides whether they are going to do something with this. So if once the police say no, at that point, it's just straight Islam vigilante shit. It's trying to imply that some things should probably happen to them. Otherwise, I don't understand what they're doing at that point. Uh, because they're already telling everybody, so I don't know what the next step would be if the police aren't investigating. Probably legitimate vigilante justice on their part, which I do disavow. Okay? Uh, that's just my intuition here, but I'm not really sure what else that could possibly mean. But what they're saying is the lawyer said, we can't do anything until the cops say that they're going to like definitively do or not do anything. Okay. But Max is telling you that we can't go to the cops until we have enough victims on board. Okay. But we can't have a lot of victims on board until people start shouting out my videos and we, we reach new people and then more of the hundreds of victims come. So... What that means is Max is padding himself to make fucking 15 videos on this or something or to keep begging for fucking shout outs or something until enough people have come forward. Eight is clearly not enough or something. Uh, then he can go to the cops and then the cops might say there's nothing they can do and then they might show some evidence. Okay. So you, Mudahar, you, Nick Diorio, you, Tommy C, you... Uh, Chris the Narc, you're actually hindering this investigation by not giving Matt, Max enough shout-outs that he could reach the rest of his hundred victims, okay? So if Charlie doesn't say anything tomorrow about this, that is directly hindering this performance because the lawyer says, you have to go to the cops, but you don't have enough people to go to the cops with, so we're just not going to do anything for a really long time.
Does it make sense to everybody yet? Are you understanding what's happening here? This is retarded. This is really, really retarded. Like I said, as this case has evolved, this video is getting longer and longer and more complex. Right now, our priority has been to trying to find all of, all of the survivors, which is why I want to make a PSA so we can even have the full story in the first place. Cause and if you think I was being hyperbolic, did you think I was going to unpause it and Max was going to straight up tell you exactly what I just said? Right now, our priority has been to trying to find all of, all of the survivors, which is why I want to make a PSA so we can even have the full story in the first place. Because we right now we only have eight, and I know only that's a eight? lot of survivors, only but we eight? still only have eight out of hundreds that were part of this. And But, but you have enough to definitively paint this person yeah. as a predator, right? How much are you looking for? Is there like a number or just, is there a time limit where you're saying, okay, this is enough. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the police now. I interject. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, please don't interject. I need to know what he thinks about that. I need an answer to that question. Um, I, I think that right now, because we did just get a survivor who got out uh, like nine months ago, um, I think that we have a pretty close timeline. And I think even if we only have eight survivors, that all of us would make a fine documentary. This is the sad part, is this is one of the people relying on him? And she's turned around and said, yeah, I think it's time. Let's start doing stuff, guys. Let's start moving this timetable up. Ah, oh, th doesn't that make you feel bad? That makes me feel bad, dude. I don't know, man. Until, like, we can always make a second and third part. We can always make a second and third part. You don't need him. You don't, dude, I, I'm not trying to dark side fill this, but I don't know if Keem needs to host the podcast, okay? Because all that you're doing now, working with him, is just furthering this timetable. Um, you know, YouTube videos can do that, but I think coming out with maybe like a part one and being like, this is, this is what we have right now uh, would be a really good idea. I agree, but that that's a little bit of why we're streaming is that th these are I fuck it. This is making me so mad. I agree with what you're saying. We should probably start to but part of the reason why we're even streaming it. Oh, fuck me, dude. Be a really good idea. I, I agree, but I that agree. that's a little bit of why we're streaming is that th these are parts of the greater picture. Like I'm allowing y'all to speak on my platform to be able to give your accounting. Here's I got to yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta head out in a little bit, but um, uh, I, I just want to say before the end of all this is like, listen, you, I, I just want to ask, you have enough to call this guy and. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'll let Mudahar say what he has to say on that clip in a second, but someone in chat just brought up a tremendous point. Okay, for these being parts, there's still a whole lot of nothing. Okay, let's say this is part five. Part one is the first video. Part two is the second video. Part three is the third video. Part four is the four hour spoken testimony live stream, which is the closest thing, might I add, to being something that is actually usable. Okay, was the, was the live stream that was not on his own channel. That was on, instead on his roommate's channel, Spencer, who's one of the victims, alleged victims that are being covered in the story. Okay, let's say, ignoring all the other live streams, this is part five. And I brought on m multiple people to then give more spoken testimony live streams. That is five things that do not tell us anything concrete that we can use to push this story. Mudahar is not going to cover spoken word testimony. Charlie is not going to make a video on spoken word testimony. Prior to, to that, prior to like recently, there was questions on whether this person was even alive. Okay which has only been answered fairly recently on if this person's still breathing, okay? There's nothing actionable that you've been giving us so far that we can actually do anything with. How many parts would it take, Max, to provide something actionable? I, I, don't, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, I, I just want to say before the end of all this, is like, listen, you, I, I just want to ask, do you have enough to call this guy and present him as a predator? 
Sorry, was what? that a question? Or you were... <sighs> oh, God. Lord, please strike me down. Holy fuck. Do you have anything that could present this guy as a predator to law enforcement? So, uh, what, was that a question? The fuck did you think it was? Do you think he was just speaking to hear himself speak? You, I, I just want to ask, do you have enough to call this guy and present him as a predator? Sorry, was what? that a question or you were? Yeah, yeah, I just, I was asking, do you personally have enough to call this person a, like already you've been calling him a predator. That means you have enough testimony evidence at the moment to present him as a predator in a pretty bulletproof fashion to the public, right? I'm Correct. not talking about the court of law. Then that's the part one you need. That's what you got to have. That's what you should produce. And that's what you should release first off. Um, because that's the most important part in presenting a story. You have enough already. Present that, the victims will come. And then you can follow up with the full story as it develops. But right now, the story needs to be presented in a... I have a question. Did that, did that, like, did anybody here get convinced by that? Is anyone here convinced off of that clip that he has evidence to go to the police with? Did that sound like a convincing yes? Did anybody just hear what he said and hear that as a commanding, confident yes? Because I have real concerns here, and I feel like I'm not the only one. And I'm going to be honest, there are times when I've had egg on my face because I've gotten an assumption about something. And as Reacher says, assumptions kill, okay? Details matter, all right? So I can't say anything for certain, but what I can say is I wouldn't make a video bitching at somebody who starts to think this whole situation seems a little fishy right now if it does turn out to be on the like if, if things do turn out to be real i don't think i'd blame the people who are doubting it right now that's all i'm gonna say okay proper way that will absolutely seal the deal with the mass public and as far as doxing goes here's my personal thing right like i really don't think Anybody should be making matter of fact statements about somebody being a pedophile unless they have that story that can 100% prove it, right? Like the accusation needs to be out there because again, you know, that's one of the things that people are calling you out on is like, you're calling this person a predator. Now it's time for you to present actual evidence that he is a full predator. That's exactly what I would be doing you don't, to anybody else. You don't think we should protect that first mm -hmm. to see if the police are going to do anything? Now keep in mind, that is a good question to ask. And we can't engage with that question because we don't know what he has. But this is Mudahar in the call with Max, and Mudahar has seen what Max has, at least a percentage of it. So he is able to have this discussion with Max. I mean, what you have right now, is it going to be something that, is it going to be something that, uh, like, what, what is, is the evidence do you believe is going to be invalidated the moment you release it? Is this something where he could just destroy his hard drives if you present it publicly? Is this something where he could delete his online presence? Is that something you're worried about? Because that's a legitimate concern. It certainly was with Instagram wake up. It was very concerning. There are reasons why you wouldn't want to say everything. But you have to say something. Especially when you've chosen that your message will be done in an online setting and not directly through the police in a private matter. You have decided that you've gone the social media route, but you do not want to go the social media route you don't want to put your fucking you you don't want to play your cards you want to hold your hand and get all the benefits of having a social media campaign well i'm sorry max but that's not how it works you can't give an iou to fucking pedo allegations that's not how this whole thing works the public like a like a message or something correct is that not the case i mean your lawyer should be the one discussing it. what did your lawyer say um, I mean, they said first thing we should do is is all go to Georgia and and make a an accounting. But we that's going to take a little bit of time just because we have to get all of the survivors on board on and a data. He's indicating there that not even all the survivors are confident and want to go back to Georgia to speak to the police. Maybe I'm drawing too much from it, but that is certainly what I'm hearing from him saying. So he doesn't even have the survivors on board with his current message. Not even the the eight people who we're starting to hear from are even down to make the trek and go there to actually do this on this given day. So we're not even that far yet. We're, we're that far behind is what I would say.
uh, which is also very fucking concerning. Um, Time to do it. And yeah, we don't need all of them. We need one. We need this dialogue to be opened. We need this case to be opened. We need to be taken seriously. And a girl sitting there talking about this with a fucking officer is very important for this case. Even if you don't believe in police. Even if, you, if you're if you pointing out that tons of rape kits get tested every year. Even if the police in the past fucking seven years ago fucked up this story. Even if that same police department didn't give a shit. Okay? It's still point numero uno. It is still the most important thing. The only question I have for Max, if we ever talk, is what do you think about the EDP 445 investigation? Go watch my debate with Augie to hear my perspective on it. I'll give you a little bit of it right now. All right. EDP 445 had his life ruined justifiably by the predator poachers by Alex Rosen, who were investigating him for trying to meet up with a 13-year-old girl after he was exposed for something similar prior in the year, okay? EDP 445's life is ruined. He will never hold a job for the rest of his life. He will probably have a hard time getting living quarters for the rest of his life. He will have a hard time walking around on the streets for the rest of his life. Everyone knows him as the fat, online, funny, pedophile guy, okay? That is all people know him as. That is his whole life. But would you rather... Given the opportunity to go back in time, have gone through correct legal means, and potentially put him in a situation where he could be in jail right now with the alternative of, if it's not handled correctly, then we'll go to YouTube because we clearly have enough to get him in the court of public opinion. Would you not want that handled by people who'd take it more seriously? By people who weren't clout-driven sociopaths when they were handling it by people who weren't chasing EDP 445 frantically trying to call the police after they performed the sting operation saying they'd like to turn over the evidence now that they made their money wouldn't you rather with a time machine get that story the care that it needs so maybe that guy whose life is ruined could be ruined behind bars where every day for a fucking child molester or whatever in prison becomes a, a fucking a fucking hell? A danger? Where he has to fucking look behind his back for the rest of his life? Or for a really long time and then he gets out and his life's ruined anyway because it's on his record and he's on the sex offender registry which is far fucking worse than just being a fucking social media sex pest? Wouldn't you rather have that? Just a chance for that? Because even if it doesn't go your way, you still have the VOD. You can still ruin his life after. It gets me so mad. It frustrates me so much. People have told me that Alex Rosen has gotten better and he's done things better, but I will never forgive him for how hard he fucked the EDP situation up to watch him. F what do you mean you're not going to come? What are you talking about? I'm on the phone telling you I have a fucking folder full of, full of evidence. Fuck you, dude. Piece of shit. <clears throat> I would say sit down with your lawyer again because I've never heard any lawyer that would say that to me. Like, you know, hey, if you present this message, it's going to be invalidated, right? Like, you know, I literally released an entire uh, call that I had with somebody just because they were threatening lawsuits against me just because of how the situation was publicly presented. That doesn't mean that that call is going to be invalidated, right? Even based on technicalities, you can always take things to court um, the way that things are presented. So I would definitely confer with the lawyer again. There is no reason why you shouldn't be able to present that. Absolutely. And if, if your lawyer is telling you one thing, definitely talk to another lawyer, get a second opinion for sure. The lawyers are like doctors, okay? They're all going to give you fucking different... If he's even spoken to a lawyer, and if he has spoken to a lawyer, how do you know he's spoken to the right lawyer? How do you know he's spoken to somebody who has actual like knowledge on how these social media things work? Okay? Yeah, you want to talk to a lawyer about how to handle like a case like this where you're bringing seven people, eight people to a police department to talk about like cults and sex... That's probably hard enough. But now you need to find one that understands social media. If you got like a 95 year old fucking lawyer here, it's like, well, I guess you can post it eventually once everybody, once the police says no, I guess that's your next form of recourse. Yeah. Uh, you need to get a second opinion because that guy is not helping you. That guy's not in the 21st century. All right. That guy's not giving you good advice. And if he is, like, I mean, I'm picturing a guy being like, yeah, I think that we should meet about 16 more times. We're billing by the hour, right? Yeah. As long as you keep coming in here, I'll give you all the necessary information you need. This guy's getting raked over the coals right now. Different thing, so 
um, definitely confer with another lawyer that has more to do with these specific cases. Um, because, hey, law enforcement, we can't sit here and wait for a law enforcement agency to, to jump in. What is this? I hate you, Smaggle. So, just to start off, as I can tell you, I can tell you're now a retard. Max should have known what was coming when I joined. Jesus Christ. Good one, Smaggle. Good one. Oh, we're still on video one, boys, and we are exactly one hour and 37 minutes into the stream. And however, if this becomes a matter of public debate, a matter of public mm. you know, interest, then launch- Thank you to the 1,350 people who have joined just to shell for a minute. Uh, we are now here. This is our final home for the Nick DiOrio live streams. If you want emotes, we finally have them. Welcome to YouTube. We got struck yesterday, so we'll see how long that lasts. But right now, to my 1,350... Wait... I'm going to get in trouble for that. I, In my defense, there's 1,350 people watching. Okay, that's not... Shut the fuck up. Nobody fucking... I didn't know what I was saying. It's, shut up. Stop it. Stop it. Enforcement's going to take a look at it, whether they want to or not. That's it. So, I'll do that. Anyways, anyways, yeah, it's been good talking to you, man. I'll head out. Take care. Thank Everyone. you, Muda. Good night. <laughs> to my closest 1,344 people. Now that we're, we're not on the bad number. <clears throat> to those of you who are saying I was putting the blame on Muda, I am not. But I, I do acknowledge that I need help with this case. Um, that was my point. And um, <laughs> do it right. <clears throat> I always appreciate being able to speak with him. I'm seeing the thumbnail is kind of fucked up. Let me see why it's doing that. Because on my end. It is definitely the right thumbnail, um, but let me quickly save. Is it giving the right thumbnail now? Because I, I, again, it shouldn't be Kyle Rittenhouse and what's his name. It doesn't seem like I can do this. I think YouTube's just fucking up because on my end, uh, the thumbnail is correct in here, but I'm seeing what you're saying. It's not giving me the right thumbnail. Um, change. Yeah, it's definitely the right thumbnail here. Uh, let me just add a space to that. Maybe that'll fix it. I think you might have to clear your cache. I'm not really sure why YouTube is doing that, but we will get back. We're, we're going to just keep going because I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> YouTube, does that something? It's fixed? Okay. Uh, since it already started, we'll let you change it. Yeah, it wasn't like that when we... I don't know why it happened, but it takes time to update. It's the right one for me. Good. Okay. So that was the Mudahar call, and it was definitely... I think a pattern here that I want to dictate, like straight away, I want you to look out for this, okay? Is that most of these people calling in are saying very much the same thing. They're just doing it in varying levels of intensity. When I said before that it was just people coming on and just talking, like literally just talking to him, it's not a debate, he's not defending himself. They're going on and they're all saying the same thing at varying levels of fucking like rudeness. Uh, so Lyrics is probably one of the more rude ones but Mudahar came in level-headed and it seems like Max gives like different answers every time depending on how mean a person is in the call that he's talking to when in reality they're all saying the same thing um so I'm ready for you to pull up the smaggle call unfortunately I don't know which one this is number two so let me just listen to They ask, can you tell us why Spencer's living with you? I'm very confused to why victim had to move in with you for this case. All right, this is important too. This isn't a call, but I want to point this one out. This is weird, and not for the same reasons that everybody else is saying it's weird, but this is still kind of weird. So Spencer is a close family friend, as he's going to establish. Um, like, he knows his aunt or whatever. I guess she know, like, Spencer knows, like, Mud uh, not Mudahar. Spencer knows, um, like, fucking Max's aunt, and these guys are, like, close personal friends. And this isn't, like, a conflict of interest in the courts. Any lawyer who's worth a damn would be able to get through that. But it is kind of a conflict of interest from a YouTube perspective. Um, because, I don't know, I felt kind of weird hearing that, that these people are just, like, close family friends growing up together and it made me realize that like I, maybe it makes me kind of think that 
this is like legitimate and that like he really does want to help these people and he's in out of his depth because it would make sense if he's got like a person here that he knows that he grew up with and he's just trying to give her the help that she needs that's how i rationalize it in my head that's part of the reason why i think the things that i do but it's like i don't think living with somebody whose testimony is something that you're trying to put forward on your YouTube channel, helping them build the podcast channel, like a second channel so they can tell their story. I, I feel like this is too personal to give them like legitimate advice on what to do here. I'm trying to pick my words carefully because I don't want to imply anything I don't mean, but this just doesn't feel right. So your YouTube channel and your Patreon going like bad right getting a bunch of pushback now not only hurts you and your bottom line but you're feeding her slimy weasley fuck and it's like ethically when i condemn this stream and i condemn your content and i say like oh i'm not really sure if i want to donate to uh by the way we did donate the money from uh the donor who asked it and i covered the youtube fee i did send it through super chat for that person but um so that did happen last stream but it's like if everyone leaves Max, now there's a person who's just looking for help who is then getting damaged through... Like, this shouldn't be... This should never be a case. I should never have to think about this. I should never have to think about my video could potentially take fucking money or take fucking food out of that person's mouth. Okay, there's been a lot of streams on this. And I will tell you right now, I don't know a single fucking live stream about Mama Max talking about Spencer and Max that had... Uh, 1300 fucking people watching it. I think I'm like the biggest content creator stream that has happened on this situation. And if if because of me, people in his audience stop subscribing to that Patreon, is is food coming out of that person's mouth? That's something I have to consider now. It's weird. That is a weird fucking thing to find out after fucking three videos, a fucking podcast, and a live stream. And this is something I should have found out immediately so that this is weird so i didn't move in uh for the case alone um unfortunately in the beginning of october uh, my great-grandfather had passed away and uh my family is selling the house um and i did have other places to go but i just thought that it was going to be easier once max offered uh to just be here it and people have told me this person has kids i don't know if spencer has kids i haven't seen like that said for myself but like fuck man i don't want to contribute to this discourse then like i i mean i am and i'm going to but like i don't know it makes me feel shitty talking about it oh no no kai has kids okay so they don't have kids my apologies makes it easier for us to stream and Spencer doesn't, okay. relay information to each other and someone told me somebody the has time kids. being it's been the best option know. so i offered because it felt like the perfect storm like it felt like okay clearly this is happening for a reason i should probably offer all right so just to clarify everyone's telling me spencer doesn't have kids spencer has a dog thank you magnetar all right well is the dog gonna be cold outside if she fucking goes homeless over this shit pisses me off i don't know to expedite both the legal and documentation process. Um, I figured if I can just document the prime subject of my documentary, then why not just have her live with me? And since she needed a home. Uh, now, that's not to say it's going to yeah, be Yeah, that was also a weird comment. People, are, I, even, I was talking over it, so I didn't even fucking point it out. But yeah, this is the um, perfect storm. I figured if I can just document the prime subject of my documentary then why not just have her live with me and since she needed a home like fuck you know what the perfect storm would be if max had all of these thoughts and never repeated them on a clippable live show would that be the perfect storm if he was looking to investigate a predator with someone living with him wouldn't it be the perfect storm if he wasn't stupid enough to stream this and tell his audience that he thought that this is like a hundred percent a live stream speaking issue. I, I, why the fuck is he talking about this? Why is he answering this question on a stream? Why are we finding out about it here? Why are we finding out about the uh, inner workings of us? And, and like, and why is he not like planning out exactly how to address this in the perfect way? Why is this just on a whim being discussed?
Because everyone's getting the wrong idea about it. And maybe that's rightfully the case, but, like... I, I just can't in my life understand... Like, there's no scenario where he was given an opportunity to write, script, and record his response to this encounter that he would say any of the things he's saying in this clip. It's only because he's stupid enough to do a live stream about this. Uh, now, that's not to say it's going to be permanent. I do want to get Spencer to become independent at some point. We're going to get... I want to get Spencer to become independent at some point. That sounds like a fucking parent talking about their kid well we'd like for them to be independent at some point but in the meantime uh we're just letting them stay here that is such a weird thing to say about your fucking victim who lives with you that you're covering that their story and you're not doing a good job of fucking advocating for them and you're doing fucking live streams that you shouldn't be doing because well i mean they said to do it Get all their medical stuff done all of yeah, the you, you adopted a grown woman that's weird uh, for basically everything. Like, you need to learn how to drive. We're gonna do that. Uh, Fish, you need to not. Yeah, fucking go. Away. <laughs> Girl. 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 Literally. <laughs> and the fake laugh. The awkward fake laugh. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna just sit here for three hours and just repeat over and over again that you should not be streaming. But I really hope after that last live stream, you stop fucking streaming. This is not RFC After Hours, okay? I'm the only one who is allowed to host. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I saw an opportunity and I took it. <laughs> Bro. Literally just ignore everything we say. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Oh, it's, it's so exploitative God that I moved in with a friend. Oh, boo hoo. What? Spencer has known my. Somebody in chat, who was that? Kate the Dumb said, Mama Max has become a parent, <laughs> has become a literal mother. <laughs> Family her whole life. She was what in is the, the music same kindergarten used in class the as my sister. Um, they are the UFC songs from the actual UFC. She was in the same kindergarten class as my sister. Yeah. I don't think y'all understand, like, the relationship here. Like, my, my aunt literally knows his mom. Like, he's smiling and being like, I don't think you understand the relationship here. Like, this is literally a close family friend of someone who went to school with my sister. And everyone's just looking at him and going, yeah, that's fucking weird. That's a fucking weird thing you just said. And I don't know why you're saying it so nonchalantly. This whole fucking situation is weird. Please stop smiling like that, Max. That's not normal. Yeah, like, we we were friends before we were, like, actually on a case. Like, yeah. and... Yeah. So how did you sit on this story for so long? <laughs> That's a good question! Now, it sounds like a throwaway, but what Max what Max discloses here is one of the most hypocritical things I have ever heard in my entire life. Max, you piece of shit. How did you just sit on this story knowing it? So it was about a year and or two. And talk about Kanye Quest. Yeah. A year or two. So I told Spencer, like, I'm so sorry. I'm currently busy with other projects. Do you want me to, like, hand this off to another creator? And you said, no, I want you. Uh, I doubt any other creator would be willing to sacrifice their whole platform for her and the other survivors. Fish, um, how is he exploiting me? I I, I want to know, like, what the fuck is he doing? Also, um, Snaggle <laughs> said he followed you on I Twitter. Think, I think once you once you see exploitation, it's like holy sh. So, Max put this fucking this Max put his big case on a burner for what was it a year? Is that what they said? A year. I must have missed it, but a year? Was that, was that what I was told? Now, I want to just draw attention really quickly. Does anyone have the clip of Charlie? I just need to point this out to you. Yeah, this is the clip. Stop ignoring Mama Max. Yeah, still here. You want me to talk about it a little bit? That rubbed me the wrong way. We talked like a month ago about like what he was working on in his investigation and then 
Apparently, when I had COVID, he messaged me a couple times and I never saw it. And now he's taken that as me ghosting him and ignoring his very important mission. And it really rubs me the wrong way. Instead of just... <laughs> he's jumping to the most extreme possible explanation for me not seeing it. Okay. So... Just so I, I could spell this out for you in case you're someone at home who has not put two and two together. Spencer reached out to Max saying, hey, could you cover my abuse allegations with Cameron Gerard Davis? OK. And Mama Max said, I'm working on something. Would you like to wait for me to finish what I'm doing? Or um, would you like me to hand this off to somebody else who can cover it while I'm doing something else? And they waited for a, an undisclosed amount of time. Okay. Then he goes and makes the video and Charlie gets COVID and doesn't respond to DMs for a couple weeks. So Max takes it personally and makes an entire clickbait video bitching because Charlie left him on red. So when Camden Gerard Davis is Max's main topic that he has to talk about everyone big or small COVID or not is expected to drop everything in their life and do this for him immediately or as he told me your response will not go unnoticed okay but when max is working on something we could just brush it off and talk about it later are you kidding me right now like are you kidding me right now? I mean, this pisses me off. Oh, this fucking makes me mad. It makes me- it pisses me off, dude. Shit, it's everywhere. Like, I get it. I, I totally get it. It's like a lens that you put on and then all of a sudden you see this whole world of like, everybody's using everybody for something. And it's like a really weird- Dude, I'm 12 and that's so deep, dude. In reality, everyone's using everybody for something, you know? I mean, in reality, dude, if we're really thinking about it, I'm 12 and that's so deep. Glob, glob, glob. Fucking thing. Uh, but I, from everything I've seen and experienced, it's a very mutual beneficial thing in this. Like, look, they're both on fucking stream. They're both having it out. Seem, seems like a good time. I don't know. Just me. Basically, one of these. Comments. I'm using you to deflect you criticism. I am still getting criticism. Bruh. How how are they shielding? They're not shielding me from anything. I am still getting People criticism. Bitching the bitch. And I'm. At this point. <laughs> I'm like, jeez. Dude, how am I getting fuck? Why are people saying that I'm shielding them from? I'm I'm being shielded from criticism by the people who are around me. How could people possibly come to that conclusion? I don't know, man. We just played a clip thirty seconds ago of you talking to Mudahar, and he's like, "Hey, man, you told me you're gonna make a video. Why are you streaming?" Well, I do what the I do what the victims say. The, the victims wanted me to debate Smaggle Daggle tonight, so that's what we did. Are you are you gonna be the one to tell the victims that I can't debate Smaggle Daggle because that would be on you? All right. What the fuck is going on here? Who the fuck? makes you the fucking sheriff pedo hunter around these parts okay i this is fucking this is for lack of a better term all right this is chicanery okay this is ridiculous all right through a sunroof through a sunroof uh people have been playing that card for so long oh, i use survivors to shield from criticism i have never shielded myself from i only yes he has and he's going to do it about 15 more times tonight before the stream is over i almost always just get criticism. The dog pack asked if you feed me every day. I feed my fucking self, bro. Um, Kia Cut says, you do. They're just scrolling. <laughs> I, I believe that they're all just scrolling. Yeah, if, if any of you can please explain how I use survivors to shield myself from- I will point it out for the rest of the show, Max. All right, if you want someone to explain it to you, let's just keep going. I will make sure to drive it home. All right, we're two hours in in this fucking we're, we're, we're two hours in right now realistically we're another hour and a half on top of our four and a half hours in so we're at like the six hour mark of understanding what's going on here and i will point out to you now that we've hit the six hour mark that i still don't know what cameron gerard davis has done okay and spoiler alert when we hit the eight hour mark or the 10 hour mark i don't know how far we're gonna go we're still not gonna know what cameron fucking gerard davis has actually done criticism and what am I deflecting? What am I deflecting? You're still deflecting. I mean, what am I deflecting? Story. Who the fuck is going? This is this is me talking to 1,300 of my closest friends and family who only 200 of you will like this fucking stream right now, okay? And I know my chat's not turned on me, so some number is wrong there. But thanks again. Please hit the like button, okay? 
if I put eight hours into this, none of your fucking friends and family or your parents, this story going viral is never going to happen. Because if I have to put eight hours in and I still don't know what's going on, how could you expect the average user to? Okay? The average user who isn't being paid to do it. That's right, motherfucker. I'm making super chats. I'm not doing this for free. So, how the fuck are you expecting someone who's fucking doing this for free to spend eight hours of their life to not know what the fuck this guy did? I get it, dude. Pedos are bad. I agree with you, okay? What a hot take, all right? Now, I'd like to know what he did now. Please. Please make my day, okay? Just tell me what he did. People just say things, but they don't explain, like... I think it's trolling at this point. Yeah, it's, it's trolling. Y'all are good trolls. Y'all are getting y'all are getting me. I mean, some might actually mean it and be very mad about it, what two adults do, what they choose to do. Mm. Gotta fucking dictate your life and shit. Uh, smack. Now, I just got a strike recently for bullying and harassment, and if I do it again, I'm going to be down for a week. Okay? With that being said, there are some very choice words that I have for the person who just said that. And I don't know how to best... Does anyone have any, like... I don't know what to, I don't know what to say, man. Holy fuck, dude. I want to say slurs. Holy shit, dude. Angle, follow me on Twitter. Yeah, he said. Smack. Let's go to Twitch. It's Durgan. safer. Oh, Durgan actually asked a good question. So <laughs> they asked, can you tell us why Spencer's living with you? I'm very confused to why victim had to move in with you for this case. So I didn't move in uh, for the case alone. Um, unfortunately, in the beginning of October, uh, my great grandfather had passed away and uh, my family is selling the house. Um, and I did have other places to go, but I just thought that it was going to be easier once max offered uh to just be here it makes it easier for us to stream and relay information to each other and for the time being it's been the best option so Slime i offered fuck. because it felt like the perfect storm like it felt like okay clearly this is happening for a reason i should probably offer specifically to expedite both the all right we've already watched this I, I just realized we're looping back. I thought she was looping, but we already watched this part. But it felt like the perfect storm just hits so funny. It's like, dude, she's like, yeah, I was going to be homeless. I could have gone somewhere else, but my, my family is selling the house, and it kind of sucks. And he's like, yeah, it felt like the perfect storm. This is, Her grandfather dying is exactly what we needed to progress this story further. <laughs> like, that's, I'm, that's such a fucking weird thing to say, like to open up with. By, ah, yes, it's a perfect storm. You can live with me now. <laughs> I know he didn't mean it like that, but that's uncharitable. I don't know. Let's just keep going. Um, okay, here we go. Let's a little boost this volume a little bit. Tell me how it is on your end. So I just want to start off with uh, with this. Uh, as you can tell, I'm very autistic. And this should never have happened. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look him in the fucking face right now. This is a guy who is out of his fucking mind. Keep in mind, these people are discussing the allegations by eight women, some of which have been heard for the first time tonight. There is no scenario in history where Smaggle Daggle should show up on that stream. No, this makes no fucking sense. I, I, I do not understand it. I'm disgusted that it happened. I don't mean to grandstand and get on my fuck. There is no, I don't know how to do this. I don't think anyone in the chat knows how to do this, but I know one thing. They'd all unanimously say that a debate with Smaggle Daggle is not productive in finding a way to put that guy in prison. There is nothing productive to be heard by Smaggle Daggle in a conversation, and that is not even the worst call tonight. It's disgusting. It's embarrassing. It's degrading. It's pathetic. And I just want to let you guys know that if I slip up and say the R word, I he opens up saying, "Hey guys, I'm actually retarded. Um, so if I say the word retard on the stream, 
Um, well, I didn't mean it, guys. Okay? How did he survive 30 seconds on this fucking live stream without getting immediately ejected? I will never understand. Clearly, he's not even taking it seriously. But the victims wanted it. I have the pass. So just... I have so the well, pass. All clear on that. All right. So I, well, it's embarrassing. So my first overall question is like... Um, you said your mantra is... Uh, you said your mantra is that you go after pedos and then you go to the police and then once... If the police don't respond, you drop the video on said pedos. But last stream with the with the cult with the colton thing you you basically said that you didn't reach out to uh the police department until after colton can you tell me something who the fuck could have predicted that smaggle was going to come in and open a question that demolishes him right off the bat you told everybody, Max, that your mantra is that you go after pedophiles, and when the police doesn't do anything, you take it into your own hands and expose them publicly on your platform. So can you tell me why last stream you told us we didn't even bother to go to the police with the biggest investigation you've ever covered on your fucking channel? Retards can tell you what happened. If retards can explain to you that you up this story why can you not understand it why do 17 people need to call in to tell you this how can you not come to your own conclusion uh after colton uh said you should do that but you you said that you the, the victims went after went went to the police doing this doing uh before you start the investigation but have have the victims in your other cases have they gone to the police before you drop the video or is this a unique case this is a unique case this is yeah unique i'm calling case. bullshit on that 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 doesn't make sense this is a unique case we're supposed to believe that he told eight people in the biggest investigation that he's ever covered. Well, it's not even worth going to the police. And I'm supposed to believe that he's been an upstanding citizen on every single thing he's ever covered? Do you think he's earned that level of charitability from me or fucking Smaggle? Because he hasn't. This is, he, he clearly says he's never done anything like this before. So why did Colton, a guy who dresses up like Michael Jackson... Okay? And calls in pretending he's Augie on politics streams. Why did it take that guy to tell him, hey man, you should fucking call the police and a lawyer to explain to him how best to do it? Are you kidding me right now? Am I supposed to take you seriously? When the lowest common denominator from my community is telling a pedophile hunter how to run his channel literally the dumbest people that we have to offer are providing you more evidence than you yourself can come up with this is the most pathetic thing i've ever witnessed in my five years on the platform and dude it, it it seems like well, you just admitted this situation is overly personal for you because you knew Spencer, your mother knows Spencer's aunt. So this kind of just seems like this super mega allegation all over again. Just like you, you are very intertwined with the victim and you want to you want to support them whenever you could. But that kind of just you make mistakes along the way, like uh, changing your name to God Cold, make making it so the guy whose biggest case in my life you know the way that i'm gonna prove this pedo hunting this this pedo group is like fucking sending leviathans to fucking lure children into fucking sending nudes i know the perfect way to do it we'll latch on to a big social media topic it'll get people going the first thing i'm going to do is change my channel's name so the platform that i'm giving these survivors gets no fucking views Great idea, asshole. What a smart fucking plan. The first thing I'm going to do is change my name so my audience doesn't know who the fuck they're subscribed to. 
What a fucking genius. Glad they sought you out and didn't ask for a replacement. Well, that nobody knows that it's you that made the video. That's why your video bombed because you changed your name to God Code. Nobody saw it. And then you made another, you made the second video where it was you crying about, uh, you crying about comments saying what the fuck happened to you why 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 did you do the guard code thing or well, what is this camden gerard davis person even about and then number and then you made the third video which was calling out uh calling out moist critical for not covering the story after you uh dm'd him like a spurg a bunch of times and you did get a response from critical but it was just him just completely shitting all over you so like I'm, I'm conf I need you to look at this. I need you to look at his smug grin as Smaggle Daggle is explaining to him every single fault in his operation. Look at that fucking stupid smile on his face right now as quote unquote the lowest common denominator of my community goes in there and reads him a list of every way that he's become an embarrassment to the subject he's trying to cover. In every single way he has failed these people who have come to him for help. That is a face of somebody. I, I want to say he doesn't care. Or his ego is too big to let him accept any of the criticism he has just received. And I'd like to believe it's that one. Because it's much less malicious. It's time to wash your hands of this. And send them to somebody who can f***ing help. And get them in touch with a lawyer that can do something. Fused to like... And you said like after this, after this stream, after after the last stream, actually, you said after the last stream, you were gonna focus on the video, and then instead, you decided to do this stream where, what, two more victims have been called out, two more victims have been given the platform to speak, but you've also had, you also got steamrolled by Lyrics, you got steamrolled by Muda, <laughs> Keemstar came on and kind of just ruined the whole thing, like. You should really just end your stream right now because nobody in chat is agreeing with you or most people in chat aren't agreeing with you. He lost his subreddit, okay? He lost his comment section. I'm pretty sure he's losing subscribers, okay? So even the people who bought into his old shit don't buy into this new shit, okay? He can laugh about it as much as he wants, but this is a catastrophe. And it's not just his catastrophe, because as he says repeatedly, there are eight people going to him for guidance and relying on him. And it's going, this failure will now reflect and damage all of those people. You just need to like, hang up the towel, like, make the video, uh, do the police involvement. You should just, you just, just stop I'm seeing online. the gene start coming through. The fact that these streams are they're still happening, it feels like the gene is coming through again. Like it's, and I, I, I didn't even think that was possible. I didn't think that in a million years that Mama Max would have the gene. But I'm feeling the fucking gene coming along. Boogie, why are you streaming, Boogie? Boogie, why are you talking about this, Boogie? Boogie, why are you saying this stuff? Wings of Redemption, why are you doing this? Jalen... Why are you going on stream and talking about how bad your life is? Why don't you just get offline, Jalen? There are some fucking people, I don't understand why, they need to get on stream and debate everybody and fucking try to explain why they're right and, and the whole internet is wrong, okay? And they got themselves into bigger and bigger stupid scenarios. They cannot put the phone down. I don't think we're at that level for Max, but we're starting to get to that level for Max, okay? I don't understand why you continue to do these live streams. Stop blaming it on them. You fucking know better. You should not be doing these live streams. You just stop with all of that. I think he's right, Max. Let's go. Let's, this is done. Let's yeah. All right. I, all right. Bye, it was nice everybody. knowing all you guys. I'm sorry, Spencer. It was a good stream. Um, sorry, Ellie. Appreciate all y'all. Bye, everybody. <laughs> uh, so should I just leave? Like, what is this? How awkward and angry does this feel? The awkward silence. I intentionally didn't talk over it. 
And he doesn't even kick Smaggle from the call. He just makes fun of him after Smaggle explains all the faults in his operation. And he's just like, so this is kind of awkward now. Do you want me to just like leave? Should I just go? Like, what do you want me to do? Dude, I'm just disgusted. If, if that's what you want, like, Smaggle. Do you have like, do you have like a specific, like just one at a time, like one point or question? Like, yeah, things haven't gone perfectly. Yeah, and that's a good point, Silfit. I think he should go one at a time and explain the answer to every single one of those points. I think he should ask Smaggle to repeat his first point and go bullet for bullet and address every single thing Smaggle said. Yeah, I do. Like he had this idea for how to blow it up and it didn't work. Well, now what? Like, what do we do now? Do you have any ideas? Like, or I mean, he did find survivors at least, and that's what his goal was. Yeah, I end. mean, I guess, yeah, but like, if you, if you release the original, if you if you have the original video and it was, and you made that video not not as like some kind of uh, making fun of uh, you making fun of YouTubers, YouTubers being quotes and making fun of quotes in general, and just stuck to the facts of the Cam Cameron Draw Davis because I know multiple people have reached out to you and saying that the vampire cult. Is a really what Smaggle's saying here is 100% true. If Turkey Tom made a video tomorrow called The Vampire Degenerates and did a whole video exposing a pedophile sex cult leviathan werewolf combo meal, okay, it would get fucking views. It would get a million views on the main channel. I guarantee it. I don't even know what he has. And it would still be worth talking about on Tom's channel, okay? I don't fucking for the life of me understand why it needs to be padded with ARG bullshit. I don't fucking get it. I don't know why you can't just present it and do it normal. I feel I, I just want to like him and be like, why can't you be normal? Holy fuck, bro. This is totally a banger video that you refuse to make. That's why I don't understand the clout chaser shit. Because even a clout chaser would know that he's doing it wrong. Tom made a video on Giggly Goon Clown, which has more than uh, more views than any of Max's videos, and it's and streams made on Candid and put together. Yeah, hundred percent. That's why it doesn't make any sense to me. That's one of the fucking loose ends I can't possibly seem to tie up for the people who think he's a clout demon who's trying to make money off the backs of fucking predator victims. Okay, if he wanted to do that, why didn't he do it right? Why didn't he make a fucking video that would get a shitload of views and make him more money and grow him and grow his Patreon? It's easy. You know he's gonna take you out of context and say he wants to. Oh, <laughs> oh god! It's just I don't know. I'd like to think he's going to take this call, this stream, as what it is. But he's probably just gonna say that he doesn't like my tone and he's not gonna listen to any of my criticism. And it's literally the reason I didn't want to be involved in this. It's the reason I didn't want anything to do with it. I have to spend my time telling the pedophile hunter that he's doing a shit job i have to spend all this time to tell him shit that smaggle said on stream because he's not going to listen to it if it comes from smaggle he'll listen to it if it comes from me all right well then you listen to me you're fucking the story up okay you want your little investigator you got him i'm investigating all right and i'd like to stop because you're not you're wasting my fucking time okay Based on everything I've seen, this drama, he may have not hunted down any actual predators at all. There are people who are calling his entire past into question. That's why I'm bringing Mudahar on. Mudahar's known him for years. All right, maybe he'll be able to shed some light on that. Because, again, everyone's going through his old investigations, asking a bunch of questions that I don't fucking have the answer to. So I'm not going to wait. I don't have... I don't have fucking... I'm spending like eight hours talking about Camden Gerard Davis. I'm not going through all the other ones. No. Not enough money in the world. You slimy, weasley fuck. I'm not going through all of it. Sorry. Really good, interesting tagline. If you just made that video, made that first part, you probably would have gotten- Eight hours on Camden Gerard Davis, I don't know what he did wrong. Don't ask me to go through another rabbit hole. It's not fucking happening. Um... <laughs> Alright, after this one, we're gonna quickly run through donos and we will keep going. These victims that are in the call right now, and probably more. So... Yeah. Right, you gotta go back in time. <laughs> no, no, what that's not what I'm saying. It's time to build a time machine. I'm saying, I, I'm, I'm saying like... <laughs> the the day. What else do you want him to do? What the fuck? Everyone expects, expects him to be fucking Jesus. Perfect and shit. I'm not yeah, expecting him to be Jesus. Everyone's not expecting him to be Jesus, asshole. They're expecting him to do the bare fucking minimum.
That's what all people want from Max, is the bare minimum. This doesn't take a drama YouTuber. This needs a journalist, as much as I fucking hate them. That's what we need here. We need a fucking journalist, all right? And I don't even think the people at fucking Insider could handle a case like this. I think they'd fuck it up too. I don't even like them. But that's what you need here. You need an investigative journalist. You need somebody like Black Wolf Company to advise you on what to do from here, okay? You need somebody who's done this before. Somebody better than Black Wolf Company, I guess, to tell you what to do. Slide or, easily fuck. you need to find somebody, an investigative journalist who's done this for a living, and just give up the keys to the car and let them do their fucking job. Because clearly, you don't care if the police do theirs. So why don't you call somebody who knows what they're fucking doing? Somebody who's not living with them. not Someone who's not financially tied to, to the fucking victim. And let them handle it. Yes, but I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm expecting him to, like... I, yeah, I don't know. Smaggle's used to a certain format of, of people being very, like, clear and cut and dry with, like, a story. No, asshole. That's the only format for a pedophile investigation. There's no... Well, they're just used to the certain format it's where the people tell you what the fuck. pedo allegation is, asshole. There's only one format. There is present the investigation, take it to police, and try to get somebody put behind bars. That's the only format that matters. Like, here is, not, not to, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying, like, and Max is a different kind of storyteller, I'm not, I'm not sucking anyone's dick, I'm just saying. Then he shouldn't be telling this story. Does anyone disagree? Does anyone hear Max is a different kind of storyteller, so he just does it in a special way? Does that do anything for you? Is there anybody who heard that and went, oh, okay. All right, I feel a lot better about this now. If this is the best lawyer I get, then my lawyer should quit. Okay? Look at my fucking pedo investigator. Nobody's going to jail. Thing, Smaggle, like, you know, you said you're aut autistic and, and just imagine like that's not your forte is whatever this thing is and everyone's like oh he should have done that thing and it's like well i'm sorry i'm doing my best yeah. at the thing oh. i am good at and maybe I'm it didn't sorry, blow Max, up if i was like if i if i was like we would have mean to you i just had a lot building up because i've been following this since the first video that you released on the camden draw davis story and it just it just didn't click with me and it just kept building up all the little things that all the little uh, discrepancies that you made over the past few live streams and such, and it's just all came up to this. So, yeah. Uh, it's okay. You can be mean to me. Uh, I don't mind. I, I yes, he fucking does. He absolutely does. Nothing about this tells me he's unbothered by what's happening here. Nothing about his responses to any of these people he's begged to bring on live stream tells me he is unfazed by what he's seeing right now. This is fucking cringe. This gimmick is stupid. And he, doesn't, he should not be having this conversation on stream. I appreciate you wanting to speak to me about all this. Yeah, no problem. Also, are you sure that Sylia account is real? Uh, it sounds like her. <laughs> you gotta be honest. Seeing a top like that doesn't sound like it to me, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, um... Uh, you might want to consider censoring the girl's name on the Discord call. Literally has her first and last name on her Discord, and Max is threatening to take legal action against Lyrics. Uh, well, we're probably not even going to listen to the Lyrics call, because I don't think it's... There's nothing in the ly Lyrics call that is super relevant for everything else, and it it kind of just hits all the same notes that, we've already, that we're already discussing here. Um, but I redacted her from the Reddit post... Um, and I'm doing my best to adhere by that same uh, standard. Look, I think Max is making this job hard enough on these girls, and I'm not trying to make it any harder on them. If they don't want their names said, I'm not going to say them. Okay. Muda repeated every single every single thing of value that uh, the lyric said. Muda said, so we've gone through it already. Yeah, yeah, that's. And we will, and I will link it at the end if you want to watch it on his channel. Um, moreover. Lyrix's video is coming out this week, and that's much more um, direct than what this one stream clip was. But we have a ton of stuff to get through. You're not going to miss it at all. We have we have enough we have enough content here. We have a we have an ad hoc panel.
between se- me and several critics of Max to watch. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. We have barely scratched. The- I'm on like thing number four on my list of stuff that I've gathered. Gotcha. I'll I'll leave you guys. Thank you, Smaggle, for for joining. How do you feel about Mama Max saying full name isn't a dox, and that's why it's okay to dox a random family? I will absolutely get to that. That is not on the list just yet, but it is coming up. Yeah, no Thank problem. you for being respectful. <laughs> so weirdo. Xylee, you are allowed to be mean to me. <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. Do you see the smirk on his face right now? Xylee, you are allowed to be mean to me. Okay. All right. I want you to remember that when he tells Xylee, keep talking after Xylee shits on him in the call. I, I really want you to remember the smirk and him say, Xylee, you're allowed to be mean to me after Xylee calls in, is mean to him, and he's like, yeah, keep talking, Xylee. Okay? I just want you to remember that. Well. All right, so that's the end of that clip. Um, kind of in a pretty deep game right now, but I'll risk dying in Fortnite to get you this next thing that I want to show you. So this is what people were talking about. There was a Patreon update from the from Striker Films. Okay. Last night's eight-hour live stream is temporarily privated at a survivor's request. We featured new experiences from within the cult, addressed criticisms and rumors, and listened to different viewpoints. Despite fun moments, we are cautious about spreading harmful narratives as our aim to foster open dialogue has faced many challenges. Considering audience concerns, we're pausing online activities until we properly address the situation through official channels. We'll re-release the stream when the first part of the upcoming documentary is published. Thank you for your patience as we manage this responsibility. Why should I believe you? Why should I believe that now, all of a sudden, you've realized the error of your ways? Oh, guys, calm down. We've figured it out, guys. We probably shouldn't do live streams. The open dialogue for the information we're not sharing... By the way, it's a one-way open dialogue track, right? We're doing open dialogue, but we're not actually going to tell you anything. But we're going to claim it's open dialogue because we're just giving you a fucking... Uh, a spoken word representation and debating Smagglebaggle, which is hilarious to call anything open when I still don't know what the fuck he did. It just blows my mind that he's referring to it as an open dialogue, as if he's presented fucking any factual evidence that I could possibly look into on my own, okay? Not a fucking lick of evidence, but it's an open dialogue, okay? But now all of a sudden, he's realized after Muda told him to stop doing streams, and then called in to tell him to stop doing streams, and then fucking Max backed off and said, well, the victims want me to keep doing fucking streams, and, and keep fucking taking calls from stupid people online, okay? I'm supposed to believe that he had a fucking change of heart the second he turned off the camera? That somebody, that, that I guess he just finally figured it out after every single person called in and told him the same thing. After every single person called in the last time and told him the same thing. After every single person privately fucking reached out to him and told him the same thing. Now he figured it out. Yeah, he's gonna be back on live in a fucking week. And if he's not, I'd be surprised. And if he is, I'll be fucking grateful. I'm sorry, if he's not, I'll be fucking grateful. Okay, this is ridiculous. Quick, up, quick update from Striker Films. I gave them the, a phone call to a lawyer and I'm sending them off to them is the Patreon update that I think most of us want. I'm dead. God damn it. <laughs> I fell off and I died. But that's the point. I think that's the update everyone here wants is I'm parting ways with the subject. Okay? That's, what, that's the update I fucking was waiting for. Okay? Um, and you're probably wondering about more of this and I will talk about it here because since we're just getting into this now... I want to address um, this. Oh, fuck me, dude. This is crazy. Max has the audacity to reach out to Lyrix and say, Please note that during your recent live stream, you revealed the real name of a survivor who wished to remain anonymous. Apparently it was your fucking Discord name. And Max started dragging in random community idiots to talk to them, giving out this person's fucking name. Really? Really? You didn't even consider that when you started adding random critics to your phone call? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? But but don't worry, guys. We're going to get to it. Uh, apparently, a first name isn't a dox. And that's why he says here that he didn't, that, that, that he's not saying it was a dox. It's just, 
This is a fucking joke, dude. This is a fucking joke. This is absurd. Here, let me uh, let me do one thing, and then I will immediately. Here, okay. Please note that during your recent live stream, you revealed the real name of a survivor who wished to remain anonymous. To protect their privacy, we kindly ask you to remove or edit this part of your stream. Additionally, we wanted to highlight the potential danger of if Cameron, Ger Cameron Gerard Davis views this stream, as it could put the survivor's life at risk. Whose fault is that, asshole? Given your stance on names and doxing, we trust you'll understand the gravity of this situation and will act accordingly. If this situation isn't addressed promptly, we will need to contact our YouTube partner manager. We appreciate your immediate attention to the sensitive matter. By the way, if he reached out to Lyrics and said, hey man, I fucking accidentally forgot that this person's Discord name was in the thing. We fucked up. Can you just take this thing down or edit this part out at this exact timestamp? I would really appreciate it going up. Lyrics would have said, yeah, no problem. I'll get right on it, okay? But instead, Max comes through, admits that he is the reason why he's now putting these people in jeopardy, okay? He has created a live stream that he is scared Cameron Gerard Davis is going to see, okay? He's, ve he's very clear about it. He's produced content that he's now a Afraid the person he's going after is going to fucking see, and it could put people at risk. And he's gonna threaten Lyrics to clean it to cover it up. Well, you know what, Max? If that does happen, you know what you should do, Max? Because this has been your fucking answer for every time anyone brings it up. I'll tell you exactly what you should say. All right? If something happens to that girl or their case, you should turn around and say, well, you asked me to live stream, and I'm here to give you my platform. Like you've told every fucking other person who've expressed similar concerns over this live stream. You should tell them the same thing you told us. I'm doing what you asked me for. And see how that goes down. See how people view that, okay? If God forbid something happens to those girls, you should fucking remind them that they work, that, that you work for them, and you are just the Lorax of fucking pedo allegations. You speak for the girls, okay? See how that goes. Just blame the victim like you do every other fucking time you get criticism. But you won't then, would you? No, because then you'll realize the optics of your own sentence. Ugh. Do you have a timestamp or anything where I did this? I have no idea what you're talking about, Lyric said. I'm not accusing you of doxing. Their name was present in our Discord chat. We sent you the timestamp and the link. The person we're talking about is blank, and I, I went and I blurred the other name, because I'm not even bringing that up, who's labeled as blank on your stream. This is their request. All right, I saw it. I'll have to download the VOD, and we'll re-upload it with that part censored. Is that why you private it? But yeah... Is that all in regards to the stream? Because I don't want to get striked in the re-upload of the clip for anything else. Thank you. Yes, due to privacy concerns, we have made our stream private. However, if you don't want to get striked, I must express my concerns regarding the patterns that we've observed in your behavior and the nature of community that you are cultivating. Your channel is at risk of being terminated if these issues persist. Promoting a community that engages in bullying and targeting survivors of child sex crimes is deeply troubling. I strongly re recommend that you reflect on the impact of your actions and the environment that you're cultivating. We will be checking in on you periodically. Have a good night. Fuck you. Fuck you. The only danger to these girls' fucking stories is you. A fucking artist too egotistical to realize that he is out fucking manned and out fucking gunned for what he has taken on knowingly and willingly begging for help for people who cannot provide the types of services he needs to do those girls anything, any benefit. Okay? Fuck you. To fuck you. You, you don't give anybody anything to work with and then a community starts asking questions so you threaten them it's not how this fucking works 
And you're skating by off your fucking reputation alone. Anybody else wouldn't be taken seriously right now. Not only that, but I'm gonna. Thanks, Optimal. Dude, Welcome to the channel. Shit, literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Fucking embarrassing. What a weird message. Hey man, I was more than willing to comply with you over your privacy concerns. I just told you that I would comply. But what is this shit with you vaguely, vaguely threatening? That wasn't vague. What he wrote to me saying your fucking silence won't be unnoticed. That was a vague. That that was a vague threat. This was not a vague threat. That was a direct threat. Okay, that he's gonna flag his channel for bullying. All right, a hundred fucking percent. That was a guy who got fucking pulverized in a live stream and got fucking obliterated by five guys, okay, and, and Xyli, all right, one by one, at 2.16 in the morning, upset about his performance, who swung back hard and threatened him because he's embarrassed by his own fucking actions. That's what just happened tonight. I don't fucking respect that. Do you, did anyone in chat fucking respect somebody like that? Can't even admit he's the fucking problem here. Yeah, Lyrics is a fucking dick, okay? And he d does not give a fuck about any of those girls. I'll be the first to say it. He's doing this for money. Because it's a viral subject, okay? And it is a viral subject. I have 1,400 people watching me talk about this. You had 300 talking about the actual story. And you have created a fucking circus around your own allegations. More people want to talk about you than they want to talk about the girls. And that's your fault. It's not the drama channels that you begged to cover this is fault, okay? Maybe you should have called somebody who could actually fucking help and not just provide their audience to you as a loner for the weekend while you made your fucking artistic masterpiece that didn't help those fucking girls. How about that, asshole? Let's get to Xylee's call, because this one is the therapeutic one. This one makes everybody feel a little bit better. Oh, I'm gonna just let Xylee go off. I gotta go to the bathroom. So if you want to take yeah, no, bro. <laughs> Wait, so you're going to go to the bathroom as you're going to let me go off? A little context about this. I was watching this with Xylee and them because we were watching the stream because Max asked me to be on it. And I just didn't want to be the fifth guy in the room telling him the same fucking thing. He told me, he asked me the night before he did the stream and he said, hey, would you like to talk about it? Because you seem pretty interested. And I, I mean, I was interested in researching it and I didn't get anything out of it. And I was hoping like, he would just post the video that I heard he was making instead of doing the live stream in general. And uh, he chose not to do that. And I was not at all interested in being the newest person to get on there and have a, a, a boring fucking conversation about what he should do. I, I, I didn't want to have the Mudahar fireside chat with this guy to tell him what he should do because I don't know. He doesn't give a fuck, dude. He doesn't give a fuck what I have to say. He wants my audience. He wants my. He wants me to go on and tell my audience he's doing a good job so they'll go and help with his case. That's all he wants. That's all he wants from me. He doesn't give a fuck about what my opinion is. He wants my, he wants my audience to be on his side. And I'm not giving him that. I'm not going on there and shaking his hand on stream because I don't know what the fuck is going on here. And I'm not giving him that satisfaction, okay? So I didn't want to be the fifth guy in the room to tell him information he doesn't care about or he's not interested in hearing from me. Um, so I didn't call in. But then Xylee started chirping him in the chat and Matt Pitt put out a message saying, um, like, put one in the chat if Xylee should call in. And Max was like, oh, yeah, I want this. Bring on Xylee. Because he knew in the back of his mind that Xylee would get on there and spurg out and have a fucking meltdown and scream at him. And it would be his opportunity to finally get a win over this community, to get somebody in there who can't fucking handle this kind of conversation or can't do what's what needs to be done here to embarrass him. So it's his best chance to get a win over somebody in this fucking community. And he, and he just, he does not realize that Flamenco could have called in and obliterated him. That's the God's honest truth. I don't know a single person who could have fucked this whole stream up. I don't know a single person who could have called into this and done a bad job. And Xylee was very much 
underrated in this live stream. Somebody this community sometimes can't stand. Somebody who Augie's community desperately wants out. Okay. Somebody who I've gotten so much shit about uh, telling me to fuck off Xylee, fuck off Xylee, is now on subreddits getting praised the minute I heard her southern drawl. I knew I had to subscribe. Okay. This call has solidified Xylee as a member of this community. This call has made people who hate Xylee a fan of Xylee because of what you're about to watch. Uh, and it totally backfired on Max for bringing her in. Totally backfired. Okay? I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about Xylee since this call. And I think for a few days, that's going to be the case. Uh, now you can't make everybody happy, but holy shit. Is this fucking funny? And that's how it's a work. <laughs> Bye, Zyla. Oh, and he doesn't even give her the respect to, like, be there when she joins the call. And, like, I'm not fucking... It's so funny, he went to go take a piss or whatever or something, presumably, right? And this obviously wasn't what he wanted, but it's funny because he had a critic join the call, and he immediately threw them to Spencer, not even realizing the optics of what that looked like. Yeah, I'll be right back. You talk to Zyli for a minute. Is one of the funniest things to say after I'm not using my victims as a human shield for like the last hour long. Isn't that fucking hilarious? Now, obviously, that's not what he meant. Um, but like, it literally turned into, do you have anything to say to Spencer? <laughs> I mean, that's just gotta be the, that's just the funniest part of this. How are y'all doing? Doing good. Pretty fine. Pretty, Pretty all right. Pretty good. Doing good. Are we doing good tonight? Are we good? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. How Simply. You? How are you doing? I'm, do I'm doing Slidey, great. Weasley I'm doing fuck. amazing. Now I'm just waiting for him to come back so I can have my little fireside chat with him. him. Yeah, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I feel like we've been waiting all night for this. I don't know yeah. why. I don't know why he <laughs> wanted to talk to me, but I did love to hear him beg and say my name. My God. Did you have a good New Year? Digging his own grave. It, not, not really. I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule. I don't get much sleep. No, I don't yeah. want to skip this well, part. Was your New Year's good? I want to hear the awkward silence as Spencer has to watch Xylee just fucking say horrible shit about Max. I, I want to watch this part. I understand we could skip this, but I don't want to. Yes, yeah, boring. Didn't do shit. <laughs> I feel you. I was married, I feel so I stayed you. with the dogs. <laughs> I like how he waited to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, he ran away. After he put... I should say he ran and just leave. That's what I should say. You gonna yeah. pull me in and then go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom first and then pull me in. The hell? You gotta get Come on, Max. Don't run. He's like crying profusely in the bathroom right now. You gotta put on a diaper and everything. You don't know he he needs to. Yeah. He's breathing himself for this. <laughs> it's not gonna be as bad as he thinks it's gonna be. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Here, listen to this part. Sile, uh, you're also on with Spencer. Uh, if you, did you want to like talk or anything? No. How poetic is this? How poetic? I, I just gotta repeat it. How poetic is it that he spent the whole night saying he doesn't use the victims as human shields, and this silfit dumbass is sitting here being like, "Well, Max isn't here right now, Zyli. Do you want to ask? Do you want to ask Spencer any questions?" As, as like a form of disarmament. That is so funny. Oh, I don't. I, I don't have anything to say to her. I mean, not not disrespectfully, but no. It's and Zyli answers correctly. I have no problem with you. I think Max is the problem. <laughs> Fair. It's Max I got the problem with. <laughs> what problem you have with him? Well, one, this is his damn channel, and he shouldn't be relying on anybody else on what's said on this channel. This is his channel, and he has a right and, and he has a responsibility of what happens on this channel, True. because it's his name on this channel. Yeah, but with his channel, does he have the right to platform other people if he wants to? Is I am not saying channel? he can't platform anyone. What a any retarded fucking thing to say. What a stupid fucking comment from the peanut gallery. Max has a responsibility of what happens on his channel. Yeah, but does he have the right to platform anybody? Who the fuck is calling that into question? Whether he has the right to bring these victims on. Yeah, you could. But should you? No, you shouldn't. You worthless fucking idiot. Body, did I Not ever say that? that did I ever say that? This fat piece of shit literally You're fucking earlier said I'm yeah. losing with So everything. that means any no. goxing that happens, he's responsible for it. And if this fucks up their case that they may or may not have because I haven't seen the proof, guess whose responsibility is? It's Max. his. And I'm sure he's aware of that. And you know what? It's also there so everybody can get sued. Yeah.
and he's <laughs> actually fucking up their case on whatever case they have. Again, I haven't seen the proof. He is fucking up their case by doing this stupid bullshit. You have nothing. Finally, Max has arrived. All right, real quick, right before we get into the carnage, I do want to catch up on supers. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Um, we got... Okay, we're at Lolcow TCG. Soldier Boys, Baby Daddy has become a new member. Panic Pung, thank you for the five. Um, Buzzsaw, thanks for the five. Is it morally justified to call count? Okay, I'm not reading that one, but thank you. Um, thank you, Timmy, for becoming a new member. Boohoo Big Oops became a member. That's an old head. We almost have 1,500 live viewers right now. That's fucking crazy. I don't think I've ever had... I think this is the max viewers I've ever had. I don't think my main channel ever hit 1,500. Um, I don't think they've ever hit 1,400. That's crazy. Uh, third stream of the year, third stream in, of, since the break. Uh, very happy. We'll get a main channel video out for you guys soon. Alex the Riot, thank you for the five. Mama Max Carson is now back in the goon cave writing. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> $2 for, from Chaos and Control. He's spilling out the Hanson Human Shield strat. Ballsy. That's what it feels like right now. Germ70, thanks for the five. Max gets angry when other people won't do his job for him that, so he can take credit for it. He doesn't want to edit his videos, it gives him headaches. I mean, maybe he just... I don't know, it gives Tro headaches to edit videos, too. I'll be charitable to that. Papa, thanks for the five. I used to watch Slide Mama Max a lot, realizing how much of a nutcase he is. Himpleton, thanks for the five. Thank you for being so kind and explaining to Max what he's doing. So he's more stuck in the mud uh, to a, of a point than Flamank. <laughs> Jessica Holt, thanks for the five. Check out this video. What the fuck is Mama Max talking Slide about? Fuck. Werewolf Cult Simplified. Maybe I'll check that out in a bit. TX, thanks for the five. Catching up in the tipster. TTS doesn't want to sound too bad at... Uh, to, to, uh, all right, the tipster TDS didn't sound that bad at 1.25. Somebody, thanks for the five. Uh, I think his biggest issue is that he thinks he knows better than everybody else. We actually just hit 1,500 concurrent. That's that's a fucking new record. Um, Beck Bixler, thanks for the new membership. Colton for the five. Nobody should say a video will make this better. It's irredeemable since nothing legal can come of this Not now. That, At that point, he just farmed more money. Any shit, lawyer worth a damn can salvage this case for those estrogen. girls. I don't believe that's the... I think that the most damage he's doing is potentially creating a civil liability case for him and those girls. But I think from a criminal perspective, that, I think a lawyer could salvage it for sure. Literally um, fucking Earlier said I'm oozing with Blueberry, estrogen. thank you for the four, the five R dollars. I appreciate that. Ten gifted from Cats of Flocken. Um, thank you very much. Cats of Flocken, we did end Not up getting that, that twenty dollars where it had to go. So I just wanted to clarify. I said I would donate it and I did. Uh Boohoo Big uh, uh, Oops, thank you for the five gifted. Simp Man, thank you for the gifted. I'm cutting off memberships right there. Read out things Not only that, but and I'm we will that this fat piece of do shit. more of them Literally as we progress through the stream but any new ones that come in i will not be reading until then we're gonna do them in chunks because i want to get you guys back to the uh the live stream but back to the content if Not you just that, became a member through gifted you got emotes shit. to Literally use uh you can I'm now you can now definitely engage in the <laughs> With because he's keeping all the evidence for well the then don't fucking talk about it because how am i supposed to report on something that i can't see the facts of not only no that but i'm gonna bash him here too this fat piece i completely shit, disagree but even if that were the case making a video before a legal case continues would be the wrong move well his idea was to go to the go to the youtube audience before he takes a case not only that, that's but his I, that's what he's already done that's where we are so if you want that estrogen. support that he's getting because again if i had to do this from start to finish i don't know how i would handle eight girls but my route would not be social media that wouldn't be the first not thing only i that, do but I'm gonna fat shame from the position that he's currently shit, in now fucking earlier said I'm oozing i think he estrogen. needs to make that video i think he needs that support i think he needs to make it a public issue the way mudahar has discussed I think Mudahar put it really well when he says, if he makes it a matter of public concern, then the police will have to take a look at it. And I think that is the only play he has left now. I think he needs to make the video and I think he needs to go to the police. And if the police, that, I think he needs to go to the police him, first, fat piece of right? Shit. Don't get me wrong. I think I'm the police estrogen. need to be the, I think he needs to take everybody and go to the cops immediately and say, fuck getting more victims. We have more than we can manage now. A hundred percent. Not but I also that, but think if they don't help him right now, he needs to Literally make the video and then go back to the police. Yeah, that's my opinion. But in, I mean, in a perfect world, this whole thing doesn't happen, and he just goes to the fucking cops. And doesn't need Colton to tell him to. Not only here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Let's get it.
report on anything. Okay, great. Mama Max is back. I ain't got to talk to you no more. But oh exactly. my god, that is so. That is the most based moment on this whole fucking stream. Is when Mama Max shows up and Zylie's like, "Oh, good, the peanut gallery can go now." Holy fuck, do I not want to talk to them? Respectfully. Max. Hi, Zylie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey Max. Not only that, now, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This you fat piece of shit me literally up fucking here earlier said I'm not losing with estrogen. I think it's a great idea. I don't know. I don't think so. Because you're not listening to anybody else. So what makes me think you're gonna listen to me? Not only that, oh. but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This oh, fat piece of shit God. literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. I, I think everyone in the call we were listening to this went, ooh! The second we heard him say, well, the second we heard Zylie say that you haven't listened to a single person all Not night, only so that, why are you listening to me? Here too. This fat piece of Holy shit literally shit. fucking Let's earlier for the, said uh, I'm oozing with estrogen. Let's wait for the gifted donos to chill. When the gifted donos come through, the YouTube doesn't know how to handle it. I think we're good now. Is that the last one? All right, nobody gift for a little while, okay? We don't need that on the screen. <laughs> because I'm going to tell you now, lyrics had hella good points. Muda, once again, had hella good points, and you're not listening to them. And every time Muda talks to you for two times in a row, two li I think it was two live streams in a row, but two times Muda has talked to you, you act like your daddy whooped your ass, and you look like you're about to cry because you know his ass is right. But yeah. Oh my god. Does anyone not feel amazing hearing someone finally say this to Max? Does anyone not feel just a fucking, just joy as Max is confronted with the grim reality of the fact that he's been wasting everyone's time and damaging their fucking credibility the entire night. Oh my god. You don't do It's therapeutic. What is wrong with you? Um, so you don't want me to platform the survivors for live streams. When did I Fuck you. Fuck you. That is not even close to what this woman just said to you. That is not even close to anything that Xylee was getting at. Holy fucking deflection. Literally, literally holding the survivors in front of Xylee. Holding them up like a human shield right there and then. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fu- I don't, I don't use the survivors as a human shield. Oh, I'm sorry. What would you call that? How would you describe that fucking sentence? I say I don't want them platformed. When did I say I don't want them platformed? When did I say that? Show me a timestamp where I said that. He has no idea what he just unleashed in this call. What are you trying Don't to say? Don't look at her! Don't look what at her! What are you trying to say? Maybe you should shut the fuck up and listen to one person who's trying to come at- Like, literally anyone who has something to say about the subject. Just listen to one fucking person, dude. Her! Listen to me and look at your computer! Don't look at her because she can't give you that answer! Dude, I, I'm sorry. I need you to I need you to see this. Again, right after he's talking about how he's not using the, like, the victims as a human shield, watch what he does. When did I say I don't want them platformed? When did I say that? Show me a timestamp where I said that. It's like it's second nature to him. It's like it's second fucking nature to him. I'm not a fucking body language expert, but are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? And then Xylee says like, this is my boat now. Don't look at her. You look at me. <laughs> what are you trying Don't to look say? At her. Don't look at her. You Listen look at to me. me. And look at your computer. Don't look at her because she can't give you that answer. You t you said it out of your mouth. Show me a timestamp where I said you can't platform them. What are you trying to say, Zyla? What I'm trying to say is, if they have a case, again, I haven't seen the proof, so I'm saying if, okay? If they have a case, you are fucking it up by these live streams. I don't think that's true. No, I think it is. <laughs> Does anyone have the screenshot? I fucking exit out. I don't think I'm messing up a case for these victims. Hold on, I need I need my own stream timestamp. Give me two seconds. Oh fuck me, is that not funny? I don't think that's oh, true, Zylie. Zylie, I don't think that's true. I don't think I'm messing up their case. Dude, cut to like two dude, you got the, the fucking soundboard. Actually I think I, I think I have it. Hold on, wait, I, I can do this. I can do this. Wait. Hold on, where is the clip? Where's the clip? Hold up, let me get this up. Let me get this all set up. I got this. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Dude, look at this, look at this.
Because let me tell you something. You sent your audience to go hunting for this dude and his mother. If something would have happened to them, that would have been on your ass. And then it would have been on their ass for saying the damn name. Not that one. You sent your audience to go hunt is if they have a case again I haven't seen the proof so I'm saying if okay if they have a case you are fucking it up by these live streams I don't think that's true Two hours later Additionally we want to highlight the potential danger if Cameron Gerard Davis views this live stream it could put the survivors lives at risk Holy shit, dude. You gotta be kidding me. This is a joke, right? This is a fucking joke? No, I think it is. Because let me tell you something. You sent your audience to go hunting for this dude and his mother. If something would have happened to them, that would have been on your ass. And then it would have been on their ass for saying the damn name and having these people in the chat hunting his ass down like he's a fucking deer. Can you give? Can you give us? I am time? not talking to you, honey. I am talking to Max. Respectfully, stay out of it. Mm. <laughs> God, it's just so. It's just so awesome. It's just so awesome. She just. You are so not well. being respectful, Zyler. You're not being respectful. Suck my. D How respectful do I have to be? Fuck you. How, I'm, am I being respectful enough? Fuck you. And the fucking horse you came in on, piece of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> You're not being respectful, Zyler. It's, a, it's like such a joke to these people. It's like insane. I shouldn't say these people. It's such a joke to him. I, I, it's insane. How am I not being respectful? What, because I'm loud? I'm a loud bitch. I've been loud ever since the day I was born, homie. It ain't changing because of you. Have you seen my life? Can we cut back to the clip where he's like, Xyla, you can be mean to me. Xyla, you can be mean to me. Mm. I told you to compartmentalize it back of your mind. You are not being yeah. respectful, Zyla. Get the f*** out of here. I'm not being respectful. What, because I'm loud? I'm a loud bitch. I've been loud ever since the day I was born, homie. It ain't changing because... Dude, he's like, come on, one's in the chat. Yeah, Zyla, call in. Zyla called in, did her act. By the way, he knew exactly what Zyla was going to do. He's watched her live streams. He knew exactly how unspoke, outspoken Zyla was. So, like, this is insane. It's like, you're literally... This makes me feel like I'm watching Jalen. Do you just want to get on stream and get spanked? Like, what? Why? You know exactly what you're doing. Do you have you seen my live streams? All I do is stay loud, stay loud and proud, baby. That's me. Zyla, can I ask something? I only have it's... like one question. I turned her volume off so I don't get cut off. Um. And the fucking peanut gallery comes in and mutes Zyla to ask her a question because Max is so fucking stunned he's not going to answer a single one of them. Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? Who the f do you think you are? I don't even know this guy's name. I don't even think Max said this person's name. But do you really think that your input matters to anyone? Chat, can we put a one in the chat if you give a f about what this guy has to say? Maybe I'm wrong here. Can you show what well, the then fuck you, you I'm gonna mute them like it's my stream. Really? Answer. We got twos in the chat. Zero. You ain't getting an answer. Uh, You're not getting an answer. We got twos and zeros in the chat. And you can do your thing. Blah, 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 blah. When did he say that? He sounds like, like Charlie Brown's teacher in my ear right now. This is the one time anyone's ever said blah, 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 blah and spoke over somebody where they were right in the debate. At all. Because he cut my volume off and I'm supposed to answer? <laughs> well, I know you don't know what the fuck I'm saying because you said you cut my volume off. So why would I even care to answer you? I'm sorry that y'all can't handle somebody being real, real with y'all. I'm sorry you can't handle somebody not kissing your ass. Because you know, Max, you've talked to me before. You know I'm not going to kiss your ass, dude. You know I'm not. I'm and not going to kiss your to. ass like everybody else. I'm not going to do it. And I don't want you to. Fully. Can I can I ask something, Zyla? I just want to, like, just try to get us all on, like, one page here. So, like, Mudohar did give him a really good advice about mm -hmm. the, the timeline one, the timeline video. Like, I, I the way I keep referring to Max is I said the version I can show my mom. My mom doesn't know any of this, any YouTuber or anything. I want mm -hmm. something I can show her. It's a clear and concise video. It's something that a lot of people- Dude, even the dick sucker knows. Even the dick sucker knows, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? You brought- This is your dick sucker. You brought him on and he knows what you need to do. And you still don't. This guy is smaggle smaggle, okay? People have been asking for. Basically but... what normies can watch. Totally. Um, so, but... Dude, if I showed my mom the video Max made about the cult, she would ask me, like, what the f I'm watching. Is this like, like, what are these people? 
is this like a it, it, I don't I, she would you have no idea how to compartmentalize what she's saying you understand you you make videos and stuff like it takes a long time you can't necessarily just get it together in two weeks like it it's kind of unrealistic to be like this is how long it's gonna take I, I fucking hate this guy. I really hate this guy. It's unrealistic. It's This is what you could make in two weeks. Asshole. This guy has been entrusted with their entire case. He's been working on this for months. Everything he's produced so far is fucking useless to the wider audience that he, for some reason, thinks he needs to progress this story anywhere. It is nothing short of a catastrophic failure. So yes, when people are asking for basic things like, I don't know, the plot? I don't know, the evidence? I don't know, a firm understanding and a bullet point presentation and the timeline of what he did? And you need to slow it down because you keep adding more victims to the case that you don't even fucking have time or, or the understanding to actually add to the case with like any sort of usefulness at all whatsoever. Oh, we needed to really, we need to slow down and really ad address how we're going to do this because we've added more people to the case. So this got more complex. You can't even manage the people you have and you want to add more? And you want us to take you seriously? Okay, dude. Yeah, it's really useful. It's real helpful to everybody. Doing a real bang up job there. Uncriticizable, by the way. You know, it's still fit. You're, you're driving home a really good point right now. We're, we're all being unreasonable. Okay? We're all being unreasonable. Those eight girls are in great hands, buddy. They're all doing. This is going really good. He's just doing the best he can, and the best he can might not be good enough. Why get those to anyone else, you know? When literally every week there's a new thing, page unfolding, like, hey, this survivor reached out now this week, and this. Now you have to. Now you're talking to a lawyer again, and like it's not something you can just. I understand. I am an audience member too, who's patiently like, "Hurry up, dude!" Like, but it is also like a thing of, you know, try to be patient. And it's not that he's taking too long. Taking long is good. It means he's working to the best of his ability. The fact is, his output has been useless, absolutely, unequivocally useless, and he's not done himself any favors in these live streams to make people think that he's done anything of value. That's the problem. It's not that he hasn't provided anything, because realistically, if he took a year privately to do this and put out something at the very end, the way he claims to have done all of his old videos, no one would be saying he's taking too long with these girls. It's the fact that he's producing content that is worthless. Is it so? Is it the time frame that you're angry about, like that he just ha hasn't hurried up and made it, or is it just the whole thing? There's a whole bunch of stuff I'm angry about. I don't like how he hides behind his victims either, or not his victims, but the victims. Excuse me. I don't like how he hides behind the victims either. Every time he gets told about the doxing, well, they said that it was okay to do it. You're hiding. This is your channel, Max. You hold responsibility of what goes on in this channel. I agree. I will not elaborate. I agree. I will not elaborate. <laughs> That's great, dude. So clearly you're listening to everything here. Yeah. I'm angry at all of it. Because quite honestly, it's like it's supposed to disarm her and she's just like, all right, I'll just keep talking. That's fine. Understand. If you go to court, they can pull these live streams for court. You do know that, right? We are not going to court, Zyla. All right. That was a moment for me that I was like, oh, what the f he's gonna go off dude what the f does that mean <laughs> like i'm thinking like oh shit he's gonna take them out back like what the f is the plan create all of it no quite <laughs> and he tries to use this as like a giga own where it's like i told you Zylie, we're not going civil as if like there's no chance that this could ever see trial <laughs> listen to this honestly you do understand if you go to court they can pull these live streams for court you do know that right we are not going to court Zylie. <laughs> So what are you doing? Just hunting them down like a deer? Is that what we're doing? What are we <laughs> That's what I was thinking. He's like, and he's going to put on the Batman voice again and be like, we don't like pedophiles. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Have you not been listening the stream? I know, but you loop. You loop. And then you always look to somebody else for an answer. You can't give an answer yourself. I'm answering you. <clears throat> what are you doing then? Tell me right now. I will be quiet for you to answer and go. So when we reached out to the lawyer, 
he told us it would not be beneficial to pursue a case against Camden Gerard Davis because he likely does not have... By the way, very specifically, he uses a lawyer as in plural. There is no second lawyer. There's no second opinion. We have taken the first opinion we have, and we have moved forward in every single... Uh, He claims later on that he's talked to a second lawyer this week, so maybe he's realized that he should get a second opinion. But I mean, he's put less effort into this than most people do for a cancer diagnosis. Okay? Yeah, get a second opinion, jackass. Holy fuck. Yeah, call the police a second time, jackass. Yeah, no fucking shit. Again, none of us here know how to do this. I don't think there's a single person who could do this well in my chat right now. But I mean, is it really that hard? Yeah, get a second opinion, jackass. Is not something that like a genius would have to come up with. Financial assets. So he recommended that we all go in person to report him to the police station that is in his jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. And this is our only further course of action because our one lawyer told us that's the case. And I apologize if I'm wrong about any of this. If he's talked to 15 different lawyers, all of them have said the same thing. One might specialize in social media fucking conflicts and stuff like that that are that he's created to add on to the circus that he's made. Maybe he has that. But he's not fucking telling anybody what he's doing. And he's just ex- and he's begging everyone to cover it and he refuses to give any information that we could po- talk about publicly. Hey guys, you know what? I'm going to... Dude, Mama Max has reached out to me, and he told me that he's doing a thing. And I think that Mama Max has previously done things, and that's pretty interesting to me in particular. Somebody might have done some stuff that's bad, but I'm not sure. And I, his name's Camden Gerard Davis, and I can tell you his mother's name, but that's about all else I could tell you about him. So if you guys want, shout out to Mama Max. He's doing a thing that might have consequences at some point in the future, okay? There's my glowing endorsement of what he's given me to work with. That so we they doing. didn't tell you to go into the jur- okay is he still in the same jurisdiction that the climb occurred the cl- for the most recent survivors yes okay um because i was always under the impression you have to go into the jurisdiction that the crime occurred all right then yes carry your pretty asses over to that jurisdiction and go hey mr police officer i have a crime to report yes that's what needs to be done Yes, Hell, that you is might what we even are be doing. Able, and because since, you know, COVID and stuff like that, you might even be able to do it over the phone. I don't know. I don't know. Because I've only... Oh, God. Zyli is literally giving him a three-piece and a sandwich right now of some southern breaded fried chicken. Holy shit. This is just like a three-piece and a soda. No, because I know you're in a different state now. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I've had to do it. I've had to do stuff like this before. On my own accord. But yes, you need to go to the police of the jurisdiction of where the crime occurred and go, hello, Mr. Officer, can you help? The biggest fucking, uh, you know, guys, listen, all right, I'm the reviewer, all right? The biggest fuck, I can't say it. The biggest fucking (laughs) of this whole thing is this fucking clip of Xylee talking to this guy. That's, That's the most confirmed case of abuse that I've seen so far. Me. Yes, that is what we are doing. Okay, that should have been done before. This is the only evidence I've seen of somebody getting assaulted. Live streams. Even I know that. And I haven't been on YouTube as long as you, dude. Now, granted, I have lived like probably 20 more years of life, but still. This was a decision by the survivors to come out about Camden publicly. (laughs) Immediately, immediately, immediately uses them as a human shield again. Like after being like questioning i have no idea where is this coming from where is this coming from where is this coming from he said about three words in this conversation to Zylie, and he immediately fucking pulls the victim in front of him as a human shield like it's actually fucking incredible now granted this, i have lived like probably 20 more years of life but still this was a decision by the survivors to come out about camden publicly i uh, get that i get that i really do get that but max how long have you been chasing predators how long have you been doing this? It's been about uh, four to five years, probably, chasing Okay. Them. So four to five years. So you have experience in chasing down. I don't think they reached out to you, Max, so they could tell you what to do. Maybe I'm retarded. I don't know how these things work. Maybe you need to, t- maybe you need to talk to me like I'm a fucking idiot. All right, but when they reach out to someone for help, do they reach out so that person can say that they made all the decisions and every bad decision is their fault? I'm just curious. Wait, the victims like my videos. The victims wanted me to do this live stream. It sounds like the victims are the ones making all the stupid decisions. That's curious. It's almost like they reached out to someone who knows how to help them. And that person won't make any decisions. Curious how that worked out. 
on predators, right? It's almost like the victims don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, what bothers me is you didn't have the where for all to tell these ladies, hey, listen, we need to go to the police first and file a complaint or file something of like, hey, a crime was committed. What bothers me is you've been doing this for five years and you didn't even know to tell them to go to the police first before they say something? Yeah, that's they did. true, guys. Camden Ziley Davis is on the loose right now, just raping people in debates. <laughs> so we gotta stop her. <laughs> um, and have you seen my Wayne video? Well, okay, uh, you're, you're saying names, so I don't, what, which video was that? It's called Wayne.executable. No, it's Wayne. called This Is What Happened to a Child Predator on TikTok. Yes, that, that is the YouTube name. Sorry. Yeah. This, I think I did. I think I did. Uh, give me, hold on. Did I see it? I don't know. I don't remember. I watched so much shit. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So I have a question. So mm. you plan, okay, so you are, so you do plan to go to the police, right? Of course. So what's the point past that because this she says of course as if this wasn't a huge point of contention because in his previous live stream he said we didn't even bother to go to the police like he says of course like we're just supposed to assume oh yeah of course man what do you mean of course i'm going to police Slide it's like a big fucking fuck. thing but like in his previous live stream he said yeah fuck it, we didn't even bother why do you think people are asking you this man and you're talking court so then if it goes, if you go to police and say they say, okay, yay, we're going to go get him or whatever, I don't know, live in a dreamland, whatever you want to feel. Are you going to court after that? I'm unsure about the entire process. I think that's the <laughs> job of the district attorney, but y'all would likely, the survivors would likely appear as witnesses. Okay. <laughs> what bothers me is your answer right there. You've been doing this for five years and you don't know how the process goes? How I've many never people been have court. you actually caught? I've never been to court. Why are you doing this, dude? I'm just, I'm just so fucking confused. I'm so fucking confused. Why are you doing this? Why can't you just admit that you're not cut out for this? You've clearly bit off more than you can chew. I don't even want to laugh. It's just sad. Why are you doing this to these girls? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you sinking with this ship? This makes no sense to me. Oh. Oh, well then that, well shit, that makes sense then. There you go, folks. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad you're we- a vigil You're a vigilante for views only. You're a vigilante for views only. Even as somebody who doesn't believe that's the case, can you fucking blame her for coming to that conclusion based off of what Max has done this stream? Can you blame her for thinking that? It's just retarded. This is just so stupid. This is such a waste of everyone's time. This is a waste of those girls' time. This is a waste of that statute of limitations. This is a waste of everyone's time. Oh, are you serious? No, the entire thing is that he has never gotten a case this big to like get. Uh... And you thought DMing Charlie was good. Has Charlie been to court, you fucking moron? I'm just curious. How many pedophiles has Joe Rogan put in jail? How many pedophiles has Anthony Fantano saw on the fucking called into court to discuss? I'm just, out of all the people you chose to reach out to, how many famous YouTubers have done what you can't? Not one of them, dude. Not fucking one of them. What would Joe Rogan or Anthony Fantano have helped with in this case other than being a credible person who can then help your video get more views? Why the f*** do you think Xylee thinks that you're a clout demon for views? Because none of your answers make sense. Muda, I reached out to you because I didn't know what to do. Okay. But why'd you reach out? I, I guess Phil DeFranco is like the only one who might have been able to get him in touch with somebody. But like, why'd you reach out to Charlie? Why'd you reach out to Fantano? Why does none of your excuses make any sense, Max? Uh, and I've never been so stuff. personally involved in a case as this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess. I've never been so personally involved in a case. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that has caused this thing to blow out of proportion to another level. 
and it has fueled this. Maybe it's not ego. Maybe it's like you're just a friend who's stuck in a shitty situation here and trying to do right by another friend. I want to believe it's something like that. I really do. He reached out to Mr. Beast, dude. Oh, Jimmy! Can you tell me about that time that you were called as a witness when the district attorney processed that pedophile? Oh, you haven't? Oh, that ne you've never done this before either. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's, I was just wondering, you know, man, because I, I didn't know for sure, you know. It was just my it was just an idea. All right, well, I'll go see if Dream has. So when you had somebody move in with you that you're friends with, yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. That doesn't add up either, considering one of his previous videos where he claimed to have caught a pedo with legal action from a... I'm assuming that means the district attorney went to court. And he, for some reason, is thinking this whole thing is about a civil suit. Like, oh, I got you, Ziley. We're not going civil. What, why the fuck does anyone think you should go civil? You're acting like you could put this guy in jail. That's the whole reason. If you're going civil, you might as well make a YouTube video. The whole thing is people want a criminal case. People want the pedo to go to jail. That's the whole point. I, it makes no... This fuck, it's so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, open your fucking eyes, man. You don't have... You can't do it. You can't do it alone. You need to find somebody who can. And not fucking go half in and half out. You need to get out. And get these girls to someone who can help. That's it, man. That's all of it. There's no other key to this puzzle, dude. You need to hand the keys. God. This is amazing. This is absolute. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Max. Y'all need to go to... You need to shut this live stream By the way, off and, and... Xyli has learned from the best, all right? That maniacally... That maniacal laughter while he's sitting there, to, while she's in a call with somebody who's um, quite literally uh, like trying to hunt down her abuser is only something that Nicholas Diorio would do. All right, I, that is just like a that is a shocking angle to it. I don't, I, I don't, I, you know, honestly, I don't know if I would even do that. Um, but that was certainly an interesting choice. Y'all need to figure out how y'all are gonna go to wherever that jurisdiction is and put in complaints and talk to a Mr. Officer or Miss Officer. You know, this is 2024. You know, we're not doing that sexy She's stuff. She's cracking all right? jokes. So we're going to talk to either Mr. or Mrs. In, Officer. In cold blood. All right? you, you, you need to figure out how to do that because this this shit here ain't, ain't kosher. Ain't kosher at all. <laughs> if you say so, Oh, my Zyla. God. I, it's if not you if say I say so, so. Zyla, don't act like it's just me here, saying here, this. Asshole. Please do not act like it's just me saying it. It's me, at least a good 150 people in your chat saying it. It's all over Twitter that's saying it. You look up your name on YouTube and it's a bunch of people saying it there too. Everybody is saying it, Max. It's not just your haters that are saying it. It's people with common fucking sense. It's people, it's people nicer than me that's even saying it, Max. You need to go to the cops with this. It's not just... You know, is this live? No, dang. This is pre-recorded. No, mean old bitch. Just to be clear, it is pre-recorded. Just like me? It's not just assholes who are saying it. It's actually nice people who are saying it, too. It's people like Mudahar that are saying it. It's nice people who are saying it. People with, you know, a little bit more grace. Than some if you're just joining us, we will be hearing from Mudahar later in the stream. I believe he said he would come on, but I haven't heard from him since. So, oh, he said he'll be home at 10 Eastern. Um, so, yeah, we will be speaking around 10 Eastern. So that does extend the stream. We have another hour before Mudahar gets here. So we'll be at about four hours and 15 minutes by the time we're going. So it is nine Eastern right now. Someone like me, go to the cops. Show them your evidence. I'll be damned, I'm not finding an NDA on evidence that you're trying to get me to believe a story that I can't see the evidence. I'm not signing no damn NDA. Are you kidding me? What, give you my information so I can see some evidence on a story that we're supposed to believe? Hell no. Then that's on you, I don't you, know Zyla. you. I don't, I don't know you like that. that's on you, Zyla. I'm not signing an, an NDA to see the evidence for the case that should be presented publicly that you're asking people to support you on and take a huge risk 
on a fucking story because they know you and they know what you've done in the past or at least they think they do they know youtubers who know what you've done in the past so they're taking a huge risk and you can't go public or say anything on the subject and you get mad at people when they don't want to cover the story that's not fucking vetted that they can't properly look, look into themselves and it's your fault you in the chat you won't sign the nda pussy you won't sign the nda Dumb chatter. It's all your fucking fault that people are saying that I'm doing no good. I want to fucking go play pinball. You think I want to be here? I'm not covering another fucking video you make in a lifetime. Don't beg me for fucking attention. I'm not watching another fucking thing you make. I don't care. This is the last fucking stream I talk about, Max. He wanted his stream. He got his fucking stream. I'm not co I don't care if you're putting the Pope in prison for touching a child. I'm not fucking watching it. I don't give a shit. I'm not covering it. Good luck. Good luck to you. Don't you fucking ever message me asking me to watch your shit again. How do you expect people to say, yeah, I trust Mama Max. I absolutely trust Mama Max. Right after they just said the bad guy's mama's name on, on and spelled it out in a live stream, I absolutely trust him. What the fuck? So what are you trying to say exactly? You're fucking up. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. You're fucking up, okay? We'll just put it in a nice little box. Okay, I can't say it's pretty wrapping, but it's wrapped with a bow on top saying, with a tag, you're fucking up. Yes, everything is my fault, Zyler. Have... <laughs> no, dude. Wait, what do you want to say, bro? No, it's it's Spencer's fault. Spencer's idea. No, you don't understand, Zyler. It was Spencer's idea. <laughs> I mean, that's what you've been saying all night, asshole. You don't want to accept responsibility for any of this. If they have a case, if they have a case, you're fucking it up. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not Spencer's fault, if that's what C is trying to say. No, it is not Spencer's fault. All of these people went to him because he has a history of fighting fucking pedos, okay? So he bit off a story he couldn't chew, and now every single time someone criticizes him for what he's doing, he keeps saying, I'm doing what the victims want. Well, the victims didn't go to you because they wanted to make their own decisions entirely or whatever and fucking handle this their way. They went to you because you know what you're doing, and you should be advising them on proper fucking etiquette. You shouldn't, you should be saying, hey, maybe we shouldn't do a live stream about this. Maybe an open door policy where we don't tell anybody anything is really a stupid fucking angle. And we should probably consider not doing it that way. Maybe we should wait and do this like the correct way with a full video and maybe not do it in the ARG format that I've created that everyone told me was really good for years until the minute they didn't. Okay, maybe we should handle this like adults. Well, you know, Mama Max isn't quite known for that type of video. And Smaggle's really used to getting this information in a certain kind of way. If you can't handle exposing a pedo, you shouldn't do it. You should give it to someone who can or who's interested in doing that. And if you can't find anybody, then go to a journalist. Go bigger. Get off of YouTube, dude. Do it somewhere else. Get a fucking news publication to cover it. You're telling me you couldn't find a journalist interested to cover vampire, pedophile, leviathan, werewolf? You don't think a single person was interested in talking about a, a potential cult? All of this sounds extremely marketable. If you think I'm joking what I'm saying, that I'm not. It's exactly what you need to go forward. Hundreds of stories get ignored because uh, maybe a, a woman is a minority who gets abused and it gets thrown under the bus. Or it's a situation where the, the child is like fucking ugly or something and they don't get covered in a fucking magazine or something like that. They just totally, or they don't, they, don't, they don't break the news and out on the front page because they don't look a certain way or act a certain way or belong to a wealthy family or they're thrown in foster care and no one cares what they have to say. And there is a total argument to be made that people treat sexual assault survivors differently by the way they look, where they come from, who they're with, and where they, or, or how much money they have. Yeah, a hundred fucking percent. That's totally real. But you have a situation where there's apparently a Leviathan sex cult with werewolves and vampires. This is not one of those cases that would go fucking missed. This is not one of those cases where people would be like, ah, uh, you know, I mean, I can't really imagine, uh, what would be interesting there to discuss? This is the, this is your perfect storm of a marketable allegation that would be consumed by the masses and you still can't do it correctly. It is everything you need to take an allegation to social media, whether I like that plan or not. Uh, I disagree. <laughs>
Yeah, because you're 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 too fucking stubborn. Get past. Stop getting past your own way, dude. You're fucking up. Everybody is telling you you're fucking up. If it looks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's a motherfucking duck. And you're I, quack quacking right now. I guess time will tell, Zyla. Yeah. Time will tell after my 70th video and my 80th hour of exposing Cameron Gerard Davis, where we will then begin showcasing his urine to show that he tested positive for smoking marijuana when he was 12. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dude? I'm just so infuriated. Time will tell because I uh, tell you what, you're getting the Onision treatment right. I don't think that Dexerto will touch it. <laughs> I mean, maybe they would have if he just made. I'm, I'm sorry. Like. <laughs> I mean, I understand the completionist is a big YouTuber, but Budahar and Carl put it in a nice, well, like, well created video. All right. They opened themselves up to litigation, not unlike the way Max is doing right now. They showed the evidence and they did what they had to do. And everyone talked about it. And it became viral. Okay. Sure. It's a different story. There's no kids involved there. There's no adults that were kids at the time involved there. I understand, but it's not that crazy to compare it and wonder what the difference is here. What's the difference between those two stories? Well, there's a lot of differences, but I think the main one is that Mudahar didn't do an ARG and be like, This is what charity does to you! Or, like, <laughs> he just made a video showing what happened, dude. I don't know. It's so stupid. Right now. <laughs> because you're fucking up. Dude, like, Mudahar didn't make an ARG where you're a fucking dementia patient. And the video keeps repeating because you don't understand that Cameron Gerard, that, that fucking Cameron Gerard, the completionist Davis, didn't donate the money. Okay? He didn't make a movie, all right, where he's sitting there and the fucking script keeps repeating over and over and over and over and over and over again. And then you look down or whatever and you're like, oh my God, the completionist never sent his money. <laughs> It's not what he did. He just made a video showing, hey, these tax filings are all wonky. Isn't that kind of weird? Like, <laughs> could you imagine if, like, if Mudahar was, like, on, was, it, 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 like, it cuts to a videographer's angle of Mudahar sitting in a chair watching the TV Slide screen. Easily okay? Just picture this. Picture this. Go on a ride with me. Okay? And, and Mudahar is just sitting there watching a TV screen and is, like, he's got makeup on to look old. Okay? He looks like he went to the beach that makes you old. Okay? And Mudahar is just sitting there, and and then you see on the screen, it's like, hey, uh, like it's it's like a commercial for like Life Alert. Use Life Alert or whatever, and it just and it plays for twenty consecutive minutes, and it's just cutting to Mudahar, cutting to the screen, cutting to Mudahar, cutting to the screen, violently and uncomfortably repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again, and then Mudahar looks and goes, he didn't donate the charity money. And the video just ends on a picture of Cameron Gerard, the completionist Davis. And now we're expected to put the pieces together and understand what the fuck that meant. Now, imagine if Carl's video was just people responding, saying they don't understand Mudahar's video. Saying, why didn't you just show, like, the tax returns or something like that to show that, like, the money wasn't donated when they said it was, and that the money's just sitting in an account right now. And the entire second video is Carl just calling all those people retards, okay? Now imagine if the third video was Mudahar and Carl taking the criticism from the previous two videos and then making a different ARG to explain nothing and telling you that there's a third, a fourth video you can watch that's four hours long where they don't show any of the evidence, but they interview patients from a mental clinic or whatever, for, 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 from a fucking, from a hospital who have fucking Alzheimer's, okay, who knew Gerard's mom, but forgot who she was. And that's what we're watching right now. That's what's happening here. And I have to sit here and say that I think Mudahar is a really good guy. Because a lot of people told me he's a really good guy. And the subject matter of Alzheimer's is really important. But I think he's just, he's just not doing it correctly. And everyone in the chat is just asking me like why I'm crazy that I would be so charitable to someone who's fucking this up on such a dramatic level. That's how I feel right now. That's what this feels like. That's what it feels like to be me. Sitting here and doing this. Oh, God.
So yeah, that's what's going on. At least one thing with me, I'll tell you exactly how I feel, right? Thank you for telling us how you feel, Xylee. You know I'm not going- He's just so mad. He's so fucking mad. I'm gonna kiss your ass. I didn't want you to. Anything else? Any other- Yeah, it's another point. Uh, thank you, uh, Trop. Yeah, the peanut gallery says that Max just wants- He's just a movie maker. Well, maybe you should make a movie then, dickhead. <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing this for? Why? What are you doing this for? You? Aiden Projects, please re-explain everything. I was sleeping. Dude, don't worry. When, when Mudahar calls in, it's not actually going to be Aiden. That was a funny clip where he called in. Anything else you want from me? I like your sweater. Thank you. Um, well, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. I don't you got no damn question because you answered everything. You're just treating this shit like dumb, dude. You didn't answer anything. <laughs> if you have questions, reach out to me privately. Like, <laughs> fuck you. That's why I just keep saying this. the fucking fuck screen and figure out how the hell y'all gonna go to that damn jurisdiction and talk to the fucking cops. Because if these girls got a case, you're fucking it up. <sighs> if you say so. I do say so. I absolutely say so. We all hear you. Uh, you know where I'm, you know where fucking. Do you know where Mama Max is going to be in five years? Do you want to know where Max is going to be? Do you know where Max is going to be? He's going to be out in San Diego. Okay? He's going to be out. He's going to be out in San Diego. Okay? <laughs> He's going to be out jacketed in San Diego. This is Cody 2012 right now. This is insane. This is Cody 2012 with black vampires that's what we're watching right now and i'm supposed to sit here and tell you he's doing a bang up job oh my god bro oh god all right and it ain't just me saying it don't sit there with your with your little manipulative way that you want people to feel sorry for you whatever don't sit there and act like it's just me saying it you got a whole chat full of people saying it there's a whole bunch of people on twitter saying it and guess what there's a bunch of people on youtube saying it too you're keep fucking talking. it up Keep talking. Keep talking. I'll always keep talking, baby. Bye. All right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> My ears hurt. <laughs> uh, thank you, Xylee, for... Um, what did you think about all that? Oh, no, I'm tired. My brain kind of spaced. Same. <laughs> just fucking crazy yeah keep talking Zyla. yeah keep talking oh jesus so that was the stream it only took us i don't dude no one's ever gonna say react harder to me no one's ever gonna be legitimate when they say react harder i think we watched like 20 minutes of clips or something and it took us three and a half hours maybe that's the problem maybe i'm just looking too much into it maybe i'm just supposed to shut up and consume you really can watch those three videos in 45 minutes. You're not going to learn anything, but maybe you're supposed to shut up and consume. Maybe if you look into it, that's the problem. That's my fault. I wanted to know more. Oh, fuck me. Thank you guys for being the hundred. It's the 1,580 people who are spending their Sunday night learning absolutely nothing about Camden Gerard Davis, the way Max intended. Okay. Because there's nothing to fucking talk about. I'd love, I'd love to know. I'm, sources say that we might find out in the next 20 years what this guy did or didn't do. Oh, fuck me. Shoot me in the face in Minecraft. All right, guys. Uh, quickly, let's just catch up on donos and we will continue. Because there is no end in sight. Cats of Flock in 10 gifted. Bo uh, Boohoo, big oops. Thank you for being the backbone of the economy. Streamer, thank you. Uh, Simpman, thank you for the one gifted. Styro, number one. Where did Max hire his goons? Who are these people? Uh, dick suckers one through three. They're like Oompa Loompas in retard land, apparently. Uh, Max needs to hire AVGN and Nostalgia Critic to help with the plot. Yeah, didn't AVGN end up accidentally plagiarizing? He should plagiarize. He should plagiarize from a fucking successful predator hunter. Um, I don't think H Bomber guy would critique him for that. Thank you for the 20 from Jewish Sharing. Blaze up, brother. Uh, Sheep Sauce, thank you for the 10. This is a similar position for someone asking. Uh, this is a similar person, similar to a person who's asking for help who says they're a cop, realizing that the person only plays for uh, Hotline Miami. Um, 
And Strictly Patrick, thank you for the five. Imagine thinking you're good at what you do. Look in the mirror and see the soulless, sad imp looking back at you. Jesus Christ. Um, so this is one of the most infuriating live streams of my life. And I'm glad that all of you are here to see me suffer. Um, and I want to just draw attention to the fact that I'm not the only one suffering here. Everyone Max is defending is suffering right along with us. Um, so what's next on the docket? Because we do have another 40 minutes until... And I do have something to fill that 40 minutes, believe me. I think I'm going to finish my docket before Mudahar gets here, as he's getting here. So I do have exactly 40 minutes of material left to cover. Um, and then after that, it's it's so be whatever it is. I don't know. From, from that point on, I think it's all gloves are off. I have no idea what that could be. Um, so let me just put Fortnite down for a minute because we're done doing our react grind set thank you all for the people who supported the channel um let's see where we are here let's just catch up because i do want to hit all these bullet points that i have left there's a few more little ones and then we're going to do the ad hoc panel um so this call oh i'm sorry there's the end of the show this is a 17 second clip so we do have one more thank you all uh for joining this thank you all uh for joining the stream and participating in this conversation We'll Wait, see well. you. We'll see you. Um, probably never again. That's the face of somebody who knows he did a good job tonight. All right. So this is just little stuff. It's probably the only slug thing with, like Magnetar that I plan on talking about tonight. But uh, just angry slug. Just a public fuck you to that guy who tried to like accuse me of doxing. I guess because he's a fucking idiot. Or like supporting doxing or something like that. I just want to just clarify who Angry Slug is. Uh, he's the retard that Chris Han Hansen uh, hired. He ended up somehow working for Mama Max. I guess he just is a mole that shows up in these communities. Um, it's just, I, I don't understand it at all whatsoever. So this guy reached out to me for a statement. I gave him the statement. Uh, he dumped my DMs, looked like a fucking idiot. No one supported him. And then that, a week later, he was in my replies. Literally fucking earlier he was I'm in my replies estrogen. begging for a job at Lolcow because I was taking uh, I was taking offers to see who wants to be the, the, the person for the podcast. So this fucking loser dumps my DMs because I knew he would. And I can give a statement to the, to the least amount of people possible through his social medias. Tried to fuck me over publicly fucked up lost and then begged me for a job a week later that's the type of person we're dealing with here so when i find out that he's reached out and he said um the reason why he was calling somebody a pedophile um even though max couldn't prove it is just because max said so um and at this point he's just not going to go along with whatever people want anymore um I, I do believe that he is the type of retard who would do that um and say definitive shit like that so yeah, again, just to remind everybody that this guy sucks. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not a lot of winners came out of the editor camp for Max. We got Slug, Craig Beckett. <laughs> uh, credit to Max, though. He did handle Craig Beckett effectively. Very effectively. He got him to draw on his face. That was funny. Um, yeah. So... Um, okay so this is one more thing i do want to talk about i think this is kind of important because i see some people talking about it uh it is kind of upsetting that this is going to come after me just reaming him for fucking three and a half hours but i do want to point out what this is what it could mean and what it probably actually means okay uh mama max's mega account was banned and reported to law enforcement this is a post that popped up on youtube drama a couple weeks ago i i saw this and i asked mudahar about it and apparently he asked max about it Max occasionally references paste bins in descriptions of videos. They've all been removed from his YouTube, but I found a paste bin account on his Vimeo. I was clicking through and I found some links on his mega account. I was shocked to see this notification when I tried to open one of them. He recently brought up in an interview with Spencer that he's being investigated by the FBI. 
and I wonder if this is why. Additionally, Mega Upload has a transcript report that specifies what types of material are classified as objectionable and how it's identified using resources within Interpol and NCMEC, which means Max was storing uh, child sexual abuse material on his drive in some capacity. That's the allegation being levied. And these are the things that pop up when you check on his Mega account. This link is unavailable as the user's account has been closed for gross violation of Mega's terms of service. And this, this folder or file was reported to contain objectionable content such as child exploitative material, violent extremi extremism, or bestiality. The link's creator announces it's been closed and the full details including IP addresses have been provided to authorities. So this is what's showing up for Max's accounts. He supposedly removed a lot of links from older videos, uh, pushing to that. And basically what happens here is there's, there's a few different cases. So I don't know if you understand how caches work. I didn't really understand it. So maybe I'm not really the perfect person. We could talk to Mudahar about this. He does know more about it than I do. But supposedly each image contains a cache. And even if you modify an image in some way, that cache will be persistent. So what happens is uh, when these accounts are, are hosting f images and files and stuff like that, there are like lists of like bestiality and lists of like uh, apparently animal abuse type content and child sexual abuse material. Uh, and these, and these, and your files are then being constantly hit against these lists to see if a positive one is set. That's why if you upload a, a like a, a well-documented piece of child pornography by police and law enforcement and authorities and the FBI, um, and if you try to post it on YouTube, it'll be immediately ripped down because it hits a certain mark. And then the internet, like in the, uh, the provider knows, oh, okay, that's CSAM. Let's take that down immediately. And that's how it cleans off that content from the internet. So what this means is presumably something that Max had that he was hosting in his files dinged positive for um, CSAM or potentially it could be, I believe, animal abuse fucked. as well. And that's kind of important too, because a lot of people are saying, oh, he had child porn in his fucking Mecca account. That's not proven. That's not even like... I wouldn't say it's even a fair allegation to make at this point, knowing what we know off of this. Uh, but he also did cover a lot of animal abuse type content and stored a lot of the evidence of like people beating animals and stuff on his fucking mega account. So that possibly could have tripped this. Because keep in mind, it's not saying CSAM specifically, and people are jumping to CSAM because of the nature of the content that he uploads regularly. It could be a variety of different things. I believe Max himself, according to this, the stream VOD is gone, so I can't pull up what Max said specifically. But the thing Tipster read earlier in the stream states that Max addressed this. That's why I'm going to come back and roll back around to the beginning. You slimy, weasley fuck. Um, so Max starts immediately addressing Mega Upload, he claims that it was taken down because of the videos of pedophiles jacking off that he stored on the MyLol video. It does not acknowledge how Mega Upload detects objectionable content. Issues, reasons behind the ban is still unclear as his claim is unsubstantiated and is directly conflicting with Mega Upload's description. And if that's the case, I can, we'll bring this up to Mudahar, but that doesn't seem like an answer that makes sense. That, that makes absolutely no sense to me, so. I don't really know what the fuck that means so yeah um so yeah that's uh that's my understanding of it i don't know what the fuck this is i i don't get it but yeah we can get off that subject now um there's a few more things in the docket no we're good all right so now we're gonna watch the ad hoc panel streamer chud logic uh we have about 30 minutes left um the streamer chud logic did a panel today impromptu with Lyrix, myself, and a bunch of other people to discuss Max. And it is clear that even after um, the hours and hours of coverage we've done, we have barely scratched the surface on what these guys are investigating. So I have no fucking idea. Here we go. Um... Man? Hello. Forgive my uh, deeper Mama Max voice. I'm uh, pretty sick. But, uh, yeah. Well, listen, thanks for hopping on. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, for are sure. Are you going to come up or are you too sick? What's up? You, can you come up right now or not? Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. No worries. But, dude, um, I, see you, I see you looking into this. I've been fucking covering this on stream and uh, heavily and stuff. It seems like people are sounds really. Sounds like Lyrics caught my COVID. Starting to wrap around and look at this guy's whole back catalog because of this recent Camden Gerard Davis shit. It's nuts. Because yeah. it, it really makes you think. Uh, there was this thing where I think you were mentioning, uh, what was it? It was Pablo Sonny, right? 
Yes. And there was this clip I saw on YouTube because I'm trying to research this for a main channel video. And he admits in a recent live stream that he that he got away. What? So nothing happened to the guy? Yeah. And that so, he, he, I'm trying to pull up the clip right now. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll throw it up. So if that's correct then, that means that all we got then was a video, some fucking Efsler art video of like, oh yeah, this guy's a pedo and this is what he looks like. But then nothing happened. <laughs> Dude, it's just content. But he's getting paid under the guise. He's getting tens of thousands of dollars on Patreon under the guise that he's like fucking real life Batman. And he's yeah. actually cleaning up pedos on the side of the streets, uh, trying to save so, people. So, just to be clear, uh, I'm not going to pause this too hard in the, in the beginning because, I mean, what most their stuff has touched different angles here. Um, one of the things that came up a lot is Magnetar, Haley, and the other girls that have previously accused Max. Uh, that has come up here a lot. We haven't even started to discuss that on the channel in regards to the context of this, so we're a little bit behind if you're only watching me. Um, which I do kind of think, based on the viewership, some of that is true. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and also, this is covering his previous interactions, hunting other like predatory individuals that he supposedly gotten locked up. So, there is a whole second rabbit hole here that other people have investigated. Um, um, another thing, I think I saw, because, you know, I did credit you earlier because I was watching some of your stream and it kind of inspired me to look into this myself. And most of this will likely be in Lyrix's video, so I can't speak to it. I haven't seen his recent live streams, but I'm sure it'll be scrutinized when he puts it out. So um, that is the place to look for the, the discourse around this. I think it, around Friday it's probably coming out. Uh, he said he was aiming for. Maybe we'll watch that, but I, I can't do another day on this. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but there was one comment that you know the reddit post that said there's some irregularities with his old videos i don't care if this well, fucking yeah. vod gets fucking two million views i don't think i'm gonna do a third day of this the one about the articles i paused it and looked through them and from what i can tell one article is has got him in it but it's some anime website some random anime website wrote about it for some reason maybe he solicited that himself does chud do youtube but yet yes chud logic is on youtube we're watching this vod from youtube subscribe to chud logic this stream, uh, I think, had like 700 concurrent on YouTube and another 100 or something. So he had about 1,000 watching today. It's probably the, I think it's probably the second biggest person covering the story right now. And um, he is a predominantly YouTube streamer now. His viewership has moved entirely. So go subscribe to Chad. A lot of the work of these websites getting criticized was done by like actual child protection organizations. And the reporting is old and based off that. None of them even mentioned Mama Max. But he's kind of presenting all this stuff as if he's responsible for all this new insight on top of it, right? And yeah, I, I saw something on Twitter like that. Did he just change his fucking name in replace of the actual article? Because it was like something V, and it was someone else of an M name. Did he change that M name and just Photoshop it to save Mama? Where do I get in here? I want to get to the point. We, when I get here, the panel starts, um, and I'm not really familiar with that other stuff. All right, yeah, let's. This is, I'm not just trying to toot my own horn here, but that was pretty funny in this. Evidence? I don't, I don't know the like real story about that. If it's okay, a real wonderful. NDA, if they but have to sign, I or if it's just a, like a Discord okay. chat. We talked about this on the last stream. So they're now discussing NDAs and stuff on what like court stuff. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think Max is taking a single fucking person to court. This is like one thing I will defend Max on. I think that the NDA is literally just a "Hey man, don't leak my video" type thing. I, I mean, I've read it. I read part of it yesterday or whatever. I, and I, actually, I don't think I read it out loud, but I I went through it and I made sure there's nothing weird in it. It's literally a Discord message, and then you send your fucking signature, and you promise not to leak the video until it comes out. And then you can talk about it. It's not a non-disclosure agreement. It's an NDA. It's "Hey man, I'm giving you this stuff early. Don't spend your next 24 hours trying to beat me to the upload on my subject." I don't think there's anything sinister about it at all whatsoever. It's not a uh, not just non-disclosure. What's the other one where you can't like um, talk bad about a person or something? That's a non something else. Uh, does anyone know what the fuck I'm talking about? There's non-disclosure, uh, non def. No, it's a. I don't know. There's another one, but it's not that. 
It's, it's, it's not a gag order. It's not like, oh, you can never criticize me because you've done an NDA for my fucking video. We're not like working on a product or something. I haven't signed a thing with Stern Pinball where I can't shit on their product if I get it early. Non-disparagement. Yeah. It's not that. I don't think... I, I honestly think it's... Like, I'm Max is not the only YouTuber who gives out NDAs when he gives off his stuff or pre, uh, stuff like early or whatever. And it's... Considering the nature of the content, now I'm sure everyone's rolling their eyes when I say that, but pedophile investigations are probably something that you should use an NDA when discussing sensitive information privately with people on, um, if you're not planning on disclosing that yet. Yeah, I don't think that's crazy at all. Um, you sound so out of it when you first join in. Yeah, because it's crazy what he says right after this. Agreement, because fucking Moodhart DM'd me, apparently breaking the NDA, telling me that the evidence wasn't uh, concrete at all. Um, which I'm sure, yeah. Someone said, uh, Trop said, isn't it weird though that Mama Max made Muda sign an NDA but complained about Muda not talking about the topic? No. So the NDA only lasts until the video is released. So he would say, hey man, can you sign? But he reached out to me on fucking like, let's say Friday and the video came out Saturday. So I was only bound to the NDA for like 12 hours before the video released. And people are blowing NDA way out of the park because they hear NDA and they think it's some big mean statement or something like that. I think I was bound by NDA for like 12 hours and then it expired. Um, yeah, it's it's like a non-compete, I guess. That's kind of closer to what it actually is. But it's also, yeah, it's not non-disclosure. Don't disclose what I'm telling you to everybody else. Um, and the same thing is like, well, he wanted Muda to talk about it and he wanted Muda to discuss it with the information that he had, but the information he had was not enough for Muda to discuss it, so he was upset about that. But in reality, you know, he wanted all these people to talk about what they saw. He just wanted them to wait until the video was out. Um, I wonder if that Skeeter Gene guy is doing it right, or he might be fake. I don't know. I'm not going to talk about each individual pedo hunter. Uh, the guy, Bupak Shakur, apparently fucking investigated somebody, went to try to, like, confront them and got shot in the head and killed. Imagine if he went to the police and handled it the right way. He might be alive right now. Oh, crazy. Yeah. I think you saw that part of the stream where uh, he DM me and said that the evidence wasn't concrete or anything. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, he hasn't shown any information and he's going live on stream, directing his chat to go and harass and get answers out of the mother and brother. Which is just like nuts, potentially innocent people. Yeah, isn't it crazy we know more about his family than we know about him? I think that's, isn't that safe to say? Like, we know more about his family than we know about, like, the alleged acts of violence or whatever he's committed on women. And I'm supposed to look at it and take that, like, super serial. All under, like, just the- The debate where Augie lost is so bad he left the community, yeah. You should check that out, it's unhooked. Dice roll. I ended the podcast. Hopefully harassing the mom and brother would help them in the case but let's say that he just directed his chat to go and get answers out of the mother and brother blow up their fucking phone calls find where they live uh you know send them emails all the time contact their work and shit and let's say they he ends up not even getting answers from them well you just harassed these two innocent people for no fucking reason now and you didn't even get an end goal and justify the means moment with you helping take down this apparent pedophile this guy is handling it as irresponsibly as you could do it. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I agree. I mean, it's, it's, I'm just seeing if I think Nicholas in chat, maybe he wants to join and I'll, uh, if, any, if there's other people, I think they've been covering this too. I might bring them in if that's cool with you. Um, I mean, if you want to hop off because you're sick, that's fine too. But yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's it, again with the Magnetar stuff. I'm, if Magnetar's a nonce, I'll, I'll say it. But he's not provided any evidence of it. And speaking to Magnetar, there's not really anything to press him on because he's not shown us enough to show he is. He's got a testimony. I agree with His that. sister saying it happened. And I found this out today. Apparently, this new claim that he was going... All right, this is what boggled my mind because I guess I walked away for a minute. I had no idea what he was talking about. In disguise to school to speak to minors. Apparently, Spencer came up with that. Apparently, Spencer said, and I don't know where this was said or how it was said, that Magnetar went into, the, like back into school to try to talk to children after he'd graduated. Now, keep in mind, I just want to put this in perspective because I'm going to say it on the stream, but I want to say it now too. Anthony, the guy that he says is a pedophile, went to school with Spencer, who went to school... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Went to school with Max, whose sister went to school with Spencer. And, like, all these people are, like, tangential from the same location. 
Like, all of these people, like, went to high school in the same area. And this whole story is, like... A, like, it, it's turned into, like... Everybody but Cameron Gerard Davis is, like... T- like, all of these people came from the same place. She did. She fucking did. And all of them went to the same high school together, apparently. Um, so this is But, me like, the thing with Magnetar is... Is that... Magnetar is claiming all of the DMs he showed in the last six minutes of video are just completely doctored and faked, and he's never even seen them or not. But let's. Oh, shit! Sorry, I switched over to another call. My bad. No, I was. Uh... Yo, what's up, Nick? They went to a school. <laughs> Wait, they went to a school. Wait, what? <laughs> are you... You what the fuck what? are you on about, Nicholas? I thought you just said they went to a school disguised as a minor. What the fuck was that? So the Magnetar, so Nicholas, you know the Magnetar guy that Mama Max accused of being a pedo at the end of his response to the allegations, right? Yes. So a further story has come out from Spencer, the person that has made the allegations about the pedo wolf vampire, and they're claiming they also somehow know this that Magnetar was disguising himself to go into school to speak to minors. Basically, he graduated high school and he came back to like go into the lunchroom and talk to a whole bunch of freshmen. That's at least the right. claim. I'm assuming you guys know more about this than me, because I've only researched That's for fine. four and a half live hours, okay? So I clearly don't know anything yet. Only four and a half hours. Um, so Spencer went to school with Max's sister, and Max went to that school, and Anthony went to that school. Yeah. But Blackula didn't go to that school. <laughs> no. Blackula is somewhere else. So Blackula, is, is I don't know where Black Blackula came from. Transylvania. He came from. <laughs> the, he came from Ghetto Transylvania or something. I don't fucking know where he came from, bro. It's so confusing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good yeah, point, fuck. chat. Um, fuck it. Who just said that? Ganji the Goblin. Yeah, the allegation is all of these people peaked in high school. That is honestly the most true facts I've heard so far. I have tons of evidence to support that claim. No offense to anybody watching. Fuck, I don't know. Because I'm thinking, like, is this just like a classmate thing? Like, what's going no, on? No, no, okay. Like, but but real quick, what I was, I was saying all earlier these is that... people know each other. Like, what the dude, fuck? Dude, but, like, Chud, even if the Magnetar DMs are real, right? Even though he's saying they're fake. All the things that Mama Max is claiming he's a pedophile for. The age gap is then... 1916 or 1815 and this guy blasted think, so, this guy's so, fucking name so, his white house job a whole bunch of personal photos of him and openly called him a pedophile because of an apparently age- fucking magnetar worked at the white house does anybody have like is anyone else emanating terminally online energy right now as we explain this fucking story Apparently, Magnetar worked at the fucking White House. I don't know what the fuck is going on. 1815 or 19. What is going on in San Antonio? I have no idea. Age gap. Wait, wait, wait. So, are we talking Literally about- a fed. Anthony, are we talking about Blackula? Anthony Field, also okay, Magnetar. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm totally off this one. Never mind. Sorry. Nicholas, so I don't think I should have added you, man. The, you're just If you're talking shit. about the vampire, all right, if you're talking about the vampire, like, I think part of that. Does it, like people are asking about what is the age gap of the vampire thing? I don't think that matters at this point because he's like bringing them home and fucking apparently like beating pregnant women until they have an abortion or something like that. Well, we that don't know shit. Like, yeah, that guy's being accused of like some fucking schizo shit. All right. So what I'm trying to say in just woke up Lango is I don't care about the age gap. For once, I don't care about the age gap on the um, Camden Gerard Davis thing because the stuff he's being accused of, I mean, the age gap isn't the only problem at play. There's a lot to deal with with that. If you watch that four-hour VOD or even watch the summary video about it, the the accusations that are even in there alone, it's not. I don't need an age gap for that. I just don't have anything to work with. I can't say if they're true or not. I have nothing to go by. I just have one person saying it on top of like the age gap isn't the only problem in that scenario apparently there's hundreds of victims i mean it's a pretty fantastical story i mean mean, i'm waiting the evidence mudhar said he saw all saw all the evidence and even that wasn't concrete and he's the guy who apparently sent uh signed the nda so i signed the nda too i got the call okay oh so you saw the evidence what'd you see no, no, uh, no not that NDA. NDA. I signed the second NDA. I skipped the first NDA, but I signed the second NDA. Nicholas, okay? speak sense. What do you mean the, the second fuck? NDA? What are you on about? <laughs> I'm going to explain. This is like a Mama Max video I'm watching right now. What the fuck? 
all right here's what the nda is this is what i think it is genuinely because this is what i've got i've been asked to sign these multiple times across the years or whatever uh and in this case this was the second one that i did sign the first one was the message he sent out to all the youtubers everyone saw that one he was like you should help me fight pedophiles or whatever and he said like here sign an nda and then you can join my team um i didn't sign that one because i was just like i don't really want to fucking sign an nda to watch your fucking video or whatever early but i think that's all it is is like Hey, dude, I'm going to send you like an early copy of my video. Please don't spend the next 48 hours hijacking the entire topic and trying to make it before me. That's why we're signing NDAs here. Don't leak this. Don't send this out to a bunch of people. I have no idea if it's, if it's enforceable. Um, after we got into a little argument because he um, – well, when I didn't sign the first NDA, he wrote me. I told this on my stream, so I'll tell it here. He's like, your silence will not go unnoticed. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> he sent you that shit? He sent like you that? that? What the fuck does that so that was my first reaction. And I, and then he's like, then, then he starts talking. He's like, no, no, listen, man, I'm just trying to do something. I'm trying to get some stuff together, trying to help out this girl, trying to help out these other people. Uh, can you just like look at like a 30 second clip? I'm like, yeah, sure. I can look at a 30 second clip. I have time to do that. Uh, like it wasn't malicious. I didn't fucking ignore him because I'm not interested in the fighting the pedo cabal or fighting the good fight. I was just busy. I wasn't making a shitload of content and I wasn't going to go do a main channel live stream to react to his video when I wasn't making my own content. Wait, so, so you didn't happened. respond and then he said, your silence will not be fucking unnoticed. Your silence will not be unnoticed. Yeah, yeah, that's what he wrote me. So um, just like uh, basically saying you're uh, like. Uh, well, because he was uh, talking silent. to me in like hotline Miami text. It was weird. Like, I don't know what the fuck was going on. So he eventually he just starts talking like Max Stryker again. And he's like, yeah, no. So listen, I'm just trying to do this. So he goes, will you sign this NDA and I'll send you the 30 second clip? I'm like, sure, Max, I'll sign the NDA or whatever. So I signed it on um, a dual sense, uh, like what, what are those things called? The the thing that they send you in the controller box, the, um, the little manual. I just signed like the date and then my name and he wrote me like a bunch of things or whatever. World renowned Greyhound. To be fair, Nick, I think you frequently are unaware of why you piss people off. I empathize with Chud. You make very little effort to keep up or make sense. It is so incredible. Ma'am, or I'm an assuming ma'am, if Chud didn't want me on this podcast, he wouldn't have kept me on for like 40 minutes. If you think Chud was actually upset with me, he would have taken me out of the call, dumb fuck. That is such a stupid that, fucking thing to write. Too. This fat Why do you think, wait, fucking do you think Chud actually fucking him. hates me and he was like put up to putting me on the stream? Are you stupid? Oh, God. And I'm pretty sure it's just like, don't leak my clip early. I think it's- Nick, you're totally unaware. Like, you know, good, thank you. Thank you, genius. It's like, I don't know. Have you ever I talked see. to- I don't right. know. Like, I'm understanding it. So you're that. saying the I NDA is just better. he's worried about people getting ahead of his story that he wants to do himself. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think it's just like a paper transaction like that. I don't think he's like ever going to be like- Mudahar, you okay, have so fucking spoken to lyrics in private DMs. <laughs> now we will settle this. I'm not going to court with Camden, but God damn it, we're solving this in civil court. Like, no, I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay. Wait, so, okay, you saw all the evidence because they said they had a whole Discord channel. Apparently that comes No, no, I'm not in that Discord evidence. channel. This was personal. He individually sought me out because we've okay. fought before. So apparently yeah. like Mudahar has seen that to my knowledge because Mama Max tried to source And to my Mudahar knowledge, I think Mudahar is the only one who has seen any evidence against Camden Gerard Davis. And he's not allowed to talk about that part. That part is still under NDA. So I think Mudahar is the only non-party member who actually knows what the fuck is going on, who will be here fairly soon to my knowledge. Saying like Mudahar seen the evidence and he agrees with me. And then he fucking DMs me saying, Oh, um, speaking no, of that, not... Mudahar just reached out to me. We can get back to this after. Maybe we'll finish off on this because this is a very funny stream. There's some really funny shit that happens on here. But uh um... Let me just make sure. Let's keep going a little bit, and then I'll give him a call. Not the case. I've seen all the evidence, and it's nothing concrete. Well, didn't he kind of um, say on the stream? Again, I haven't gotten to this part because I'm streaming it today. But didn't he kind of say that they don't have anything like actionable at the moment in the right. stream? To his credit, I don't think he said they have nothing actionable. Somebody told me that, and we watched everything today. None of the clips that we saw today had that in it. And I don't know what was in the other parts of it, but I don't think that that was the case. So I'm just going to clarify that here. That they could just um, take to the police and get them arrested. Because I think what I was thinking of is when Mudahar asked if he had anything actionable. And and then he goes, is that a question? And then awkwardly said that. And then after that, he goes, yeah. And it just didn't sound very convincing. I think that's what I was thinking of. 
say it's actionable to call him a pedophile, but not actionable necessarily to build a case against him. But this is fucking Mama Max's word. And as we're finding out, that means shit because he's calling Magnetar a pedophile, where at worst, even if the DMC is showing is real off of one person's testimony, it's an 18. Well, yeah, I'm sure there's old. a different level of like degree that you'd have to go before a YouTuber would call someone a pedophile, which could be like. Yeah, uh, an 18 year old fucking their 17 year old girlfriend. That's like the barrier for entry for YouTube people calling people pedos. And then there's like what the district attorney thinks. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, also, like, it's Mama Max. This is his job to be a fucking pedo hunter. And he's out here labeling people who, a uh, senior who talks to a freshman, a fucking pedophile. I mean, well, it, it goes beyond holy that. Holy shit. Right? In the IMVU video, he claimed that an adult that uses IMVU that defends it in any way, this person just basically said parents should be responsible for their child's conduct. He said that they were a pedophile. He brought up a comment from someone criticizing him. He said, they're just, they're a pedophile. The people that say this are pedophiles. He calls anyone a fucking pedophile. What is IMVU? Oh my God, it's like a rabbit hole. IMVU is like this <laughs> chat app, right? And he did a video about it. It's long, short, he did an hour 30 video of a bunch of bullshit. The longest story short is that IMVU- I think IMVU came up somewhere else. Where the fuck was that? Maybe. Did anybody? I swear to God, we talked about this briefly on the stream. Uh, what did Colton say about signing? I guess Colton also signed an NDA. I don't know. Is that like Colton was offline for like a month? Was he stupid? Did he think he was gonna get sued? Yeah, I'm sure, dude. I'm sure Cam this guy's probably talked to one lawyer and has been pussyfooting around to go to the police on Cameron Gerard Davis. I'm sure he'll sue you, Colton. You should be scared. Oh God, what a fucking. He's got pedos that go on there and groom kids. Colton and he got claims the that I'm for you have got some extra bad stuff they're doing and they're not dealing with it properly. And he pretended to be a 14 year old girl to talk to a pedophile. He even sent a picture of his ass to them, according to the video. And at the end, he gets a woman to pretend to be a girl to speak to him, throws up a picture of the alleged pedo. And it's the guy, it's the guy that he said to you on your stream when you and Tom spoke to him. He said um, that he got him arrested, but then he later said that he wasn't arrested. Like, it uh, sounds crazy, but there's all these inconsistencies and incoherencies constantly with his fucking stories. I, he's a fucking charlatan. He's a fraud. He's never done anything ever with any oh, of his videos. This isn't obviously... Of the so, by the way, just, in cur just to be throwing this out there, this is the other criticism on the other channels that aren't my channel. That's what they're saying about Max. All right. So, I mean, Max is not getting good press from other people. I feel like I've been a lot more charitable, even though I've been pissed off today, but that's not what he's getting on other channels either. Uh, and I think that's his fault. I think that's Max's fault. Level severity, but apparently he uses a voice changer for his voice, and he was telling us he got like vocal surgery or something. Oh Is that, dude? That we are like fucking fifty hours ahead of that. Okay, <laughs> can we not talk about the fucking stupid memes about him? Right? Well, we are saying, indeed. Inconsistency. You're coming. You're the fucking. You're not even the tip of the iceberg yet. You're floating over it, and we're fucking. You know. 50 leagues under- Alright, if you listen real closely, you can tell Chud's really actually super mad at me there. That's why he totally throws me out of the call. And he's like violently upset and disgusted that I would bring up something. The C, for fuck's sake, dude. Come on, get with the program, bro. What the I'll fuck do it are you on about? I'll four hours, Chud. I mean, maybe we can talk to- That's not enough, about. mate. Come on. You're fucking not making content as it is. Make it eight at least. <laughs> fucking don't be lazy. Alright, we're not going eight hours. I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. Alright, we got, we got Muda. I'm gonna call him. Let me give him a call. Yo. Hey, Muda. How are you doing, buddy? Doing good, brother. How's it going? <laughs> Dude, it's just fit. honestly like it's it's super frustrating. I I, I think the first thing I want to talk to you about is like you've spoken to him on several occasions, right? Not just the one live stream. I think you mentioned you spoke to him privately. Yeah, the thing that I was referring to yesterday with him was like me and uh, Nux uh, had a conversation with him about the situation behind the scenes. And you guys have uh, met this... and stuff. You guys you shared a house at VidCon, right? Like you guys are like you guys were friends or are friends. Yeah, I mean we uh, we shared a place at VidCon. I you know we're we're friends. Yeah, I would say for now. And of all the people who are talking about him, would you say that you're probably one of the people who knows him better than uh, like myself, Chud Logic? Uh, I mean, I know more than you guys, but honestly, at this point, I don't really know how much I know the guy. Um, just because we don't like outside of the stuff here on YouTube, we don't really do a lot of heart to hearts, right? We. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, if, if I have to say, like, the more, the the gr the people out of that group that I have the most heart-to-hearts is probably, like, Nexpo, um, Nick, because he's really close by, but, you know, me and Max, like, I, I you know, it's, it's there, I try to, sometimes, um, you know, we don't talk for a while, <laughs> but when well, it yeah, comes to situations like this, yeah, he'll disappear periodically for you know. a few months when he's working on a project, that's, uh, 
that's not abnormal, right? Is that, I'm assuming that's the same interaction that you have with him, where he'll just kind of go off the wall for a couple months and not be around. Yeah, yeah, he's gone for you. Yeah, he'll go for a while. I guess was it a little concerning to you when you saw that he got he was like live and doing a live stream after the stuff that you guys spoke about last time? And was, a little, was that a little confusing, a little jarring to say the least? I was not the biggest fan of it. I jumped into that live stream and I was a I was I, it's to say that I was a little livid when he said that I saw the evidence and he kind of used that to corroborate um the quality of his evidence that he has put behind an NDA was pissing me off. Do you think I've that he used your name specifically because well if Mudahar has seen it then they'll take me more seriously or is that putting too much? I think that was I think that was an element of it. Yeah, because I'm I feel like people know me a little bit as a guy that like anytime I do work with like you know coffee or Carl or anybody of these guys right like I'll always say like when anytime I collaborate I think it's always the other party and not me that gets like it, that takes the gloves off first you know yeah because I always really play something super carefully like I'll never say somebody is a like scammer or like a pedophile or something unless I have something that I know is 100% in court you know yeah and that's why like I know that I can get away with saying a lot of things but I just don't bother doing it because like in the chance that I do get threatened with legal work or something I can always just laugh it off like I never add that stress to the pile man I mean you literally just had recently this whole thing with Gerard that was probably very stressor legally speaking at any moment that could have gone fucking crazy yeah I mean, hey, it still could, but like at this point, it's one of those things where it's like, as long as I know that I did, like I crossed my T's and dotted my I's, I should be fine. One of the things that we discussed with Max about this too, and um, was just like, you got to make sure your evidence is 100% on the money because who you could be accusing may not be guilty of the crime, right? Because you don't have their side of the story. I mean, at this point, I don't even know if like the guy that he's talking about, Camden Gerard Davis, may still even be alive, you know? I think recently someone who wasn't related to the investigation found that he got like a, a parking violation or a speeding ticket in September of last year, confirming that he's alive. But it's okay. shocking to find out that that information didn't come from Max that somebody else had to like confirm whether this alleged cult leader who's operated by the way one of the things that's the hardest to suspend disbelief on is this is a mm -hmm. cult leader pedophile allegedly right that uses social media to groom children who also has no online footprint oh yeah i mean like and that's one of the things because um uh, even last night i was looking up like cameron gerard davis and it was like this guy's not alive you know like this guy's not there <laughs> and i i would consider myself to be pretty good at finding like shit in, in cracks and crevices of the internet you know i've had to do it for cases like rubets even right like one of the two of the guys that we found were so off the grid and we're talking we had to look through like shards of old reddit information and like forums from like 2000 and for in order to find people and verify like identities and everything so I, I consider myself pretty good at it could not find shit on cameron gerard davis or that cult which i think is incredibly suspicious i guess it's also telling that you looked i mean that's clearly more effort than i guess he took that he thought you would do um slimy one of the things that i found throughout this whole situation was he, mm -hmm. he he leaned heavily on you when you were calling him recently about how he'd reached out to you prior right for um, mm -hmm. a, a discussion about the subject and saying like, well, Mudahar, Mudahar, I wish we'd spoken about this months earlier so you could advise me on what best to do. Now, I don't think that you disagree with me when I say that he's probably out of his depth here. He, he admits that he's never done a case of this size, a case of this magnitude, before, right? Mm -hmm. Where he's working with these people. He's never been to court. He's never done anything like this before. So yeah. when people say that he's like a clout chaser, I don't understand what Anthony Fantano would have done to help him. I don't understand what Joe Rogan would have done to help him. I could see what maybe you could have advised him on privately, but most of the people he's reaching out to also have never been in situations like that before. I guess, do you kind of see where people are coming from in the clout chaser thing? Or do you think this is a different? No, I see exactly where people are coming from with the clout chaser stuff. Like, you know, forget Joe Rogan, even like Anthony Fontana. It's like, what, what the f is like the rap review guy well he was gonna he was say saying like this, this is the this song that i used in the background of my video and even then it's like this is what i don't understand about it too it's like if this case is too much for you then you should absolutely hand it off not to another youtuber you know you should fucking package it up and hand it off to a law enforcement agent one of the things about cops and i said this on a stream yesterday with him i'm like yo the law enforcement system can be shitty i'm not gonna pretend that it isn't but mm -hmm. like how are you gonna 
can go up to a, uh, a federal agent or like a law enforcement agent, anybody from any department and just say, all right, here's like black vampire uh, person and they were responsible for, I guess, allegedly kidnapping and starting this cult. And look, I want to believe that Max has some crazy evidence, right? Like under his belt that nobody's seen. But like, what rubs me the wrong way is like, he's asking us to help make PSAs to search, search for victims. I'm like, I can't go and call somebody a cult leader or a fucking pedophile or a human trafficker unless I see some hard hitting evidence, you know? Yeah. Like, 100%. Even with people like Andrew Tate, and I always get into this thing when I talk about it, it's like I am more comfortable talking about Andrew Tate in that way because I've looked at a bunch of fucking court documents that show really fucked up behavior. I haven't seen shit from this guy. You know, I haven't seen anything. Well, the, All the, I know the best is we have account. is witness testimony. And like, as fucked as it is to say, I can't make a fucking main channel video going over witness testimony. I mean, it would go against every single thing I as a creator have criticized others for in the past. The thing with witness testimony is like, if we were to take that as evidence, fact that Max is screwed because he's had so much witness testimony against him. So we, we yes! can't operate on like. Thank you, you know. dude. This guy is acting like. Well, I mean, eight people have accused Camden Gerard Davis of fucking crimes in some way, shape, or form. The, the more we get, clearly something's happening here. When five of mm -hmm. his ex-girlfriends or former friends have accused him of abuse. Yeah. That's like and insane. I, I think the NDA stuff is really wild too. It's like, obviously, I think NDAs are like designed to, I feel like it's almost like a way to add uh, some level of credence to this. Like there's some crazy case, like NDAs aren't enforceable in this situation. Like, I, I mean, I could leak out everything. What's going to happen? Are you going to sue me or something? Well, or? no, I, that's what I was saying before. He, yeah, he's going to sue you. Yeah, I'm sure. He doesn't even want to go to the police to handle his fucking pedo case. I don't think he's going to take you to civil court. <laughs> It's, it, and the thing about it is, like, they don't want to take him to court because uh, apparently he doesn't have any assets. Well, it's like, what the fuck are we doing at this point? It's like, why don't we, like, now we have to go to the Georgian police or something and I guess get them to file, like, all these girls to file, file in person when I'm pretty sure a lawyer can file on your behalf. You can just, you know, pay somebody to do it. I know more you know, about insane. Camden's family than I know about Camden through this investigation. Yeah. I've watched... I did a four and a half hour live stream where I watched three YouTube videos and got a summary from a, an interview that they've done. And I don't know a single fucking thing that he's done definitively. And that's the, like, that's absolutely the problem. I, I urge you to take a look at like the example I gave before, because I tried to convert your investigation into the completionist into a Mamo Max style video and explain how retarded it would be if it was presented in the exact same fashion where I kind of explained how if you f as a filmmaker filmed yourself like as an old man watching a commercial and seeing it over and over and over and over again. And at the very end of the video, you realize, holy shit, that guy didn't donate the money. And then you flash a picture of Gerard the Completionist on the screen, and then everyone has to understand what the fuck you're trying to say in that video, and no one gets it. Yeah. And it would be like you making a second video to criticize and call all the people who didn't get the first video an idiot, and a third video, and it's like, I don't I don't know anything about Camden Gerard Davis. I don't know anything about Camden Gerard the Completionist Davis. I don't think it makes no fucking sense to me. Now, a lot of people in my chat are now interested in his other investigations. And I know um, you, Nexpo, Nuxtaku, all you guys know him on a personal level, but I guess, could you speak to his credibility on previous stories? I've never, like, worked with a previous uh, investigation on the Mom Max stuff. I can't even say that I'm, like, the biggest expert on some of his previous uh, investigations. That's something that he never looped me in on. We never really talked about an investigation. We never really got... The only thing close to it was, like, I remember when we had that uh, Wake Up YouTube or fucking... What, there was this hashtag, I forget Answer us pedotube. Yeah. Or and it was pick it aside YouTube, pedophiles like, or children. There were two hashtags. Even when I was working on that video, I made a video where I talked about it, and my video definitely wasn't like going as inflammatory as Max. I I kind of get into the idea of explaining like the technicals of things, and it's like, hey, listen, there's fucked up shit on YouTube all the time, but I mean, it's what like the most used website, one of the most used websites in the world. Like, yeah, of course, some bad shit's gonna get through with it, but you know, um, I don't know if they were like, I I feel like these kind of heavy-handed like. Uh, campaigns oftentimes do way more damage to people's understanding of like big websites like this and also really insane topics like this too. I think a lot of the issue I guess with some of his f uh, previous investigations is because there are so many people who come out and speak on his character 
Like during the Answer Us mm -hmm. YouTube thing, they'll say stuff like, no, Max isn't like that. Max works really hard. I had a conversation with Night Docs. I'm sure you've met him before. I think he was at some of the VidCon stuff. He's uh, yeah. another one of those filmographer type YouTubers. And a lot of people, myself included, I guess look to you, Nux, Nexpo, guys who have worked with him, other YouTubers who've supported him in mm -hmm. those previous campaigns. And they, they see like, well, he's a good guy. He works really hard. But I guess nobody, I mean, nobody Max, I know Max, can give me an example of one pedo. Max in jail. does work hard, but given some of his like, the, I saw one clip recently where he was doing the um Shinrokyo cult or something, and uh, people were pointing out like how his Discord, uh, when he showed that he infiltrated, he had like admin roles, which meant that he created the Discord. Mm -hmm. I chalk up a lot of his like clips like that on his video, probably to him like because because obviously he, like creates a dramatic recreation of something to film it for a camera. Um, but I don't know much about like his work stopping pedophiles like i know that he hunts down uh individuals on like imbu and like all these like social media services uh, i don't know if he's ever like truly went down the conviction route on any of them that's something that i never went into I think uh, that's one of the reasons why i that he did get a conviction now people are asking if that's the case like yeah. the only time i've ever worked on something with like like child grooming and shit is probably like kava's but that also involved a case that had itself put in through to the legal system as well there was actually a lot of those like aspects from that video that had to be cut or redone just because it actually gets in the way of law enforcement shit so i don't i don't i don't know max like i know he's a hard worker but i really i don't know he's i don't know what he does other than has this put a lot more doubts into other stuff that he's done in the past now in hindsight hindsight uh, yeah honestly yeah i i think i'm a little bit uh, i I'm, I'm definitely growing more doubtful i think a lot of these veiled threats that i saw that he sent to the to lyric that one he also oh. sent one to me um when i didn't respond to his first dm or whatever for his first video he wrote like your silence will not be unnoticed or something i was like what the f does that mean <laughs> I like this is just one of those things where it's like I it it's an over dramatization of a topic that shouldn't be overly dramatized like I would make his exact same investigation but I would cut out the theatrics like would you do it exactly about, the same no no I mean I would absolutely investigate the situation but I would present it in the normal fashion that I have not you know dramatize it I don't think this is the kind of stuff that should even be dramatized well it blows my mind that a chatter from this community was one of the was the person who asked him like hey because you were on the stream right I don't know if you saw this they asked him Hey man, did you go to the cops for this story? And he's like, no, nah, we didn't bother. Like he changed his position after that. And he's now saying that he wants to go to the police. Isn't that kind of mind boggling? Wait, wait, he's talking to the police now? So I think the last time you spoke to him at that point on like the first stream you guys spoke on, at that mm -hmm. point he hadn't talked to police yet. He'd said that in the past Spencer or someone in his camp tried to reach out to the cops for this issue like years ago. So it didn't work out in their favor. So they just didn't even bother this time. And then after that call in this stream, he's now said like the, we've talked to lawyers and our idea is that now we're going to get everyone together and we're going to go to the police. But that's new. I thought that he was talking to law enforcement and uh, an attorney, even at the time me and him, me and him talked initially in that stream. So... It turned out that that's what he says he does for his cases, but people are putting that into question after that last comment, like after what he'd said on that stream. Now they're wondering if he ever works with cops at all. There's a lot of questions, dude. This thing is really weird and there's no real answers. Do you feel like you're talking to a brick wall sometimes when you're trying to give him advice? Absolutely. I mean, I'm like, I'll be real. The only reason I give the advice is just because like, it, it literally is just, I want to speak and uh, just say something for the record, mostly when it comes to the situations with Max, right? Like, so people know that. Because one of the, one of the things that, again, it drives me insane. It's like his evidence that he showed me isn't exactly evidence that I would write home about, you know? It's is like, it, it, oh, that's a good question. Knowing everything you've already seen without disclosing anything that would get you in trouble, is this something that you would now make a video on in your channel to talk about? No, I wouldn't, ever. Fuck. Jesus. Well... It's like, unless something big and massive comes out, I wouldn't personally sit and make a video on this. I, it's just, it's too one-sided. I, I like, literally, there, there doesn't seem to be a story. Like, and I'll say it from right now, it's just very much a lack of information on almost every aspect, on, on aspects of the story. Well, I speculated the reason that they're looking for new members or new people to discuss this is they're just hoping to God somebody has something. And they're hoping that as the more that people they reach out to, somebody will have something usable. Do you get that feeling at all? I mean, if they're trying to find like somebody that has been in the circle, being this public and already naming this guy wasn't the smart play. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bublax is calling it Coney 2024. And that's kind of what it feels like, dude. Going back to uh, to the guys, 
um, because again, every single YouTuber I talk to who's friends with Max gives like raving reviews to him as a person and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had good interactions with him privately when he doesn't talk to me in the hotline Miami tone or whatever. Do you think there's a way out here? If you're Max with all the cards on the table, where do you, where do you go from here? Look, at the end of the day, I think Max's heart is always in the right place. I think he's a great dude. Mm -hmm. If he really feels that this case has the merit that he personally believes, he should absolutely hand it off. Not to a YouTuber, but he should find the best way to package and hand this off to somebody that... Like a journalist? A journalist or somebody that can liaison properly with a law enforcement agency. That's Pro bono about it. lawyer, yeah. And just somebody just somebody that understands how to present this legal. So yeah, like a, like a lawyer or a pro bono individual and pass it off to them or something. Or, you know, get an expert on your team to help the victims out, too. Because I'm mostly worried about the victims in these situations, right? Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, I must, like, Max, he wants to help a victim, so he jumps in, gives his platform. The victims, they want to seek retribution against a horrible thing they face. But the longer this goes, and the way that it goes... Those victims aren't going to get any restitution. Right now, all the situation is doing is giving Camden Gerard Davis a pretty legitimate case, and, and I would assume defamation, right? And again, yeah. I know defamation is difficult to prove, but like this is one of those situations where like they haven't provided a single shred of evidence to show that this is all in even good faith, right? Like, mm -hmm. There's been talks now of apparently these girls doing this out of vindication or bad faith, which is never good. You know, I mean, and that's one of the things that I hate to see. And Max is 100% responsible solely to make sure the story is delivered the right way or justice is handled the right way. Yeah. If you're not doing that, then, you know, these girls are ultimately putting their stock into somebody that doesn't have the best intention for them. Yeah, that's something that really upsets me in particular, because every single time he receives criticism on like, why are you doing these live streams? Even to you, he said, like, I'm, the victims want to be doing these live streams. Well, they reached out to you, Max, because... You have a history of doing things like this, supposedly. Um, maybe you should advise them that it's not best to debate Smaggle Daggle. One of the things is, too, is like, he says to me, like, yesterday, it's like, my platform is for the victims. I'm giving them my platform. I'm like, they didn't come to you to leech off of your subscriber count unless that's literally the intention, right? Like, hey, I want to build my own platform. Let's just use this already established YouTuber and just start the snowball from there. No, they came to your platform because they understand how you operate. Like, if somebody comes to me and says, Mood, I want to use your platform platform to expose a scam. I'm not just going to let them upload a video onto my channel. I'm going to take what they've researched. I'm going to research on top of it. And then I'm going to present it my way, right? Like that would be what is using my own platform, right? Like using it in a way that is actually beneficial, using it in my way to, to you know, talk about the story and everything. That's how I believe using, um, you know, your platform works, right? Yeah. And I, one of the major issues that I see with this that a lot of people are bringing up is his personal relationship with Spencer, his knowledge. She's like a close family friend to his. It wasn't really disclosed in the very beginning. Do you see a conflict mm -hmm. of interest, I guess, with them living together and being financially tied? Absolutely. I mean, there is, and the financial uh, incentive is actually really, really good. Anytime I've ever covered any like scam case, whether it be crypto, anything, right? Um, It has always been a, I've always had to mention, I'm like, there is no reward in this. There's no financial reward for you even assisting, by the way, too, right? Like I have to make that a pretty, evident fact um mm -hmm. just because like that is a conflict of interest. finances become a serious conflict of interest right like if you have this person living at your house and you know they are basically living off of you you know you're paying for room board food and everything there is a pretty strong uh insinuation that can be made from opposing counsel that you know you're probably getting this person or coaching them or doing god knows what to their original testimony so that's one of the big things it's like if i'm ever working any case there's not a reward to give there's nothing to offer we are literally doing this for justice sake and that has to be and, and i mean honestly i can tell you right now it's probably cost me a few like witnesses or a few like pieces of information but i mean it's what you have to do to make sure everything's above board and your case is merit to it you know you know what you the said the worst just thing now, that can happen what you said just now pointed me because i totally didn't realize that but that's kind of a huge thing when he's saying like I'm, I'm boosting spencer's platform we posted it on her channel so she could become independent and grow like isn't like this is a clout transaction a little bit that's a, that seems like a pretty big deal too i didn't even put two and two together on that so thank you I mean, like, the, the whole thing about it is it's like anytime you get, like, dude, money, anytime you get any exchange of a good, right? And exactly how you mentioned is, like, the, the, the cloud transaction, any kind of transaction like that, it can, it can look really bad if this kind of stuff ever goes to court or if somebody's ever trying to respond on another side. 
I mean, there are, a, like, even with the Gerard stuff, it's like a bunch of people who will say, you only did this for money and views, right? And it's like, well, obviously, I did this to make a living as well. Like, that's not a fucking shocking thing. But to say that I would make less or more money covering, you know, somebody like Gerard or Rubat or Steak, I mean, we're probably getting, we're splitting hairs financially at that point, right? Like, it's not a make it or break it type of thing. Yeah. With, like, Spencer's case, it's like, either I'm fucking homeless or I'm living with somebody and now I do this well, it you seems know, like they've tried to jump ahead of that one because Spencer's like, well, I had other places to go. I didn't have to stay here, but it was like the perfect storm. But you can't say that about the YouTube channel growth to say that like we're trying to build Spencer's platform and trying to grow her as a, like a content creator while she's doing this to tell her story. Now it's like undisputable. She is benefiting from that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there, there, there's no doubt that there's a benefit earned from covering this whole thing. Like, at the end of the day, when I saw her, like, podcast or whatever, the um, You Can't Hurt Me Anymore, number one, I'm like, there's no way we're turning this, you know, this traumatic interview into, like, a potential series on YouTube, you know? Like, that's... This feels a it, lot it like Chris Hansen seems... back when we were covering that together, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It, it's well, pull, it's about, pulling the same strings. The thing about any of this kind of stuff, man, where we're covering like child exploitation shit, is like there doesn't. It often feels like every almost nearly every party involved in here can do some questionable practices when it comes to producing content or gaining clout, and they kind of hide behind the shield of, "Well, we're fighting for children. What are you doing, criticizing us?" It's like I'll say that I've probably done more to help children myself than a lot of predator poaching channels on the internet just by covering things like the Club Penguin server, and yeah. the private systems by having Disney but can you say you've done intervene. more than anthony fantano because we i think we should bring him into this conversation honestly i don't think i've, I've ever done more than anthony fantano <laughs> that rap review fucking definitely stopped the fucking shit, like, we should have got him on the epstein situation instantly bro. dude his video on r kelly was a banger bro <laughs> <laughs> No, but like even with Max, it's like, and I'll just say it right now, privately, he sent me the whole message where it's like me appearing on Tommy and fucking lyrics of stream. They had it. A lot of, I guess, people on that server had a doubt, and it's like, I, I, I'm not showing up on these people's stream to like crap on you or anything. That's not a thing. But those people are raising some pretty valid points, right? Like lyrics, for all things considered, yeah, he's like a fucking more um, raunchy guy, but I chalk that more up to his youth than anything. But what he's saying isn't necessarily out of pocket. It, you know, I might just be saying what lyrics is saying with like, you know, some uh, uh, more maturity applied to it, I guess is the best way to put it. But lyrics wasn't wrong, right? Like you got to have evidence. You got to make sure you don't go into these situations 100% on emotion. And that's it. Well, you know, I don't think I, I don't know if I speak for you on this. So don't, I won't immediately assume that it's the same, but I want to address this to Max. Cause I'm sure I'll get the same DM in the next 24 hours, 48 hours for the stream that I did today. Maybe. And it's like, if you don't want my opinion, don't ask me to watch your fucking videos. I won't watch another video you ever send me if that's what you want, but I'm not going to go live and tell everybody that Camden Gerard Davis is a fucking vampire, pedophile, leviathan, child porn consuming monster if you're not going to go and produce that publicly so we can document it based on your history alone. Your, uh, your credibility alone. It's just, it's never going to happen. Yeah. Don't ask if you don't want. I mean, it, and that's, you know what the thing is? That is 100%. That's like, that's like 100% like what I have to say, if anything, too. It's like, this is a story that like right now, based on everything I've seen, I don't know if I can 100% be believe anything. Like, I don't know if I can 100%. It. Dude, I hate to always say like, man, these girls are victims. They came up to me and they're like, you know, this is what happened. And I'm like, I look, I don't know what happened to you. And I'm sorry about all the trauma and horror you go through but it's like if i'm gonna it, like think about it if i'm gonna cover somebody and potentially ruin their entire life and standing in the world i gotta have definitive proof do you, you know, feel like he's be standing behind them do you think he's do, do you feel like that because uh, that's what i uh, insinuated off what you just said do you feel like he's standing these behind girls the victims? yeah uh i think max believes and stands behind the uh, behind the victims but i don't think no that, i mean like, using them as a human shield by standing behind them not like stands behind in their best interest i i'm gonna i'm gonna say no just because like i i have a little bi a little bit of bias i can't imagine that he would do that that's that's like i don't know i mean i would hope not <laughs> you know well, that's, that's like that's, I, that's really what i would up. say too but every yeah. single time he gets criticism for doing streams he's like well this i'm doing I will what the say victims yesterday, asked me for yesterday on the stream when i was talking to him it definitely felt like when he was leaving the room constantly and having sort of spencer be the 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 face of the discussion that's what it kind of started feeling like to me well he did it um, to you directly 
So you were asking him about the situation and he turned around and he said, listen, I am a platform for the victims. What the victims want me to do is what I do. So that's why I get like, that's what I'm using to come to that conclusion. Oh. Because when you're hitting him with legitimate criticism and his response back is, well, I'm a vessel for the victims and the, no, I'm not going to tell the actually, victims. Actually, that's a really good catch actually from you. Now that I think about it, that does, that is actually what it really does sound like. Because he kept like, saying it. He's like, fun. why are people doing this? And then like, he would continue repeating that line the whole stream. For person to person, every single time mm -hmm. it comes up. I'm a vessel for the victims. I gave the victims my platform. I think, maybe it's just me, that the person who's being asked for help is Max. So Max should be advising the victims. It should never be a case like that. It should be his responsibility. I mean, it's his platform. He has a responsibility to present the story right. You know, these yeah. victims came up to him, but it's like, dog, if you go up to the New York Times and tell them about a story, the New York Times is going to act like the way the New York Times is. They're not going to act on your whim and your recommendations you're at that point you're collaborating with a storyteller a documentarian and you're the subject it's like fucking, i mean that that's just, that's just understood that's basic uh, but yeah the way that you're putting it yeah it definitely does sound like there's like there's plausible deniability right like if things go fucking south it's not max that's making these statements it's the victims right the victims yeah. are the ones calling you know, you know cam and gerard davis the pedophile and and i mean dude i'm just saying legally like this case they're giving a case over to this guy and i don't know if any party involved there really knows that yeah no i that's actually he does notice that because he told lyrics i think you saw the messages where he's like uh this live stream if viewed by camden gerard davis could po could pose a threat to the victims lives it's like, well, that's Lyrics' fault for posting it, not your fault for doing it, even after everyone told you it was a bad idea to debate every single YouTuber on your allegations. Wasn't that thing only leaked because Max sent that to Lyrics? Oh, no, it's even better. He started inviting YouTubers into the call, and the person's Discord name was their name. So... Max, not realizing that, brought in a bunch of people who were showing the Discord call and stream because they were talking to Max, and then it had their mm. full name in it. So I, I, it just it doesn't. Make it's any just sense another to me. example of how this is so poorly handled by by Max in this situation. Where like it, it's then it's not Lyrics' fault. It's his fault for like leaking. Oh, so he look, wouldn't know. I've, yeah, I've told I've told Max this. I'm like, look, at the end of the day, I think that I think w when Max was telling Lyrics that, I really do think it was like this stream made me look like an idiot last night. Please remove it because I don't want people to and view this i really did feel that's what it was like yeah because it was at 2 30 um, in the morning right after he got bombed yeah. he ended off the stream being like see you never guys well e even with like lyrics it's like lyrics should never even have to remove that kind of stuff ever it's like you didn't if we're going by the idea of full names aren't pii then lyrics had no legal reason to remove <laughs> well he's saying that, man you know? it's not doxing it would just be like yeah. but he's gonna he's willing to try to flag it and roll that dice i guess i don't know it just pisses me i off. i that so this is this is where like the bridge is kind of on that like we're talking like the fire the 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 gasoline is already poured right all yeah. that's needed is the fucking match to be tossed there is when he was threatening to use a youtube connection or i guess implying that to remove a channel right? that's like suzy lou that, type stuff yeah yeah oh, and that's man. not something i know max knows and i know that's not something that would ever fucking co-sign or be okay with like fuck that shit there's only like the only time I have ever contacted YouTube to ever deal with a channel is when like just very recently that one guy the who's child like porn channel, right? Yeah, exactly. Like that, that, I mean, that and that's understandable. Nobody's gonna fucking sit there and debate that, you know, unless unless you've got something sitting on your drive and you're a little suspicious. But no, when somebody's criticizing you and you know they've leaked out a name that you don't even consider to be PII and you've said that it doesn't follow under YouTube's rules, you shouldn't can be telling him to remove that kind of content it really feels like he wanted to remove that information just because it makes him look you know not at his best i mean if he really wanted that stream up he would just rush to cut that entire back end off and he would put up all the girls testimonies because that was what yep. the first half of the stream was and I, maybe I'm, at, I'm going crazy here but i'm assuming when the girls said that they wanted to live stream they meant the first half where they talked about mm -hmm. their experiences with Cameron Gerard Davis and not the second half where um, a woman mm. with a southern drawl undressed their fucking friend in front of them and fucked him on the fucking stream. Like, I'm sorry. I can't you imagine know, any girl was like, you really got to debate. Xylee part, gets of the, real. part of the response that's going to happen from Max is he's going to blame the commentary channels if things go wrong, right? Sure. Because now you guys are putting all of your effort and focus, I guess, onto... Uh, onto him instead of Cameron Gerard Davis when at the end of the day the real situation should be the commentary channels are telling you to shut the f*** up and start working with law enforcement because that's all you're doing you're only causing harm to these victims 
Well, do you think if it wasn't Mama Max, he'd be given this much leeway? I mean, this has been going on for like a couple months, and people are only now starting to really turn on him. He lost his audience. I I think his Patreon started to get hit a little bit. His Reddit has turned on him. I I just can't imagine if I'm Alex did this, people would be as charitable for as long, including myself. I mean, it's like the it's like the it's like the Gerard shit, right? Like and um you know for a while people were like shocked stunned and they were like oh you guys are like cloud chasers you know uh if you build up a great audience a great community it's if you build up a great rapport over the years it makes people question things but i mean look right now the fact of the matter is none of what max is doing is helping none of what max is doing for the victims is good if any other youtuber was doing this i would say we would all be more critical you're 100 percent right and in max's case we should be 100% 100% critical. Well, people I might, have been like, criticizing you similar to the way people have been criticizing the Gerard people because you know how Carl came out and all these people started saying, you know, Ger- Gerard's a really nice guy. I don't know if he's capable yeah. of doing something like this. And I've been seeing that kind of thrown towards you. I've been seeing that torn, thrown towards Nux. I've been seeing that thrown toward Nexpo, uh, all in the similar context for uh, max it's like well he's like a really good guy he would never do something like that do you kind of see where that comes from a little bit yeah i mean we all we're humans we have our f***ing biases i get that and especially with max but i will say this right now with max it's like given the situation i'm not afraid to burn or cut bridges or ties or friendships with people that do that aren't that aren't treating this situation with the respect it deserves right like yeah no i i think people will see this conversation in that light that you were willing to come on here and, and actually discuss this and research this and actually tell Max that the stuff wasn't actionable, that you wouldn't even make a video given the new information if you were allowed to. If If this information was solid, I would have made a video already because it doesn't take me too much time to compile things and research and bring about, like, the story. Um, you know, because, hey, I'm not, like, flashy as, as Max would be, but also it's like I can, I can present the situation and... It, like I, I'll sit and present the situation. It just has to be a situation that is presentable, right? Like based on what I've seen, it's like, like I, like I wouldn't co-sign on this investigation based on everything I've seen so far, uh, the lack thereof. And I will say that ninety-nine percent of channels on YouTube probably wouldn't co-sign yet. Uh, and and there's a reason why they haven't, you know. Yeah. Thank um, you very much for answering. I have one more question, and you can. Tell me if you want yeah, to answer sure. it or not, but I have sure. a very angry chatter right now who is uh, who's asking about it. Um, are you familiar with Magnetar? Who's Magnetar? Magnetar is the guy that Max is claiming is a pedophile. Now, apparently on stream, when you were discussing, and again, I don't want to jump you with this, so you stop uh-huh. me. But apparently on stream, I guess it was with Leon Lush or something, you were talking about the allegations. You're like, well, apparently that guy's like a pedo too or something. That's what he said today to me on stream. I guess, do you kind of have reservations with stuff? Do I know stuff? that guy on a different name by any chance? Anthony another... Fields, he might, that was his full name, I believe that was Was that the him. guy in the Believe All Accusation shit? That was the guy who made the video with the girls. Okay. I guess, and you... that's the guy that Max called a pedophile at the end? He, Max claimed that he, like, sent his cock to, like, a 15 or a 14-year-old okay. girl or something. I like actually that. had a disc- I actually had a talk with that guy, too, around that time as well. Yeah. I can't remember the exact nature of it, but... Uh... Did I call him a pedophile? Uh, well, he seems to think you did. I don't know for a matter of fact that that's the case. My question is, do you look at what was said in that video the same way, knowing that Max is not mm-hmm. being super truthful here? Do you think it's possible that some of that stuff might not have been up to, that investigation? Would I mean, yeah, probably not. And if honestly, if I, I don't remember exactly calling him that, I feel like I should. But if I did, I definitely owe Magnetar an apology, like unless there's a fucking, you know. Uh, 100% confirmed thing. Yeah, if I did, I 100% apologize. I don't co-sign on anything like that. I don't. I don't. Was that on my podcast? Because you mentioned um, Leon. Magnetar Rush. City can get us a clip if you're interested. Yeah, I mean, sure. Send me a yeah. clip over here. I see people in chat saying it was a, a, a light co-sign or saying a possible pedo. So that might have been the claim that upset him. But yeah, yeah. I guess like it's after all the stuff that's happened here. I imagine a lot of people are kind of reflecting on. Uh, mm. Answer us, pedo tube, and the other one. Pick a side, YouTube versus pedophiles. Realistically, this is the first time he did like a mass call to action where everyone kind of turned around and were like, "No, I don't want to do that." But previous mm. years, everyone was like, "Fuck you, this guy fucking hunts pedophiles. Who are you to stop him?" Or something like that. Oh, last, last, last thing. 
Um, we'll go back to the Anthony thing if he sends the stuff. But yeah. you're actually very educated on how the um, like the caching works for like the mega account. So I was wondering if you can kind of explain that to chat because we talked about okay. it. We're much so smarter this than is, me. In this. this is where I have a real issue with Max right now. This is where like this is actually what the gasoline on the on the bridge is for. So Max, for anybody wondering, he got his mega folder taken down for CSAM or violent extremism or bestiality or something of that nature. Now, the way that Mega works is they actually don't have like a whole the way that any of these organizations work is they don't actually have any actual images of child pornography sitting on their drives mm -hmm. or cross reference. That's just not a thing. In fact, in the actual field of law enforcement, the only there's only probably going to be like one or two people in that chain that actually see child sexual material in its raw form for cataloging, archiving, evidentiary reasons. Yeah, usually. Every organization stores what we know as hashes, which is a digital, like, sort of, like, hash file, a fingerprint file that basically confirms uh, that, th that there is child pornographic material present in photographs and videos. So when you record a video or record a photo, it goes through a system and it captures every single thing on the uh, video as a hash, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm kind of giving a very layman's explanation, but usually when you see a hash calculated and law enforcement verifies the hash... That means that it is pretty much child pornography. Now, that isn't to say that there aren't false positives or issues. Is that it can possible happen. it could be animal abuse material of some kind? Does it have to be child pornography? Because I know that Max in the past. I mean, I don't know from... if yeah, animal abuse material. It could it could be like a dead animal or something, or like animal violence, especially if it's like a very famous video that could be used during a law enforcement thing. Mm -hmm. What people have to understand is nothing in a hash file is going to be something that, from my understanding, is it, that hasn't been cataloged in a system right so if you like yeah. take a naked picture of yourself that's under the age of 18 and you upload that it's not going to be something that uh is picked up right or it's something that's going to be tripping any hashes because you've never been like that image has never been sent to law enforcement agencies or whatnot right mm -hmm. um but when it comes to like like a known like known child uh, material right like something that has touched legalized something that has been cataloged in the ncmec or the federal bureau or something that is if it gets picked up by anyone, whether it be Google's like YouTube CSIA match or Microsoft's photo DNA, uh, Apple does it periodically on suspicious devices where they'll check the image uh, hashes. Uh, that if anything gets tripped there, what's gonna happen is it's gonna get removed from iCloud. It's gonna get removed from any cloud service provider. And then they're going to send a tip to NCMEC, which is going to work with that relevant area's law enforcement agency. So that's my understanding of it too. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I don't know. Like, what, what did uh, did Max tell you about necessarily? What was in that? Like, did you? No, him but at I all? speculated because again, Comic Cop is pointing this out to me right now, and he said that the mega shit, the link was from a video for his puppy stomping video. So it could be a puppy that's okay. been stomped potentially. That could be tripping this. Mm -hmm. Regardless, though, why would that material need to be on the? Or why would he need to store that material on his Mega Drive? Why wouldn't that just be something that's sent to authorities? I guess is my concern. I... Why would you ever be in possession of material that could be potentially tripping off something like this? I... I'm actually reading through like uh, so one of the one of the things he told me this is uh, about the mega situation uh there were multiple predators dick pics and videos of them masturbating as evidence specifically for law enforcement let me grab the video the video that he linked me to was my lol.apk did you see that one video oh wait that's true i forgot that he did kind of throw it wait oh i want to pull that up too he did throw a random response saying it was that yeah no i know exactly what you're talking okay, about okay so he timestamped an example from. of what was included in the drive his words which was the full video of uh full video of italian come for you masturbating while i was messaging him under the guise of being a minor now if that's an adult masturbating and it hasn't like i don't understand how that could trip a csem hash yeah that, that, that makes no sense at all yeah and also if you're pretending to be a minor you're not going to trip a csem hash because you're also like that that wasn't a registered like child pornography you know it wasn't put into a system and like law enforcement said yeah that's child pornography you know i could make a video of myself doing a sting operation and pretend to be like a fucking 14 year old poorly of course and law enforcement's never going to put that in because biologically at the time of filming i wasn't 14 
and that video isn't CSAM material. So that explanation rubs me the wrong way and I Slimy can't buy it just because I know how that system works. And uh, they're never, you're not really going to trip a hash if it already isn't in the system as, you know. Yeah, I that's actually how it works. have his response right here. So this is yeah. supposedly what he said. The only issue is he's removed the stream where he says this. This is now gone mm -hmm. and he hasn't re-uploaded it. That's the most mm. recent live stream. But apparently it was logged by the people on a subreddit that he had addressed the, uh, the mega upload. He claims that it's been taken down because the videos of pedophiles jacking off were stored from his MyLol video. He does not acknowledge how mega upload... Uh, detects questionable content, as you said, or the issue and reason behind the ban is still unclear as his claim is unsubstantiated. If so, that is the explanation, pedophiles then jacking it is, off would not trip it is, that, right? That is the, that, it, that would 100% not trip off anything because that would never be admitted into a system as CSAM material and it would never exist as a hash. Therefore, it would never be cross-referenced with any other agency and it would never trip off that system. So that explanation holds no water. It's possible that the puppy stomping video could have also tripped it, but the it could have be but other examples that have also trapped yeah. it and that's what like, but, flags everything but this everything. is the example he told me was my lol.apk yeah and apparently that's what he told his audience was my lol but so again I, it wouldn't like i don't know why we're extrapolating into the that almost sounds like we're making an excuse almost right like no if because he's not the, there is a difference so the reason why comment cop said what he did is if you go to other ones people were posting other screenshots there's another like on non-offending material that was taken down you'll see stuff like this um, it'll say this link is unavailable as the user's yeah. account has been closed for vo a gross violation of Mega's terms of service. But on offending material, you're getting stuff like this folder was reported for containing objectionable content such as child exploitative material, violent extremism, bestiality. So like different folders, when you look up his old Mega, you have different responses. The assumption was that the puppy I mean, like, stomper video tripped something. Just think about it like this too, right? Like a puppy stomping video isn't bestiality unless there's like a part of it where you're sticking your dick in the animal, right? Like that's not going to trip bestiality. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's assume that it's just Animal Crush. Well, yeah. that's not going to, that, that wouldn't be admitted as a hash. I mean, it's up to half, but that wouldn't, you know, trip that. So you think he um, needed to have done something like really stupid for, or... Up it would have to, to be really stupid. Script. Violent yeah. extremism, like, what would violent extremism come into? Wouldn't that just be like, I don't know, if you had the I thought it'd be terrorist video? shit. My chat seems to think it's violent extremism. I thought violent extremism, that's like beheading Vi people, yeah. right? Not well, well, violent, it would be, it would probably be that, but it would be like violent extremism would be like, you know, fucking the crime church shooter, right? Like yeah, in, in yeah. like, what a matter an hour, they removed that video from the internet. The only place you could watch it at was like the fucking Kiwi Farms or something. Um, so it would be something like that, you know? Uh, C, E, like child exploitation material. I mean, these are only three options that they give. Um, is that literally the only three options or do they just have that? As, this like, is just examples? the one. There's a whole report that you can find on the internet that talks about exactly what they choose to take down. But this mm -hmm. is what was given on his exact mega. So it's a child exploited material, violent extreme. Uh, but it's such as, so these are just examples. It could be a variety of things. The uh, I have someone in chat asking about doxing the guy's mother. You've already stated that you've already kind of poked fun at his definition of doxing on this, so I'm not really sure. I'm assuming what your opinion is on this, but do you think it was necessary to contact his immediate family in the video? No, I don't. I don't think it was important to ever get in touch with the family members. I mean, what the f are they going to add? Yeah, that's. I um, assumed you'd say that. That's why I didn't initially bring it up, but people were asking. All right. Well, I don't want to keep yeah. too much of your time, but I really appreciate you coming on and kind of yeah. um, giving your take on this. I know you've been on Tommy streams and stuff recently. Mm -hmm. Um. It's, it's got to be annoying to kind of... I don't know, he's asking a shitload of content creators to help him out, and then you help him out, and now it seems like you're so wrapped up in this thing. And, like, your word on the, yeah. the allegations or law, and you have to go correct that right now or something. But, yeah, I mean, like, the, the only thing I just want to finally correct off is, like, what I said to the Magnetar guy. Like, I guess oh. if I said something, yeah. Magnetar, have you sent me anything? Hold well, on, let me yeah. just make sure, because I want to get that done for you. I haven't gotten anything from Magnetar. Does anyone have the Magnetar clip that we could pull up? Or does anyone know what stream really? it was from? Because I can try to get that as quick as possible just so we can tie a little bow on the end of this. Yeah. Um, because I know he was looking for it in particular. Magnetar, can you show Moodle the clip from Max and Lyrix where Max says that I'm a pedo and says repeatedly that he has no evidence? Well, I mean, I can show him that, but I think it seems like he kind of already understands the situation. Yeah, I, was I just want to know where I said a statement so I can retract it or explain it further. Yeah, that's kind of what he's looking for. Do you have that, Magnetar? Yeah. Like, um, unless I'm definitively Kuhleman calling you something. Yeah. Aquiman has it. Um, Kuhleman. I totally said that wrong. Uh, either Chud or Lyrics recently watched it, too. Um, anybody with a timestamp, because I don't want to keep him here too long, but I do think this is a good thing to 
end the snow dawn. Look at Queeman. Um, did Queeman send it? Oh, is he here? Is Queeman in chat? No, I don't think Queeman's even awake. He's a Brit. Um, let me see. Yandere I mean, like, the only reason you probably called him mom on is if, like, he's still living there or something, but I don't know. Yeah. Nobody knows the whereabouts of this guy, so. Wait, Queeman is in chat? He's awake? Jesus, little fucking bonger. Can you send me the link or send me a link to your stream where you show the clip? Um, because you, the last thing you've been on stream about for so the last got month. Fresh so logs from Des. See, sent the oh, I'm Smaggle, Smaggle, the genius has given me the clip. Let's watch this. Oh, and Queeman gave it to me actually at 10:42, and I didn't see right. it. So I'm gonna click I Queeman's just... link because it is okay. infuriating that Smaggle has gotten so much right on the story. Um, I will screen share with you so, so we can watch okay. it together. So it was your podcast with Nux. This is some okay. ordinary podcast. Okay. Right. Do you see my screen? Yeah, I see it. Make sure they see my screen. Get this full. Okay. I got to watch the whole seven minutes here. Oh, is it the whole seven minutes? Maybe Queeman fucked up. Oh, no, Can he gave just, it to like, me. transcript to when I... Okay. Here. This is... It's the 540. Let me make sure... Okay. If Smaggle gave me a different timestamp. And he mentions the guy yeah. making the video. I'm like, oh. Okay, this is a... I don't know. Yeah, like, it was so weird because huh. when I watched the Max video, like, when I got to the end, and I, I had it running, like, on the on the TV behind me while I was working on something here, and, like, it got to the point where I was at the end of the video, I look around, and it's, like, six out of five, and then he mentions the guy yeah. making the video, I'm like, oh, crap, what happened with this yeah, guy? That, uh, and then he says he's a pedophile, and I'm like, I just stop right there, I'm like... <laughs> he's, a, he's a good oh, showman, wait, wait, wait. Max. He makes good content. You gotta, you gotta hand right, it. I don't know. If there's something necessarily wrong with that yet. But let's keep going. Oh, God. Like, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Rewind that thirty seconds. Wait, what? And then, they, and then he showed a clip of his sister saying that uh, the guy that's making the that organized the video is sending like dick pics to fifteen year olds and stuff. Yeah, me, me and my me and Jesus my girlfriend Christ. were following the whole thing like crazy because it was like because me and my girlfriend were like we know Max, so it's like yeah. we just want to know this whole fucking thing and. Me and her were blown away by the bombshell. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah. how can this? Yeah. How, it's like, you got to imagine, like, if you're the guy running these things and you have a possible history. I mean, to be yeah. honest, like, looking at it from his perspective, Max is this guy who obviously has a chip on his shoulder and hates this dude, right? And he's making videos about catching pedophiles. He's just scared that one of the videos will be about him. So he's trying well, to that, discredit so that, so Max first. That was the impression I got. Is he the dude that helped orchestrate the video yes, between the girls? Yes. Is that he got the, all is that the group together that's the dude. in a group chat and he organized the video. Which is really mm. stunning. Imagine oh that. My God. Imagine that. Yeah. The projection. It's almost it's uh, <laughs> Oh my god, that's well, so fucking... this guy was tagging, so I remember the day it happened, he was immediately tagging me, he was tagging Charlie, and he was tagging Nexpo the whole time. Even I got and, tagged. Uh, there was this Google Drive yeah. thing, I got tagged, and... Uh... Yeah, like, we, we just kept getting tagged, and then because he kept tagging, like, I had a bunch of, like, DMs, was like, how do you support a, a like, an abuser? And I'm like, oh my god. Bitch, it ain't even confirmed yet what do you want me to no, what? literally yeah it's like, there's a what someone uploaded a g drive with some yeah. screenshots okay bro like the mo the most i said i'm like listen if max actually did something wrong i'm open to hearing the other sides so like even if you're yeah. my friend i'll still all right so i assume that's the issue uh for for what magnetar mm -hmm. has is you guys joking around saying he's clearly projecting and saying that like if you have a potential history so. of something like this uh, meanwhile from magnetar's perspective max just straight up made something up he said to me today that he thinks that like he could know that there's like a potential girl in his past or whatever that Max could be okay. pulling on strings in real life, but this is just an, a completely fabricated story. So I don't know why yeah. he would have to. Um, so I'm just it. gonna say it to Magnetar. I'm gonna be like, listen, I, I get the fucking big dick energy, but you made it sound like I was blatantly calling you a pedophile. Nowhere in that clip did I hear that I called you a pedophile uh, at all. Um, I was literally reacting to a bombshell drop in a video. Uh, and I'll pretty much leave it at that, okay? That's pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, if you felt that I wasn't super charitable to you, then it is what it f***ing is, uh, you know? But I did not call you a pedophile. That is insane to f***ing assume out of it. Like, that is... I'm sorry to say that's really f***ing retarded, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's move past it. But yeah, definitely not as insane as I thought it was going to be. Um, and I'm sorry, I will say... It, it, like it, you know that that was not a blatant like statement of fact okay it was at the time there was an insane fucking, like bombshell drop and that's what i was talking about you made an insane bombshell drop in a video that's 
so about what I'm getting in at. regards to the initial allegation, I guess, mm -hmm. that was levied by Max. So are you saying that like your position now and then hasn't changed, that you were no. that you're still waiting on more information? Or do you uh, think with that what? Well, I guess looking at it then and looking at it now, um, I guess has anything that's happened changed your position? I don't know what your position was then, but I'm assuming you're saying it was just like I'm reacting to the bombshell, so you didn't have a position there then? Yeah, I'm reacting to the bombshell. I didn't have a hardline position then, but I will I will give you some chair I will give you some like fucking I will concede and say I should definitely have been more careful in saying that and I will definitely go in further, but I did not in any capacity 100% finger you as a pedophile. That that mm -hmm. is how I believe this whole situation was going at. Um, obviously I probably should have been careful there, but that's what it comes down. I said it was shocking to hear. It was shocking to hear. It was a shocking bomb del bombshell drop. And, uh, the way that Max presented in the video, and that's, if we watch the video again, in its production quality, that six out of five, uh, I can explain exactly how that hit, but that's what it comes okay. down to. Do you have an uh, issue with said, anybody? I don't know. You can't speak for anyone else on there, but do you have an issue with anything Nux said in that clip or, or anything that I don't. I guess Leon said, or do you, are you guys, are you content with the clip as seen? Uh, I mean, maybe like fucking, I don't know who, uh, was it me that said that? Like when you got a history, was it Leon that said uh, it? I feel like whoever said it, it's right here. Yeah. The whole thing like crazy. Cause it was like, cause me and my girlfriend were like, we know Max. So it's like, yeah. we just want to know this whole fucking thing. And me and her were blown away by the bombshell. We're like, what the? Because I mean, that is true. You were talking about the bombshell. <laughs> like, yeah, how sure. can this? Yeah. How, it's like, you got to imagine, like, if you're the guy running these things and you have a possible history. I mean, to be honest, like, that is my fuck from, up. That's what I'm saying is, yeah, I think that's, that's why the chat is kind of upset with you. Is it? Let's yeah, like, that's my fuck up then. If I said possible history, it comes, I can see I, why As a viewer, I think you come away thinking that you believe this. It's not just yeah. you reacting to the bombshell. They think, oh, okay. Yeah. Mudahar thinks this is real. No, that that is that is my fuck up there. Hundred percent, I can own that. That is not that. I definitely should have been careful. I can see I can see like where somebody could be insinuating. I did not uh, in any capacity at the time even like one hundred percent add that as a definition. If a uh, my thing is with a definite claim, I definitely will just say you are a you know pedophile and you, you fuck children. If I one hundred percent believe it, um, but at the time he when he showed that drop in the video and. I believe it was like when something about like applying to a job in the White House or something. Yeah. Um, oh, Magnetar in chat kind of did say away. thank you, Muda. No hard feelings. So no. I'm glad that we reached that yeah. outcome there. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, look at the end of the day, it's like I, after after all of the shit that is given here. Um, after at least the last 48 hours and that last live stream that I was on, I'm more partial to like do uh, a magnetar at this point right but uh i don't know it's uh it's 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 a tough thing i will say like hearing that clip again and if it like it definitely i will say like if i if i made it insinuate honestly if i ruined anything going on for you and like in like a thing it, in like your job or like life and i 100 percent apologize and i definitely would try to do whatever i can to make that right that's not okay uh for but, me um, looking yeah. at all this stuff right now as it's presented because again people are asking to talk about the magnetar stuff a lot and some of the stuff with the girls and stuff with max it feels like every single person who's talking about this has their own like interest at heart and that's creative i feel and like that's, we I mean, should get magnetar would, and have a discussion say. about the the girl stuff too like the i feel like magnetar Wait, do you want to have you want me to bring magnetar in i mean like honestly i think like you should we like we all should have a discussion with magnetar i think like rehashing his initial video is probably more important because i think it adds actually adds more relevance to the max situation right now you do think in hindsight that you're like i guess you're idea i don't want to say that you brushed off the situation with max but your initial conclusion now is kind of open again after seeing everything that he's done with this recent case i think i think everything deserves a review after the, how max has treated the situation i think everything needs to be reviewed again you know personally yeah i understand where you're coming from on that one i think um this has blown a hole through a lot of people and I, I just as we were watching that we were joking around before saying like you know how it went gerard it's like I have plenty of people coming around to tell me what a cool guy I've been. And even in that clip, you're like, me and my girlfriend, we were watching, we're friends with Max. So it's like, um, I guess this is this is kind of been a mind boggler for a lot of people, uh, myself included to a degree. I'm not I'm not uh, innocent in that one either. I didn't know if this was, I didn't know Max could f blow a story like this. And now I'm wondering if it's not just an accident. <sighs> I, th this whole thing really feels like ego took over 
That's what and, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Is I thought it because I, I don't want to say that he's a, a malicious clout demon, and I used this as an example before. I first of all, I do not blame a single person. I assume that's cool. Uh, Queeman's position right now. I don't blame him for having that. I think Max has dug his own grave on that regard. Yeah. But my thing is like, well, if he's going to be a clout chaser, I mean, why didn't he just make a good video? <laughs> If he's going to chase Cloud, he wants a real successful banger. Why didn't he just make a million view video and do it right the first time? He could have chased a shitload of Cloud, took a bunch of money from victims, and he kept pushing it out and pushing it out and pushing it out. Um, This seems like more. This seems like there's a character issue here. I think this whole thing was done to spread culpability. That's my personal belief. If we're going to get into like the fucking grim reality of the situation, I think the whole reason we have to contact other YouTubers was to spread culpability and blame if things went south, you know? Yeah. Because here's the thing. If if you do something on your own, that's you getting fucked up on your own. The moment you add me, Charlie, fucking you, everyone. Well, that's why nobody came it... through this time when he started yeah. asking for more help. It's It's not like a crazy... Angry Slug is playing Fortnite. That's hilarious. Uh, but it's not like a crazy thing. You know what I mean? So you're saying that you think that we should... Do you mean like we should get like a call privately and discuss things with Magnetar at some point? Or do you think that there should be like a... Like I mean, a... I don't really, I don't really mind if it's public or private, but I think revisiting Magnetar's initial video that he made um, uh, where he talks about these girls... Because Haley popped it's... back up today. I did speak to her briefly. Yeah. My chat hasn't seen it yet. We're going to watch that at some point. But yeah, they were talking Probably about some of the stuff that happened to them and how that normally when people tell me, I don't know if this is just you, but normally when people tell me like, oh, I was doxxed, um, they contact, like they found where I work, they posted all that shit or whatever. My, I kind of roll my eyes at that because that usually doesn't happen. But Max is the type of person to read your mother's name and say like, we need to find this person. His community is like very aggressive. And yeah. I, I believe that they these girls like went through a lot probably. I mean, they have to have. I mean their their uh only advocate was Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I, I uh I think gen- genuinely it's like fucking I I think definitely we all have to revisit everything with Max as well. I, I think honestly having like Magnetar, I think I, or Anthony a fucking Anthony, I'm gonna, I'm gonna well, apparently Anthony, Anthony wasn't too. public. So, what happened was wait, uh, fuck, are we? No, 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 no. So Anthony shit. was public. That's my problem with it. Is I fucking swear to God, he reached out to me as Anthony, but he okay. claimed he was being doxxed when that was going on. I think he since moved off that position. I don't think okay. his name was private, but I could be wrong. I could have sworn we interacted when his name was already Anthony. Um, right. But yeah, Anthony Magnetar. Um, uh, one of the things he wanted me to point out is apparently Max is telling everybody that Anthony is like running the Kiwi Farms thing and there is like no evidence to support that Anthony is like the person who doxxed him on Kiwi Farms or posted all that stuff. I haven't seen a single thing, a shred of proof that shows that uh, he's gone that route. And I wouldn't believe a random normie who is like defending girls on YouTube would be knowledgeable enough on deep internet lore to even end up Wait, on that he's side claiming by accident. That he's claiming Anthony Magnetar is the one running the Kiwi Farms? Thread. Yeah, and that seems to be really upsetting him because he reached out about me uh, okay, that specifically. So I'm going to say it right now, and this is the, I'm, I'm not doing this because it's like I'm, I'm trying to pay back Anthony after what, like, me making a statement. It's actually impossible. Let me explain why it's retarded to assume anybody could be running a f***ing thread. <laughs> you don't have any proof! You have no idea what the post came from. You have no idea what the OP poster is. It could be it could be anyone. It could be you, Nick. It could be me. It could be anybody. Mm-hmm. How can you make an assumption? Like, this is one of the things that drives me, and it goes back to the fucking Camden Gerard Davis shit. You got, like, we, we literally don't have any confirmation at all. Uh, we have nothing, we have no, conf- we have no hardline data to go off of. We literally are going off with feelings on this situation every single pro party and yeah and it party. feels like if you don't like my feelings then you're protecting pedophiles and nobody knows that better than tommy c somebody who's been like i think there was like qr codes about max like sexually dominating him that were going around and stuff like that and like uh, that he that he put in his videos of some kind that tommy had to react to insinuating that tommy who's been molested himself is like a, a, a yeah tommy's pro a pedophile survivor. he's literally a fucking survivor of csa yeah, yeah. And he, by giving that information, he's been like ridiculed in his chat and stuff like that for putting I mean, that it's information. Not like he ha- it's not like he has an IP address of the original poster that happens to be the same 
static IP address of like the yeah. Magnetar, which even then, by the way, it's still not conclusive evidence because you can have a shared IP address from time to time. That's how a lot of these big ISPs work. It's it, it, the the whole this whole fucking go on half cocked and talk about these serious allegations. Here's the thing about people that hunt pedophiles. Okay, they have the easiest PR win in history. Yeah, who the f is going to go up against a pedo hunter? You know? Yeah, and if like, you get you the guy, a, if you get it wrong, who's going to believe the pedophile? Oh, yeah, it's like, oh, you're saying you're not a pedophile? It's exactly what a pedophile would say. Yeah, like you can, you can get things, you could probably get a few things wrong in a pedophile case as long as you reasonably prove the other person is a fucking legitimate predator. You know, because at that point it's like, oh, cool, okay, I'm sorry that you know, like if if you hit up EDP and it was like, oh, ED, like you messed up the age by one year, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, EDP, you're not into twelve year olds. Is thirteen any better? Sure, let's yeah, go on. Yeah, hundred percent. Like that's probably all you're looking at, but you know, his this this is this is not. I don't understand what Max was expecting out of this situation. I don't understand what he was expecting to go. What I don't know what he was really thinking when he started this whole situation because what's happening now is like his whole history on YouTube is currently being questioned. Yeah, and, it's like a I mean, he wants everyone to just trust him. Just trust me. This guy's a pedophile, guys. Trust me. Which you know it's. And he's been able to do that because people look at him and go, oh, he's the pedophile hunter. I had a conversation with Night Docs. I'll use him as an example. He was very adamant that Max is doing stuff uh, because he's a filmmaker who really takes the CSA, CSA, uh, CSAM stuff really seriously. And he's trying to put people away or whatever. And like, it was justification for some outrageous video he made saying that like it was YouTube love. It was, what's the quote guys? We, t we watched it on the last stream. Let die the ch the pedophiles you love or suffer the children or something like that. As if that's any way to talk to a corporation that you want to get something done on. It's One like, of the things yeah. that I had this discussion with Max even about too. Um, I wonder, wait, uh, well, I mentioned it in the YouTube video. I can't say that I had this discussion right off the top. Um, probably came off not in the way that I'm about to say it, but it's like when he got his initial, like when YouTube wasn't playing ball with him initially, uh, I had to pretty much sit down and like just explain like when you make threats of violence, even to a pedophile, they're going to take your video down. And it's not because they're protecting pedophiles because you legitimately broke TOS. And it's crazy like it, that you have to sit down yeah. and talk to someone about that, or you have to explain yeah. that to someone publicly. Because, like, if it wasn't a pedophile, everyone would understand it. The only other time I've seen anything like this in history is when fucking Actman made a comment about doxing a YouTube employee and had to be told why that was a bad joke to make. You know? Yeah. It's so annoying that I have to explain this to people. And, that, like, you have to even explain it to Max. Because it, it, it makes me wonder, like, does he know this? And, like, did he need Mudahar to tell him that? Or did he kind of just hope that no one would say anything because it was probably the thing that would get him more views for that video? And that's what pisses me off more. I I think with him, it's like, it's just a matter of like, with him, it's just a matter of, and he, he re like, he really does want to be like, I, he really is aiming for the fame and fortune on the internet, I feel. I think he mm -hmm. really is hoping that this brings him to like, you know, being a filmmaker at some point. Nobody reaches um, out to Joe Rogan just for altruistic reasons. That's like a, that's a status symbol to be on Joe Rogan. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, like the thing is at the end of the day, it's like, if you wanted to like get the audience's attention to reach out to like, you know, law enforcement, he, you know what his video should have been? This is like what he should have filmed. He should have filmed a video, like a documentary over how up the legal system was that these women made like legitimate complaints oh yeah i agree agencies yeah didn't give a shit about it that would have been such a banger video you could have titled it how the law how 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 law enforcement allows not how law enforcement yeah. how the insert police department here failed a victim yeah. failed a survivor yeah exactly. or something that's a total but you don't even have to do that this is a story about a vampire werewolf pedophile thing turkey tom could make a million view video off of this the way he did oh, with yeah. the uh the clown stuff yeah well, if he present, yeah, all Turkey Tom does is present the facts. If all he had done was like make a video, it's like this police department failed a rape victim, bro. Immediate, that would have fucking hit Dexerto. That would have hit any news organization yes! right there. I mean, yes! who doesn't like stories about police malfeasance, bro? That goes everywhere. That would have been like the first fucking Hassan reaction we would have seen on that day. All right, this fucking law enforcement agency failed the CSA victim. Let's go over how. And he could have gone over every single report, rape kit that they made, and how they fucking never acted on it, how they never went through with it, how all of this shit was fucked up to begin with. And then the call to action at the end could have been, hey, listen, if you want to see some 
fucking justice done, maybe you do have to get this police department and pressure them off their ass. You know, at that moment, every streamer would have watched there and every streamer would have covered that shit and that video would have gotten viral like multiple millions of views and it would have actually probably led to like some nationwide like discussion on how the law enforcement system pretty much leaves this kind of shit on a back burner because that girl spencer's case isn't the only fucking case to uh to exist you know there's billions of other cases across the united states like that um, by the way, I just got a notification from Smaggle who wants me to share this. Uh, supposedly the MyLol video, um, they found a re-upload of it with like the, the deleted, um, well, the, the banned account linked in it. And when you click the link to what he put in the, in the mega, that gives you the, which notification was it Smaggle? It shows that it broke TOS, but it doesn't say child exploitation. So that one gives a different error. So that might not even have been it. So I'm not sure why he'd said that. I don't know if that's anything to go by, because for all we know, he has an email that told them that was what it was. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean? Like, e we don't like, know. There should, yeah, there should be like some email from their team that tells them this is the offending material. Yeah. Um, it triggers a hash or something. Didn't he admit or something in one of the interviews with like Spencer, or, like one of the videos very recently, that there was an FBI probe in the head? Yeah, that's the other thing is that he's being investigated by the feds. So that's another fucking thing here too. I don't want to like. I'm not going to be charitable. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I, I understand people are saying, well, he probably just. Made spoke i'm not going to be charitable on this one i don't know why he said it was in the my law video i don't know why he used that specific example why he thought that was a good response to make publicly or why he did it on live streams that everyone told him it was a bad idea to do so if it turns out it was the puppy getting stomped i'm really f confused on why he said it was my law it, well that's why i'm saying i don't think it's like i personally find it a little bit hard to believe on a misspeak like that because you should be able to take especially okay this isn't me asking like you about some lighthearted shit or something some small yeah this correction. is why I'm, did your account get sent to the feds for potential yeah. csam or, or bestiality material this is a really big response and it's exactly the type of thing both myself now and mudahar privately told him that he should stop doing on stream so this is entirely his fault yeah okay. and, and the thing is like i don't know what he's getting investigated by the fbi for like i has he explained any of that because i haven't seen I mean, the clip we should so somebody should pull that clip yeah up if you could pull that one up too we yeah, would like to take a look apparently the in the FBI. four hour vod he mentions that he's being investigated by the feds uh at the same time magnetar kind of wants to do a final thing do you want to talk to him briefly or yeah sure let me see let me add you guys both to the call Imagine if I added Smaggle by accident. Why am I? Why am I here? <laughs> Wait! Oh my God! This is Matt Pitt. Yeah. Oh my God! What, that's what? not Mudahar. What? <laughs> Do you want to stay? I don't care. You can stay. Uh, hi, hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Magnetar. I don't know why I brought Matt Pitt in by accident. I, I, you want me to? Leave? I'll leave if this is getting. I mean, this it's okay. Personal. No, Matt's no. great. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, so I wanted to start off and uh, first off say, Muda, I'm sorry if whatever I said in the chat came off as like me trying to make it sound more like you made like a hard stance about me being a pedo. Uh, yeah, no, I, I want to apologize for even insinuating that. No, and like listening back to it, I think, you know, Leon and the other VTuber guy kind of did more, you know, they said more than you did, certainly. Um, but like just to kind of like, I guess, tell you where I'm coming from and what you kind of saying that apology means to me is that like even that little clip of that like you not even necessarily saying i was a pedo like that was something that was used over and over as well as max's stuff against me um and like like the stuff with the girls and stuff and like mm -hmm. that period of time when all of that was happening at the end of that 2022 like and i texted you a little bit about this i think like there were like death threats my co-workers were getting emails and like pictures and like crazy shit um like i had to tell my family about this stuff and like my employers and it was just like crazy shit man um over non-verifiable stuff so just thank you for those you know what you said sorry if uh it made it if i made it come across as like more serious than maybe you think it was but it just, I it mean, really yeah, means a lot. Uh, yeah, no, I, again, just apologies. It's not something to, that, that is something that I honestly, like, I should never. Shud will not stop me that. from playing like, Fortnite in a, this call. Like, possible history, unless there's like a 100% verifiable. It's just when watching that video, uh, the six out of five segment, when he like lists off the screenshot or something, that was one, I don't know, the, the, the turnaround that he did was sure. insane to witness. Um, but I mean, he's a great fucking storyteller and artist. I'll, I'll give him that, man. 
Yeah, but like, and and but the thing is, like, given the most recent situation, it's like the reason I wanted to talk to you about everything again is like your video now has to be viewed again in a different light because there's been a lot of people questioning his recent videos and spe like I brought up the Om Shinrokyo example, the right. Japanese cult is one where mm -hmm. things are being faked, and maybe that was because of like, hey, he needed a dramatic like scene for a video, but. Obviously, when you're covering, like, pedophile material or, like, investigations, you should probably never fake anything, you know? Right. <laughs> you should never even dramatize Knowing anything, what he's like... done now with the little information yeah. that appears to be there, um, that really opens the door for other things he said in the past, including you, including Haley, including all the other girls, to not be. There, there's no, there, We're not giving any benefit of the doubt on that, you know what I mean? Because he hasn't really given us anything to work with recently that says he's actually thoroughly looking through any of his stories. There's a lot of people and, who are saying Gerard the Completionist is a real good guy, and that's reason to believe that he wouldn't up decades worth of charity. Well, unfortunately, he did, and now we have right. to go back and look at anything else that might have been wrong. Yeah, and, and for what it's worth, and I, I can't speak for the girls, but I'm more than happy to talk to you guys again. And to be honest, like we had all kind of like moved past this over yeah. the last few years, but um, I don't know if you know this, Muda, and maybe you, you don't have to review it necessarily, but it was during Lyrics's part, I think. In a little bit before that on max's stream the other night but he talked about me again and like said like 12 times in that stream that anthony is a pedophile it's proven by his behavior that but that was something evidence. that happened the other night he was laughing about it on stream being like well constantly he's saying anthony field anthony field magnet and people were he's asking for evidence he's like what would you like to see his penis like it was really yeah, it was really awkward penis, right? and um and that's like the only reason i've been like into like shit again this like this last weekend and that's that's he, the part that frustrates everybody even chud logic said it himself if you could show us evidence that this person sent a dick pic to a minor some really very specific example that he's claiming that sounds like it could have a paper trail all of us would disavow absolutely everyone would immediately disavow but the yeah. fact that he's like indicating that he doesn't have anything to work with off of this and it just happens to be another family friend or something like a friend of his sister because everybody in this scenario from every single drama that he's been in that's gone bad for the last two years just happens to tangentially have gone to his fucking high school from fucking spencer to fucking all the girls obviously to anthony to the person anthony supposedly sent his dick to all these people just went to school together uh it really calls into question everything else he's saying yeah now now it's just a matter of like what comes next now with with the with max like what comes next for this new because the the story really should be instead of this getting turned around and like everybody in the commentary space is now trying to refocus this onto like a question of max's ethics it's like how do we touch the situation again and how do we do what max was supposed to do and help these victims you know for sure because i think like here's the thing poking holes into max is like one thing for sure and it should absolutely be investigated 100 percent. but it's like it should be done 100 percent with the guys that like not the guys sorry it should be done 100 percent with the um with the with the belief that we're not just nobody's poking holes in max for the sake of poking holes it's poking holes for the sake of reaching out to these people that are working with him that like if you actually want real justice it is really time to reach out and work with actual law enforcement agents versus putting your stock into a YouTube channel that right now is kind of letting you fucking run the run the show when they even pro they even believed to, that you know this guy would probably write the story and present it in a way um that would help them get justice because right now mm -hmm. these girls aren't going to get any justice at all that that's what yep. i personally believe at this point these i think girls that they're, they're, every day they spend with him they're a day closer to being yeah. in a civil suit with them being on the uh, opposite side of it than they are yeah. in a situation where that guy's going to go to jail and whatever oh, lawyer max yeah. claims he has they need a fucking new one yeah if he's ever even spoken oh. to a lawyer i don't know why i should believe that and, he absolutely and, the, has. and the thing is look i this is going to be the one thing that is going to sound so controversial to his camp there's a there's a chance that fucking Camden Gerard Davis could even be an innocent individual. Yeah. No, and I think I that's, mean, that, a that's a fucking, that's a reality that everyone has to deal with. And it's not a reality that people should put their nose up to. It's like, in a situation like this, investigate and believe everything. Because like Max did with Anthony here, he could very well be doing even the same thing. That Because that's a question that people are going to have to ask. I'm sorry, I'm thinking this right now. Because what he did with Anthony, you know, like he he framed something and, you know, fucking people believe anything. People will believe it just out of like his character 
people may just believe that this Cameron Gerard Davis guy is a fucking scumbag, but we have no idea about this guy's story. We have no idea who this guy is, where he is. We don't even know what this fucking cult is supposed to do or how it operates or what it's doing. Like, that's my concern. We have no actual idea about anything. Well, he seems to think that just because he is close personal friends with somebody, right? Like, he, is, uh, mm. he, he has a close personal relationship. He grew up with them. That we should all afford them that level of charitability. In, in a personal man-to-man basis, Muda, if we grew up together and you told me that you were assaulted in some way, shape, or form, yeah, I'm going to believe you 100 fucking percent. But as a content creator, that's not an actionable statement for me. And he seems to believe yeah. that every YouTuber should know his close personal friends and just make assumptions off of that. Those assumptions have damaged Magnetar. Those assumptions have damaged this guy. And I guess time will tell on if um, it was for a good cause or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you know, the thing is, it works the other way, too. It's like, if this guy is legitimately guilty, it's like, well, you're already ruining the fucking case, too. Because now you're turning it into, like you said, a civil suit, a defamatory situation. I mean, yeah, who the fuck is going to sit there? Because if this guy is actually guilty and these women have been through some of the most And he takes money off of them. Life, the guy who has no assets is using Mac, uh, Max's <laughs> streams and stuff that was said about him to fund a fucking yeah. civil suit that he takes their money after abusing them. Because these girls did, have money now. He's giving them the Patreon money. Like, Spencer can't claim she has no Could you fucking anymore. imagine how much of a loss that would be to feed this yeah. guy enough to take you to court to take the money you gave to these girls back? Yeah. And and listen, and I'm going to hop off because this isn't my stream and, and I said my You're piece. You're welcome to stay I'll, for as long as you want. No, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand this back to you guys. But the last thing I will say about the Camden Gerard Davis thing, though, that I think is important to consider is that, you know, they're telling the story of this, like, this massive cult, this, like, really dangerous guy who's got dozens or hundreds of victims, whatever they're claiming. My fear is that if this really is, like, a cult leader, like we know other cult leaders can be, doing all these live streams and having all of this sort of, you know, this whole circus before actually getting, like, concrete evidence out to authorities and lawyers or what have you could lead this guy to act crazy he could fucking hurt he could or kill one of the girls where... in his house if he's still doing yeah this. He, yeah if he's got people with him now he could hurt them he could hurt his family he could flee the country and that's just another person that max failed to get and Instagram, that's what's really wake scary up. About this we, we've seen shit like this before you go you go too early too public on something and then all the people involved destroy their hard drives and it's dude it's happened in the youtube space but, before but see, here's the thing what if we this has been going on for how long now who's to say that he if he had something offending that it wasn't already fucking gone you know there any, have you you said any proof or said that he's still like operating is there any word on that that's a that, hold on, that's a huge fucking point right now because he can't show us any evidence because he needs to wait for the court. So he needs to tell everybody so that guy can cover his tracks. That's another thing yeah. I haven't seen anybody say. It's fucking insane. None of this makes any sense. This guy has told... He is selling us fucking snake oil, and he's been selling us snake oil the entire time. I, I don't... Like it doesn't if, make any sense if, to me. If the lawyer tells you that, like, anything, any evidence you share could be fucking dismissed by a court of law, cool. But, like... What about alerting this man and having him already destroyed? What if what if there was actual evidence that could have been used in a serious court case that's now unable to be used? Because people don't understand. It's like you can just fucking you can degoss a drive and it's it's gone. Like that information's never gonna be fucking recovered. Right? Yep. You know, it's and all gone forever, guys. Today, like that's the problem. When we were done, I ended off Chud's stream and I actually completely disavow what I said at the end of the stream after watching all this back and after talking to everybody and kind of coming to these conclusions. I said at the mm. end, it, it all comes down to what's next and he needs to come out and make that video. I fucking completely disagree. He needs to differentiate. He needs to get out of this. He needs to get away from this case. He needs to get away from those women. He needs to help set this girl up with a friend or something and get her out of his house. He needs to be completely done. Anybody who turns around and says, we didn't even bother talking to the cops after what happened last time is not someone who's be balancing eight girls stories right now trying to figure out how to handle it okay i don't and care like, like, about anything in the past all the stuff like, in his fucking former relationships yeah. all the stuff he could have done 10 years ago right now he is eight girls lifelines who are trying well, to potentially block is he, up is a he the lifeline of eight girls though because they all went to him the apparently one. they're all telling him what to do yeah i think so they're all asking him for advice on how to proceed he's helping spencer start a podcast he's he they're all putting their information through his videos that tell everybody nothing they don't tell anybody anything three videos well, here's a, nothing here's a fact uh, i don't know if anybody on here i said i was gonna hop off i'm so sorry no keep uh, going, here's keep the going. Fact that, uh, i don't know if you all are aware of but um you know he said this in his streams that he moved spencer in he's helping like pay her bills and get her with the doctor and all that which is you know all that's you know great okay 
great to help someone out. You can question the ethics of that or what have you or conflict of interest. Yeah. But my issue is, and this is something his own subreddit is pointing out in his former fan discord is where I got this information, is that, you know, while Spencer is benefiting from this and obviously Max is in, in the way of his Patreon support or what have you, some of the other victims like Kai, for example, who's a mother, is on Facebook and different social media saying like she can't afford diapers for her kids. I saw that. Unemployed. So, so like, wasn't how... Spencer supposed to distribute the money that she had amongst these that's girls? What uh -oh. everyone was, that's one thing that people wanted an answer from Max and Spencer for and never got. So are you thinking there's like a little open pocket foundation going on here? I, I, I mean, if Spencer's not, not distributing things. the fucking money, then like that just means like yeah, she, where's that? The money? That well, how much money could they possibly have made? Uh, that's the other thing. So a month's worth of Patreon, I, I guess that, that's a lot of money, I assume. Fun. I think, doesn't he pull in like 10 Gs? So that's a lot of money. Yeah. But he said he was giving the revenue from the first video to the victims, and the first video didn't make any money. <laughs> like, it yeah, literally got, like, no views, cool. so I don't know. I know he's got a couple hundred in donations from those live streams, but I, I don't... Obviously, there, he hasn't. What people were asking for was like, can you like create a spreadsheet showing like a breakdown of the cost, like how much is going to attorneys, how much is going to each survivor? So well, on if so there's forth. one fucking thing I learned, you can't just blindly accept that the money is going where you're saying it's going. Every single time, a nice YouTuber smiles in your direction. It turns out some people are actually either fucking retarded or malicious, and I don't know which. So I, I actually, yeah, I do need a breakdown of those donations and that Patreon money and how it was distributed amongst each also, one of those girls. It, yeah, I need all that. It also really puts the fucking belief on spencer into like question and this again this is just this is what like anybody would ask in a court too it's like so far financially she has the most to gain out of all of the victims right like she's the one with the platform that's building she's the one with the the closest access to the to the pool of survivor money and also the person running the case too like i mean she, they literally live together at this moment so yeah you know Again, if this was to go to a court, right, like the civil action that they want, it's like, dude, any lawyer is going to bring that shit up. To, and this is the thing, I don't, I don't really believe that they probably even have a lawyer, just because, like, my experience with YouTubers who claim that they have lawyers, they often do shit that any fucking lawyer would tell them not to. Like, I have, like, believe having, me, I've had a lot of yeah. that in recent memory. Yeah. Anyone who's saying they're talking to lawyers or planning on lawsuits is 99% of the time bullshitting. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to, to duck out, guys. Thank you for uh, letting me on. And hey, I'm glad you guys that. were able to find yeah, some sort fun. of um, ending to this. And I'm glad I was able yep. to f uh, facilitate that in some way, shape, or form because I know this stuff was bothering you based off our call tonight. And I'm, I'm glad I was here for it. <laughs> Matt, I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you're here, buddy. I did. I don't know either. I'm just. just thank you for right in, Thanks huh? for rating me. Thank, yeah, thank you to now recording for rating my stream earlier yeah. today. No <laughs> problem, man. Have, have a good night, guys. Yeah, have a good yeah. night, Matt. You uh, have you covered any of this with like? He did today. Stuff? Yeah. Well, yeah. I covered it on my podcast now recording, and Tommy covered it yesterday, or was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday as well. I don't know, man. What's gonna happen with like this is. I don't know how this whole ends. Like he said, the last stream, it's like you guys are done. You're probably not going to see us again, dude. With the Fed investigation right now, I mean, yeah, I don't. But it's just the, no. the whole idea of like that Mega Drive and the FBI investigation have me quite on the oh, edge. Oh, Smaggle! I know I've insulted you quite a bit tonight, buddy. But can you get me that link to the FBI statement, please? The stream wants to hear it. Um, that, oh wait, dude, here's the clip of Max saying it. Unfortunately. Colton has the groundbreaking journalism. Um, well, you're this is I got it. I got it, chat. Let me just screen share this. Uh, I don't know if I need to show stream the clip. It's just a. It's from the podcast, so it's just Spencer's face. Oh, you can see it. Cool. Got it. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. And meanwhile, you're over here getting investigated because you tried to expo expose a predator. Like. How does that make sense? And, you know, after you told me that you were being investigated, I, that, that just blows my mind. I literally got a card. I literally got a card on my, on my front, front fence, fence from the FBI. Uh, Dude, I don't believe that then. What the f That's some overdrawn. What FBI agent just leaves you your f card? If you're being investigated, they're just going to 
follow you and so yeah, why would they tell you they're investigate why would the feds tell yeah. do they have to disclose that, that you're being investigated is that a thing yeah they're gonna they're, they're gonna have to send you uh some receipt and then they're gonna have to have a first interview with you for sure is it possible that the FBI officer just wanted to get in touch with him about one of his cases? Well, yeah, it's like just leading. A, wait, leaving a card is one thing. I don't know if you know this, yeah. but a friend of ours has been investigated by the FBI before. Um, mm-hmm. Turkey Tom. The, oh, really? He was investigated yeah. by the FBI because I think he made a joke about a school shooting and they went to his house or something. It was something like that. Something retarded when he was a little kid. But, like, the yeah. FBI came to his house or whatever. And, yeah, he had an interview with an FBI agent. Why would Max be being interviewed? But he's not being interviewed. He just had the guy leave their – here's my card. Call me why, if you want wait, to Wait, why isn't a into, federal uh, agent just leaving their card? That's not even adequate identification that they're a fucking federal agent. They would just show up, present their fucking badge, tell them that, you know, they're from the FBI and they're here investigating so-and-so. They wouldn't just leave a car. That's such a nonsensical <laughs> fucking statement to hear. Well, let's get to the rest of this. Ten more seconds. What? No. Interesting. Right. My front fence from the FBI. Um, they didn't even bother to contacting you. No. Interesting. That blows my mind. Mm-hmm. Wow. They were willing to come to my house and leave a car on my front fence. And Do you think someone's just sound like, I don't want to sound like one of those like retarded like fucking body like uh identi- like language experts, but even she wasn't believing that at the end of it. She was like, "What?" Do you think? <laughs> Hold like, on a minute. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, do you think it's possible that like someone's just fucking with him and they put something on his lawn? I mean, probably. Like, if fuck, that's, that like, seems if more could plausible. Be true, like, yeah, that, like he generally thinks like the FBI was like, "Hey guys, listen." We're gonna be over at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time during the Tommy C stream, and we're gonna review your. Yeah, I think you might just be getting fucking trolled, though. Yeah. If that's even. Just never showed up, but they're investigating me. That's so fucking stupid. Unless like he's obfuscating some facts or something, and we have no fucking idea. But like. I mean, he's the master of his own situation. You can't know anything about Max because he doesn't tell anybody anything. Yeah. That's what I, I've learned I, so far. I've learned nothing. I don't know anything. I've done. I, now we can we can key up totals. Four and a half hours the first stream. We've done about five hours on this stream, and I don't know geez. a single fucking thing about Camden Gerard Davis besides his name, and that he's, he's a black. And he, he yeah, <laughs> I know that he's he's black and he's a vampire. That's all no, he's I a know. werewolf. <laughs> he's and a you, werewolf uh, who talks to God. So people like who confirmed that uh, he had a fucking drivers like what was it like a speeding ticket or some shit or like a so somebody researched into into cam into camden gerard davis and said that i who was it does anyone know matt do you know who it was who, uh it was like I, one of the, us right the one Jessica the first Pizzle? tweet i saw was eva eva was no eva, eva edwin's form i oh, she, she hates being called that uh but someone <laughs> who, uh she's not edwin's former mod she's xylee's current co-host on the broadcast is that better yeah there you go okay That's better. cool <laughs> Uh, Eva fucking apparently researched Camden Gerard and found that he was recently um, given a speeding ticket of some kind or something like that. It, it, it was a a road related incident and it was proof of life is what I was told. Yeah. They should like, man, we, we need to, we need to have Camden Gerard Davis on the fucking stream. We need to have the other side. <laughs> well you know who wants to talk to camden gerard davis is max max wants to interview camden gerard davis but tommy's a pedophile because he's spoken to Vito on stream yeah it's just so fucking crazy <laughs> you, know, you know what at this point i'm down to pay for a fucking pi in georgia to like find who the fuck like camden gerard davis like find this guy and then i'm gonna be like hey listen i just want to have i just want to have a talk i just want to talk to you about your side well like, what do you think the uh, ramifications should be if this stuff doesn't check out for Max? For Max? Yeah. Oh, bro, he should be fucking. If if Max is if Max is one hundred percent a liar about this guy, I I do I'm fucking pay for that dude's defamation case, bro. <laughs> There's there is no fucking retribution here. I'd be so fucking mad at this point, dude. I'll, I'll just be like, listen, Camden, I'll write you a blank fucking check. You find the you find. Johnny Cochran of defamation lawsuits if you fucking go after him, dude. Because this is not fucking cool at all. Because, like, here's the thing. There could be a good chance that that's the case, man. We have no idea about this guy's side. Dude, just think about how insane some of the evidence is, right? Like, so, Kicks just pregnant logistically, women. how many victims has this guy apparently had? Hundreds. 
hundreds, right? Hundreds. So these girls, so for instance, Boys and some, girls. Of these girls, some of these girls went from Texas, the state of Texas, to the state of Georgia, right? Yep. So where the fuck is the Greyhound ticket for it? Where the fuck is the receipt for travel? Like, motherfucker, we didn't just teleport there, did we? Yeah, that's another. Like, this guy doesn't. This guy doesn't have the money. This guy doesn't have the money. To, where's the receipt for travel? Where's the receipt for anything? Like, there's got to be a lot of evidence that shows that people have went from the state of Texas to the state of fucking like Georgia, wherever in the United States. So there, there's a lot of things that this is why like law enforcement agencies don't usually take this seriously because for these people like they tell them it's like I've got this so and so rape kit done but like they're probably gonna ask you it's like well where the fuck are hospital records for potential miscarriages where the fuck are like you know uh, where, where's travel documentation for buses or airfare or whatever you would have taken right maybe you had a car like there's got to be a gas receipt or something like there's and that's the type like, of thing like. I don't expect them to provide medical records to YouTube showing that there were miscarriages on XYZ date. You know what that would be? Oh, can you sign an NDA to go look through some of the more sensitive information that isn't for YouTube? But we never got mm -hmm. the baseline information. The Basically yeah. what we're getting is the YouTube information for an NDA. I'm assuming that's the case, Muda, tell me if I'm wrong. Is we're getting what you'd normally expect to be in a YouTube video, but the majority of the sensitive information doesn't seem to really exist. I, I don't think I've seen anything that's overly sensitive, no. So it's like, I don't really... I, no one can help him because he doesn't let anyone help him. So I don't know what to do. Like, how, how do we... I think the, the only evidence that I've seen is, isn't there a picture of Spen uh, Spencer and uh, Camden on a couch or something sitting next to each other when yeah. Spencer's like a little younger? That's the that's only the thing most, I've really yeah. seen. That's literally but it. But now, now I wonder, it's like, how can you prove that image was taken in the state of Georgia or the state of Texas? Did Camden show up? Like... Is it There's his house? Like, where is his house? Question, right? like, Shouldn't they yeah. have an address on him? Did he move? Like, I mean, she lived there, right? Didn't she? Did she know the address? I mean, if she went to the place, then she should have a rough idea of the address. Or, um, do they? Do they know the city he lives in? Do they ever give away the city? Well, I mean, they have to. She lived there. She lived yeah, in his I mean, house. She's supposedly. gonna have to know the city and everything. So, and again, it's like maybe like how old was she? Like she was, she was a minor, but. People are saying, yeah, there's evidence that they dated when she was 16 or 17 and he was 18 or 19. That's another whole bag of worms that no one's ready to discuss either. Man. That's another uh, massive bag of worms that no one wants to open up. But... They did give the city in that live stream. In, in which live stream? In yeah, the, in which in live one? stream? Why is it not in the video? Why did I watch three videos? do a four hour live stream, sit here and do another five hour live stream. And I have to ask chat this information. My like the average normal human being who is covering this case would never have this information. If I showed this to my mom, she would have clicked off before the third hour. She would have clicked off before the 30th minute. None of this would have helped us at all whatsoever. I, I'm just, I, I, like, when it comes to an investigation, I, and this is why, like, my videos end up being, like, that long, is because I kind of show the whole, like, ironclad proof. Like, if we're going to show about, tra if we're going to prove human trafficking, right, like, child trafficking. Um, by the way, the way that Max shows, or, like, a lot of these documentarians will show it, is it's very, like, Hollywood-esque, you know? Like, it's very evil and dark and everything. All you really have to prove a case about human trafficking or child trafficking... Is, is if like... they had sex cr after crossing state lines, right? Yeah, exactly. That's literally like, it. So did the That's child the cross state lines, so you show the fucking bus airfare, like, oh, they took a... That's the over. thing! That's all they need! Yeah. Because she claims to have crossed state lines to start a relationship. That's it. Like, if you showed me that you went from the state of Texas to the state of Georgia... But is it possible that the reason it wasn't taken seriously years ago is because the age gap was, like, two fucking years? And they, like, yeah, you crossed state lines, and then they didn't want to prosecute it because it was such a same... It's, like, a close-in-age exception. I mean, like, I feel like a cop might be able to better describe that, somebody operating with, the with like... Because I assume cops probably deal with that more often than we think. Um, it's two, three, but, f potentially four years, right? If the age yeah. gap is at its widest, so just to be charitable, because yeah. people get on my ass about that. Well, like, I assume maybe the cops were like, hey, do you have any, like, information where this girl's from? Like, you know, even, even like, okay, even if you have, like, an ID or something, and I don't know, she, 
the the story needs to be explained better. Like what needs to be explained is like how she got in touch with these people. Like how or not these people, but like Camden, like how she even got into this cult. Like, do you know the name of the cult at all? No, it's the Vampire Werewolf Blackula cult. There you go. That that that's a that's all the that's a, me and you are on the same fucking page here. <laughs> we've looked into this more than everyone else, and we still don't even know what the fuck the cult name is. So we have no idea what the fuck is going on there. We don't know what the, the barrier to entry to understanding Slimy the story is absurd. Fuck. It is not normal. No, no. It, it, the The whole thing is like the only thing close to my information about the cult is some like offhand Facebook messenger, um, not Facebook messenger, but like the Facebook like the page, like a like a fucking business page or something for like a werewolf group, and that's it. That that's that's just me like loosely. I couldn't even tell you the name of what I read there because it's just so unimportant, it's ridiculous, like it's just so haphazardly presented in the story. Yeah. Um. But there is no, there is nothing that indicatively hits in this situation, and that's really where the fuck we're at right now. Um. Max, if you're watching this, and I have to imagine you are, you've made a very, very, very poor documentary of this whole situation and if anything these girls when their case isn't going to be taken seriously once again there's a good chance it won't be very good chance that's 100 percent entirely on you and you can't shift the blame to anybody else we've only said what we what what realistically isn't even shocking information to be saying you know? yeah somebody said it's the archaic moon pack Archaic no, moon. It's, it's not a cult. It's a pack of wolves or something. So Vex, giving all this info, basically having no info, uh, is he regretting being involved? I don't think Mood is involved. I think Mood's involvement not, is that I'm he not reached out in this to entire situation. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Mood is involved in the situation. Yeah. I don't think he's gone out of his way to say that Camden Gerard Davis is a fucking pedo or anything. I think no. I like. I, like I said, he's I made the mistake of like, stepping in and reaching out to a friend, and the friend trying to use that publicly to use that as credibility that Muda never gave him. Yeah, my thing is, like, when he says my name, it's like, I reviewed the evidence. It's like, I never said the evidence was good evidence. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even say much in that server, and I actually left that server entirely today because of the mega upload, like, the, the mega box. Because I'm like, I don't want a situation where I'm potentially in the same Discord chat actively as, you know, because... Who knows what happens, what information gets posted, right? Because it's evident this uh, whole investigation is done in such a poor way. I'm already checked out, and I have no interest in, in putting my time or energy into this more than I've already had. Like, this is not something that I feel any comfortable in doing so. And I'm the more and more Max screws up day by day, the more and more I'm inclined to believe that maybe this is a situation where um, Camden Gerard Davis might be more of an innocent party than I expected. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I know what you mean. You know. But we'll have to <sighs> see, man. We really do have to see. And luckily, unlike Max, we're not gonna be, we're not just turning around and being like, "You gotta believe everything I say." And saying like, oh yeah, it's so he's probably fucking because no, we don't know anything. We just want to know more. No one will give us any information. It's really annoying. I just want I just want a cool documentary with like all those cool filmmaking stuff. You know, that's all I want. I want I want to be. In, in, I don't want that anymore. I thought I wanted that today. I don't <laughs> want it. I, no, I don't want I don't want a video from him. I don't want anything from him. I want him to hand this off to a fucking journalist. As much as I hate journalists, I don't want him involved anymore. I think Dude, he's just, he's fucked this story up, actually and it can't be fixed. I, got, I was thinking there's got to be like a story about a vampire, like some dude pretending to be a vampire who was grooming minors. It, that's had to happen before. I'm sure there's like a journalist out there that's covered that sort of story that would be interested in something like that. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the thing about it is like, this is a wild story, if true. All right. And what I don't understand is like why we needed to have every other creator make a PSA when just the whole dude, just the title of vampire cultist, like human trafficker is already enough to hit every clickbait fucking formula on YouTube. It would work. It would slap. People would watch it. It's not like people haven't watched Max's stuff on YouTube yeah, before I've, I've been saying and, this, yeah, dude. and covered it. Yeah. You know, but like why? And this is the thing. If you actually have the sufficient evidence in the storyline, and I told this to him a month before yesterday, 
I was like, dude, you have the you have the evidence. You say if you have enough evidence to say this man is a fucking pedophile, you have enough evidence to make a video. Otherwise, the evidence doesn't fucking exist. If you're if you're just blatantly still saying this guy is a pedo without presenting any of the facts. Yep. And maybe he does have a fucking video down the pipeline. Maybe it'll come out. It should have come out a month ago, and it should have fucking banged. It should have. It should have exposed this person for the scumbag that he's claiming they are. Uh, until then, he can't, in all good seriousness, expect any YouTube friend to just stick their neck out legally and ethically and call somebody a, a fucking pedo. If this guy isn't a pedo, like you know, the worst part about the situation is like, imagine if this guy is like really mentally unhinged. And he sees all of this fucking backlash constantly hitting him, right? Mm -hmm. What if he takes his own fucking life or does something stupid or takes somebody else's life or does something wild? Like, dude, do you not... Is there no ethical, like, fucking, like, thought about this? Like, is there no, like... You gotta be careful with shit like this, man. Why? Well, here's really another thing. What if his, what if Camden's mother takes her life? What if Camden's brother takes her life? I'm sure they're getting exactly. bombed right now. Yeah, yeah like... They, they he doesn't like throw free. these names in there because it's like a shot in the dark. He throw these names in there because he knows his audience is militant enough to do something about it. He's done it before. Yeah, he's done it before. He'll continue to do it. The stuff that was written in Tommy's comment section years ago, not years ago, a year ago now, was fucking disgusting. It was awful. Yeah. I have, now imagine telling everyone that you're like the mother of a pedophile. What that audience would do. I, I normally I don't say you're responsible for your audience unless you weaponize them. In this case, I think he does. And he justifies I, I it by saying that there's a pedophile in his family. And he won't provide any evidence to, to justify that, that claim. But he's like, yeah, well, I got to give it to his mother because his mother is a fucking mother of a pedophile. Okay. I mean, look at what look at what Magnetar has said about him. After that shit happened, like he had people uh, posting his house and going after him and all like all kinds of crazy shit for like two months. Well, what, what, yeah. what Max is doing here is what was criticized of many commentary channels. I'm sure, Muda, you've heard this about you. Oh, I was doxxed after Muda made a video talking about something I was tangentially tied to. It's not fucking that wouldn't be on me. That wouldn't be on you. That wouldn't be on Matt. But when you're like mm -hmm. operating your fucking audience as a militant group, si sicking them on people's mothers, it's a bit of a different story. You know what I mean? Yeah. The mother didn't fucking yeah. molest a child. Mother's not even being accused of that. Not even Max is telling us to believe that. So I don't understand that at all. Yeah. yeah. There's literally there's literally a clip on one of his videos about this guy Pablo Sunny, and I guess Pablo Sunny had run off to be with his father, and he shows. Uh, Pablo Sonny's father's full name in his face and basically implicates Pablo Sonny's father as being as worse or uh, on the same level as Pablo Sonny just because he's his father. Oh. It's fucking insane. You created this pedophile. There, yeah. Die the pedophile you love. And, and or live the, to be considered worse too, than like one he, on my video. He's out there like basically like putting this guy and, and this is where lyrics had a good thing. He's like puts this guy's first and last name and he'll say that this is not PII. Why does he block out names from his actual investigations? Because he know, knows like... it's wrong and he doesn't care. Exactly. He doesn't care. 100%. Exactly. Fuck. It's a... But he only cares it's now because it's affected one of his specific victims. So now we have to literally, like, go on. A... He has to give a complete hypocrisy fucking take to get this thing taken down because he realizes he the stream that he, everyone told him was a bad idea ended up fucking them in multiple mm -hmm. ways. And he for some reason thought it was a good idea to bring on people to debate when he had a person whose discord name was PII you know yeah no he it's just like it's just like I cannot believe he's being this genuinely like stupid with this platform it's just I don't understand I don't and that's I, another I, thing I, I'm sorry so he put on text saying find him you like, know. as if, and if YouTube took that video down, God, we would be sitting through another year of, and I'm sure people would fucking help him because they think YouTube is the worst fucking thing on the planet and they could justify any act against them because they've taken videos down, including videos of my own this week. But like, if he, if that video went down because he said, find them and dox the guy's mother, God forbid if the fucking video went down over that fucking thing. It would be like a YouTube thing, YouTube protecting pedophiles, and we would all have to sit here and pretend he didn't fucking read his mother's name and write find him directly in the video. Yeah. And everyone he... would be justifying why that's morally correct, 
or whatever. That's what they've been doing for years. So, yeah. okay. uh, Smaggle wanted me to say I was talking about Pablo Sunny. That uh, Nick, that's the guy when uh, Max uh, went on your podcast on Half Bake. That's the guy that they said they caught, mm-hmm. but they didn't. He didn't. I don't think he's in prison. He never went to prison or anything. So like he just that. straight up lied on the podcast. I don't have the clip think- in front of me, so I didn't really discuss it further. And I, but like are you saying that he like lied? I I think so. I think uh I think he like I, I either lied or tried to twist something. Maybe he uh, got that arrested nature. and he took that as like the same thing. Yeah, something like as that. A yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think he might have got stopped in Canada or something by the cops for a little bit and then dipped out. And he's and just now the... back on the prowl, like every fucking pedo hunter's targets. Pedophile hunter should be synonymous with the term like pedophile police evader (laughs) i think that like again i i spent a lengthy segment bashing alex rosen for mishandling the edp 445 situation i do think the majority of these people are creating more problems than than solutions and i have for a while that's why i don't understand why he reaches out to me to ask yeah he said he escaped to Mexico and now has no idea where they are. Oh well, good. A whole new, a whole new place to go. You know, a whole new pe, all new people to meet in Mexico, starting over. <laughs> all right, boys, I gotta head out. All right, Muda, thank you so much for coming on tonight to discuss this with yeah. me. I appreciate it. Must not yeah, have been a. Uh, uh super fun to get wrapped up in some of this stuff recently, but I'm sure the clarifications Boy, I'm, have I'm helped. Just, I'm just here. I'm glad that I get some place to say where i don't co-sign on anything max has done with this investigation so far and i'm a little offended actually that he's been using me as some sort of legitimacy fucking you know rod or something to back his evidence that's not cool at all and uh if i don't make a video on something there's probably a pretty good reason why okay that's all i'm gonna put out but ladies and gentlemen thank you uh even for not only know. that but i'm gonna fashion yeah, him here too yeah, yeah. Uh, Colton is like crying. literally yeah. fucking to earlier to said i'm losing with to max. i don't know if you're willing to add him on discord but i'm not gonna i thought you were ignoring him he's been in the chat I, I know he's so <laughs> fucking annoying like i'm gonna stop my whole yeah. stream to get you Bro, he like disappeared for like i can a just month? dm you i can just dm mudo after the stream i don't have to ask him verbally on the call because i'm fucking chat tard asked me for it Oh. What what are the, what does Colton want to know? Colton, what do you want? Please, stop, let's stop the whole stream. What do you want, Colton? What's so fucking important? He says he has info. He has info. Info about I can forward it to I him, I guess. I don't get it. He disappeared for like a month and now he's like back again. I don't I don't understand it. Like what is the info of? Oh, he asked about I want to go over what he saw after signing the NDA. What Colton Oh, he wants to is talk this, about the this NDA, NDA isn't shit. even really enforced. Yeah, it's a fucking though. Discord like, message. I signed my NDA on a DualSense controller uh, thing. Are you kidding me? I signed mine on a fucking uh, on like the t- the t- the tips for your recent um, DualSense controller purchase, and I sent it back to him. Oh, I don't know. All right, Muda said he's going though. I'm not fucking bringing Colton in to talk to him. I don't care. <laughs> I it's, I do not care. <laughs> Alright guys, take care. There Have go, a good buddy. one, buddy. Alright, let it go. Uh, he had his chance. He, I, my what, big what? question, like, I, maybe I'm fucking retarded here. I don't know. You can just tell me. Why would Colton ask me publicly to ask Mudahar if they can discuss the terms of something he's bound to NDA on? It's such a yeah, stupid I, question. Why would he ask me that? By the way, this is the person who's like demolishing Max on stream. That just like I just want to draw into attention that Colton is giving me a headache right now, and he's and Max had met his match um, with this kid. <laughs> How else do I reach out to him? <laughs> Ask me when I'm offline, and I can get you in touch with him. Why are you asking me publicly through my stream chat and fucking having people spam me about it? Uh, can we? You literally. He wrote in the chat. And by the way, you guys kept asking me to talk about Colton, and he wrote in the chat at one point, and I noticed it. He said, guys, I don't want to call in. I want to talk to Muda alone privately. And everyone's spamming me. Get Colton on. Get Colton on. Get Colton on. Oh, God. Fuck yeah. me. Uh, you never answer my message. You're just because I'm trying to run a stream. I'm trying to fucking stream, Colton. <laughs> it's mad. It's mad. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. I'm not adding, I'm not adding you on. I'm not putting him in. I'm not doing it. Oh God! I never went on. That's not my fault. Well, that's that's my chatter's fault. I blame chat. Uh, say hi to Matt from a drunk German caller from Gotcha Simp. 
Oh, guys, we I have gotcha. one more thing to do in this six hour live stream. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, we're probably going to be re-uploading this bad boy because I got to remove one little thing I said that's going to get me dinged or taken down. Um, but that's probably the only thing. It should be a fast upload. I can probably get it. Uh, real, uh, real quick. Uh, I got a DM of the, the clip from Half Big Podcast. Oh, we can, uh, you want to watch that real yeah. fast, just so we've yeah, 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 just so we've watched it, uh, just so we add it on to the list of things we've seen. Um, because yep. I have just been diving deep. I have it. I think uh, Magnetar sent it to me. I think. Well, there is a cut of it. I think. I don't know if you got the, you got the same thing. Probably. What was what, what is yeah. your? Oh, somebody clipped it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, somebody. Oh, wow. Thanks, asshole. So I didn't even get the ad revenue and you stole my podcast. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy to cover this drama story. Uh, oh, I don't even get the ad rev from this fucking clip. Great. Thanks. Okay. Um. So are you seeing that now? Is that on your screen? Yeah. I'm just yes. kidding, of course. I don't care that you clipped yeah. two minutes of the podcast, but let's check this out. <laughs> yeah. What was yeah, what, what oh, did... the person who said that Chud Logic was really mad at me? That's what a joke sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> your your primary goal is that then? There's no. What's your other? Um... Well, well, well. I guess the question is like that. The next getting at is like, okay, so you want to enact this change? What do you hope is the eventual result of your video? Okay. Of all this. So I know there's people out there saying I'm doing it to self-serve. I just want my video back up. I don't give a shit if my video comes back up. Oh, sorry, it did yeah. what it needed to do. Uh, the rapist stuff. that was in the video is per currently in police custody. And it was, was that as a result of your video? Okay, so he didn't say that he got him in jail. He said he's currently in police custody. So that could still technically be true, right? Yeah, sure. I, I, I guess so. But, that doesn't necessarily uh, mean he's lied. If he's been arrested, but was he currently in police custody arrested. at that? Yeah, uh, yeah, that could be a lie. But I'm saying people are telling me that he said he sent a pedophile to jail. Yeah. Um. Wait, he did the podcast with a voice modulator. Apparently, yeah, he did. That's. I mentioned this on Chud's thing today. Chud was like, Nick, we know this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> or was yes. that prior to the video yes it was because okay. of the video right. the video was about imvu and this one predator i made it about him and him alone imvu is a game right you yes. played the game and you exposed this guy yes do you mind walking me through the chain of events that led from your video to him being imprisoned yeah so i oh. dropped the video all right this uh, is very okay hold on this is maybe this is why they were talking about it okay the end of the video is a call to action. Usually all my videos are a call to action, like find him. And we did. So in this case, find Again, him. Again, find him. I have no idea why this was taken. Meant like you didn't know who okay. he was. You wanted his doc so he could go to jail. We had his, we, all we had was his face and his voice. Right. And out of that, I said, find him. And then within 24 hours, we found him. And then I started social engineering all of his friends to give me his information. And they did. And then we. And it's like I don't care if you wrote find him to find a pedophile who's actually guilty and you got him, but like mm -hmm. there's a huge margin of error for that. And even if I care, like even even if I don't care, YouTube still does, and that's not like a a moral issue. YouTube does not allow people to call to action and have people fucking hunted down on their site for sport. That's not something yeah. they're going to allow. Like it's, and they're not going to make a special case for pedophiles or something like that specifically, no matter how much you ask or whatever, or say they just love to rape children or something like that. And it's right. not like a crazy thing for a platform to not have a specific policy in place for that. I, I don't yeah. know. I, I don't know a single platform that would let you hunt a fucking pedophile on the site because there's such a huge margin of error in YouTubers doing that. Well, content. yeah. Have you ever, do you ever seen that documentary, uh, Don't Fuck With Cats on Netflix? No. The, it's about um a, a dude abusing cats, right? And yeah. these internet sleuths are going up trying to find these people that are abusing cats. They find the wrong guy. They mistake him for a cat abuser. And this happens and the dude like gets, every week yeah, on YouTube. The dude got so harassed. I'm pretty. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I watched this. The dude got harassed so much he killed himself. I think that's yeah. what happened. So yeah. No, like, it's it's like the, it's the reason why these these rules exist isn't to protect pedophiles. It's to protect people from retarded YouTubers who fuck up pedophile investigations because that is much more common than people who do yeah. this for money getting actual pedophiles. Yeah. Look on YouTube. How many fucking abuse allegations that have been done on these major celebrities and stuff turn out to be true in comparison to how many insane public fake stories happen per year? I everyone likes to talk about this say like women don't lie, Nick. 
women don't lie. And for the most part, in real life, that's probably true. I, I bet or if I was talking internet. to somebody I know IRL, in a, this case, that's kind of what Max is going through, I would tend to believe those people more. But if you're looking for an entire profession where people would be likely to lie about yeah. abuse allegations, it would be this one. This is the yeah. profession where you would see this yeah. mostly. Yeah. Celebrities, YouTubers, social media influencers, that would be like the most common scenario where you would find someone potentially lying about their abuse story. A hundred fucking percent. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. But, um, yeah, let's listen to the rest of this. He right. pegged him. He fled to Mexico. What? We found what? Well, did he say he pegged him? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what did we do? I don't know. He what? <laughs> Chat, what? He, 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 he what? He, he did what? <laughs> he what? <laughs> we... Rape the pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nation, and they did. And then he started social engineering all of his friends to give me his information, and they did. And then we pegged him. He played <laughs> the next. <laughs> what? The you know what's funny? That's it. Hold uh, on. Let me get the timestamp. Oh, oh my god. Wait. Timestamp. 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 Um, where is the. No, that's not the right one. Timestamp. Timestamp. Where is my fucking window? Holy shit. It is, guys, six hour mark exactly. <laughs> That's my first laugh of this story. Uh, oh my God. That was the first funny thing that happened outside of a joke that I told. Oh, uh, finally. It, dude, it took six hours, but I finally found something funny. Holy <laughs> fuck, we've done it, chat. We finally found a funny thing. Oh, it, now it's all worth it, right? Yeah, I think, so. I think we so. found where he was in Mexico. Wow. Um, I don't know if it if the police he was from Canada, so I don't know oh, if so the police he got asked him to come all back. terrible people are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't I, know if the police asked him to come back or he went on his own volition or they forced him to come back. I don't know any of those details. I just know. So he's back in. He Canada. went back to Canada and was in police custody for a certain amount of time. Wait, wait a minute. So he doesn't even say he's been arrested. Like, he, he says that he was in police custody for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Okay, now what does he say here? Try to contact Global News to catch Zach. This is my Vancouver news station. Thank you, Angela. I think he's in the Philippines. Pretty sure that's where we tagged him. You, uh, what about my case has you super focused on it? Oh, what about your case? Yeah. I want, so, I'm so sick of having predators that run away like Pablo Sonny and we we don't get them I Here's am the problem mm. I don't think he lied here okay I don't know for a matter of fact that he wasn't in police custody at the time of that recording it's very possible he was unless we know for a matter of fact that he wasn't I don't think he lied here he might have okay. been in police custody it just turns out he escaped and then he left and people are using that as a success story and it's not a success story the pedophile escaped if he was a pedophile am I no, wrong fair, I mean fair enough no, fair enough. Uh, do you think he, like there's a po like a possibility that he may have embellished it on the podcast to make it seem like it was like a big deal, but it might maybe have just it was been, a like, big a deal for him at the time. He thought, oh, he's in he's in police custody. This is it. We got him. Yeah. They extra. I mean, if he was extradited from Mexico to Canada, I wouldn't blame him for thinking he got him. You know? Right, right. And yeah. then it turned out they didn't get him. Is that? I mean, is anyone yeah, here no, saying it's enough. a success right. story is lying? Yeah, a hundred percent. It's not a success yeah. story. That's true. Saying that as a success story would be a lie. But to say that he like he's lying about the entire process and he lied on the podcast, I don't know if he lied on the podcast. Um, yeah, that's a failure to get the job done, getting overconfident. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. It very much could be that. Uh, are you driving a Defender? I think this is this not a G-Wagon? Does it say? I know this is a collab. Uh, what is this? Maybe it's not a collab. I could have sworn it's a... I don't know. There's no marking on it, but I'm pretty sure it's a collab item. Chat, does anyone know what car this is? It's definitely a G-Wagon. Yeah, it's a G-Wagon. It's a Subaru? I don't know what a G-Wagon is. I've just seen YouTubers buy it. You guys remember McSkillet? He had a cool car. Do you remember McSkillet? No, I do not. Uh, do you, that does look like a G-Wagon. Do you like his car reviews? No, <laughs> I'm not a big you never uh, watched, car review guy. You never watched McSkillet's car reviews? No, I did not. Fuck, dude. A McLaren 570. If you had a McLaren 570, would you have driven like McSkillet? I'm um, probably, maybe. You would have. <laughs> okay, I imagine so. Yeah, he killed a family of two. What? 
Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so uh, you set me up. So what, what happened fuck? was. So what happened to McSkillet? <laughs> That's the guy who drove into the train. Hold on, guys. Right? We have to quickly. So this is not a. Uh, <laughs> No, it's not a rape review. Uh, so what happened was um, he was into CSGO gambling or something, and they caught yeah. his account while he had like hundreds of thousands of dollars of skins in his account, and they banned it, meaning they took all of his money. Um, and then what happened was McSkillet, and by the way, I would much rather be talking about McSkillet right now than anything in this fucking story. There will not be a <laughs> three. I don't care if Muda says we need to investigate the other stuff. I'm not doing it. Uh, sorry, I'm not doing it. Not on my stream. We've just we we were doing like close to ten hours on this fucking subject. Never again. Never do another <laughs> stream on this. I don't care if it's the highest viewership I ever got. I'm clap chasing something else. Okay, no fucking chance. I'm doing this fucking subject again. But so back to McSkillet. Um, and we will finish off the stream after this, and I'll leave Matt to uh, do his stuff. But um, with McSkillet, he um, yeah his his CS:GO skin thing library was like destroyed. So he did what any normal man would do: is he got in his McLaren, drove through his local elementary school walls or not walls, um, fences or whatever, uh, flew out onto the road, drove the McLaren down the uh, the highway, the wrong side of the road, and plowed right into a family of three or something. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Okay. He did not survive. Holy shit. I thought you were gonna say he like drove into a train or something. Wasn't no, there like a YouTuber? No, there's like so who... many funny memes about McSkillet. Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can find a McSkillet car review. Wait, let me look for this. Uh, McSkillet car. Review. He's like a meme because he's like retarded and he's like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, McSkillet car reveal. Wait, apparently someone got the car crash on video five years ago. I've never seen that before. Um, Holy shit. Let me see. YouTube star McSkillet. Someone did a fucking video last year. The murderous rampage of McSkillet. Jesus. <laughs> McSkillet dies in a car crash. But Captain Sparkles made a video on this. Uh, did you see the police report filed against Camden that was found? No, I did not. Uh, parents. Oh, that, that's that's actually the sad part. His parents tried to have him committed. Oh, jeez. Uh, dude. Mental health is not taken seriously in our country. Mm, that made me sad reading that. <laughs> no, I was joking about McSkillet and that made me sad. All right, no more McSkillet jokes for the next uh, all Maybe tomorrow. Um, all right, well, I'll let you go, Matt. I'm not really sure how, why you're here, but um, it was nice to have you while you were. Thanks for having me on. Okay, buddy. Let's Adios. finish this thing off. Good night, guys. <laughs> uh, all right, we got one more major thing left and then i think i'm done ever talking about mama max ever again ever ever don't subscribe for more except you'll be able to watch this vod so you should sub for that in case you're still curious the model looks loosely based on the suzuki jimini okay of course captain sparkles made a video his iconic car is the mclaren jesus christ there will not be a mclaren trilogy all right uh can you watch tnmt um Hold on, let me pull up. The, where's the Chud stream? Is this still here? Mama Max hates pedophiles. Yeah, this is the one. This is what we're watching. This is what we're finishing off the night on. Dear God, Nick is still going after six hours. Yeah, shoot me. Uh, in Minecraft, of course. Fuck, I have to remove that from the VOD. God damn it. Um, I gotta remember that. Six hours, 15 minutes, guys. We gotta remember to take that out of the VOD. Holy fuck, am I tired. Okay. Um... Okay, I'll stay. LMAO. Oh, yeah, thank you for staying. Star Lord, thank you for staying. Guys, quickly, viewer activity. I forgot we got some subs and donos. Thank you so much uh, for making this stream possible for the people fuck. who are chilling. Uh, we have, we still have like fucking 1,300 people watching right now, which is insane. But the draw for the stream has been fucking crazy. I hope you guys found some of it worth it and watched my descent into madness making you happy. Um where are we all right strictly patrick imagine thinking you're good at what you do looking at the mirror and seeing the soulless sad looking imp looking back at you thanks for the five confusing opinion thanks for the gift strictly patrick imagine calling the police and fbi versus making a video on whoever did this is a loser thank you so much strictly patrick uh somebody thank Not you for the gifted. That, but i'm gonna fat shame here too this fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said i'm oozing norma normie estrogen. thank you for the 10 it's been a while since i got to catch a stream nice to see you on youtube nick himbleton the puppy stomp clip is in the uncensored video nick thanks for the two zombie chick with two eva found the most recent record on camden lance sent 
Uh, $5. Hundreds of victims could already be arguing defamation if he's guilty in one of the... Wait. Hundreds of victims, parentheses, could also already be argued as defamation even if he's guilty of just one of the crimes. Yeah, maybe. Somebody, thanks for the gifted. Captain Poofers saying it's Joe versus Ali versus Max. I haven't seen an assault that bad since Nick versus John Swan. Ouch. Uh, Joe Omega, thank you for the five. Nah, you gotta pull... Uh, an Ico and do 10 more eight hour streams on the subject. No. Stump Dad, thank you for becoming a new member. Confusing opinion, thank you for the five. Six hours and 10 minutes later, we still don't know who Camden Gerard Davis is. Oh, guys, I appreciate the generosity Slimey, tonight. Thank you for all the new memberships. Uh, I believe that last one that just popped up was Stump Dad. And Confusing Opinion just caught one at the very end there. Uh, wait, did he just send another one? Six out. Is that not the same? Super chat. Oh, it's the same one coming up twice. Uh, thank you for being here for my work day, Nick. Love you. Very, very homo. Thank you, Connor Sween. Uh, that was a fiver. And then another 10 from Brother Near. My main takeaway from this is this controversy wouldn't have happened if Max kept his mouth shut and prioritized on getting the documentary out ASAP with all concrete evidence on the street. We would have nothing to discuss. There would be no anti Max videos circulating. Uh, if you just made the documentary correctly the first time or stopped doing the live streams. Thank you, somebody, for gifting another membership. Guys, if you got a new membership from any of the people gifting, please thank them. They're Not the only that, but I'm going to fat economy. shame here, too. This fat piece um, of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. It's funny. I've been doing three streams back, and revenue looked down, and then I looked how much money in memberships that I made. As soon as memberships came in, um, revenue has basically switched to that. It's the way that um, streamers... It's, it's the same thing for, like, Twitch stream now. It, it's kind of similar. Whereas uh, direct super chats are not as prioritized because gifted members are so much more. That's pretty cool. Um, he's too performative to be taken seriously. I do think to a degree that's true. All right, let's get through this. Uh, back to where we were. Okay, come it was on. just me and Chud getting some good riffs on, going back and forth on this. Um, by the way, I, I'm going to hit up Mudahar. Fuck. I'm glad that thing went well towards the end there. I got a little nervous for a minute, I'm going to be honest. I... Look, I'm not in here trying to make Muda look bad or anything, uh, and I'm really glad that that situation wrapped up the way that it did because I got nervous for a minute. You slimy, um, weasley. Fuck. I think you did a great job, and uh, I'm really glad that Magnetar and Mudahar buried the hatchet. So that was a little scary, but um, do the arcade stream, Norman Normie? Maybe. Yeah, I would. I would like to do that soon. Uh, let me get a video out of my main channel, and then we'll think about how we can do a pinball stream. But I do think. Uh, we need to get back and wrap up this Mac stuff, and then we could be a bit more casual before I get off. Because I don't want to be here for another hour. Uh, six hours is nice enough. I, I don't do these long streams. So two in one week is kind of crazy. On, you're <laughs> fucking not making content as it is. Make it eight at least. <laughs> fucking don't be lazy. Okay, sorry. It just really... Inconsistency. You're coming. You're the fucking... You're not even the tip of the iceberg yet. You're floating over it. And we're fucking, you know, 50 leagues... <laughs> You know what's crazy is I still feel like I don't know a, th a third of what Chud Logic knows. And I've literally done two streams on this that are over four hours each discussing it. I now have 10 hours on Mama Max and I don't know anything. It actually is true. I don't know anything, dude. Guns of the sea. You don't know anything. We haven't learned a fucking thing. For fuck's sake, dude. Come on, get with the program, bro. <laughs> What the I'll fuck do another you four about? hours, Chad. It didn't mean anything. I did another four hours. I don't know anything. Maybe we can talk to That's not enough, about. mate. Come on. It's not. He's right. You're <laughs> fucking not making content as it is. Make it eight at least. <laughs> fucking don't be lazy. Okay, sorry. You're just really annoying me, man. Like, can we fucking get with the program here? <laughs> this is like a really deep... This is why I didn't want to do anything on it. This is why I didn't... Boy, do I not... Boy, sitting here now after doing another six hours make me reflect on this conversation. Oh my god. Dude, I have scratched- Two hours to find out what, what's going on here. I watched three videos, Chud. Usually, at three videos, I could tell you what happened. But not here, because I didn't fucking learn anything. Right. It's going to go quiet for a sec, because there's one more person I want to add, okay? <laughs> I need some fucking British representation in here, because I'm getting sick of you retards. Not you, Larry. Sorry. I met Queeman today. He seems pretty cool. He hates Mudahar, though, but I'm glad, uh... I mean, I don't know. He seems to be pretty good on the story. Hey, Nicholas, you're fine, Lyrics. Actually. You're actually <laughs> on the ball with this. Nicholas is like fucking, I don't know. It's like he's watched the 30 second clip of Mama Max and he's like, you spoke to this guy, mate. You spoke to him. Two yeah, years I spoke to him like in 2021, my guy. Oh, yeah, I just literally said Years that. ago. Oh, fuck. Okay, I shouldn't respond to Shud because I did in real time. Or like a year ago or something.
Maybe. I don't remember. It was a long time ago, Chuck. Okay, right. Let's reset for a second. I don't want to presume what Creeman's going to talk about, but um, one thing I want to throw out there is I'm concerned that he has been given a lot of cover. Wait, Queeman took back every single thing he said about Muda? Is that true? Well, that would be nice. By bigger creators claiming he's a pred hunter and he's done nothing. Oh, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I don't I, think I, he I did that. Say, I'm, I'm fully in the, the abuse allegations mode right now because I can't okay. believe that. He said that it in seems the like the, the oh. dominant narrative over that is just completely that. That there well, was, there was well, basically nothing well. happened that was wrong. Oh, just being he a takes back everything he said about own. me? Oh, so was he mad at me then? Wait, if he took back every single thing he said about me, is that bad? Or did he not Did he not like me before? I gotta know these things before I say they're good people, alright? If they don't like me, then they're bad people, okay? When he's, he was just like, he's, he's totally different now, it's all fine, guys. But then, like, the one girl that he had, he had to take out, like, testimony from, like, his current girlfriend at the time because she came out and started calling him abusive after the video. So, like, there's not only five girls, one of which has, like, six okay, police reports wonderful. against him. But how there's I also this other one that was testimony uh, in his favor. Max dropped a part one video, just so you know, and it addresses the lives. What? 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 No, 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 Oh my god, I literally just had a fucking mental heart attack that you just fucking did this to me. I am not playing Crazy Eights with you. Hold on. Undeafen. Undeafen right now. You're a Hello? piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, okay? You are a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Okay. Alright, We. That, I needed to do that. I have to censor that because I said too many fucks. The video will get taken down or something. I'll get age restricted. Oh, I'm not looking forward to editing this VOD. I have like a few things I know I need to hit. I'm not going to edit it that much and I'll just repost it. Let's keep going. Oh my god. You're just watching my descent into madness. My descent into total Diorio death. He but now has recanted and said no he is abusive. Trying his so best. just or the whole but then you go and watch a someone there podcast and Moot is saying Oh, there's no allegations here. And you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh no. Kuhn throwing the Muta bomb out there. Let me just yeah, clarify because we're going through a lot of fucking areas. So sorry, Kuhn, just very quickly. So there's a couple of problems here. One, which has been discovered more recently, but we're going back to is so chronologically as first, is his old reporting doesn't have much substance and doesn't seem to have done anything, but he's gained a lot of clout and credibility off of being a predator hunter, despite having no proven results off the back of it. Okay. The second thing is he had allegations against him. He responded and he admitted to a lot of schizo shit. Um, but now, but people kind of played cover for him and didn't really contend with that and just said, well, a lot of it was bullshit. And then we've also got the investigation of Canada Gerard Davis. Okay. I might disagree bad. here. Go I might on, actually Lewis. disagree here. Go which, on. Uh, Go on. Because I watched that video. I thought for the most part, 95% he uh, vindicated himself. What was, what was necessarily the part that uh, no, no, no. show he's abusive? He didn't vindicate himself in that video at all. What do you think he showed in that video in the, where he responds to the allegations? Well, it's more its more as in there's Please no evidence Please respond, to... Max. We need the content. You guys hate me. Do you guys hate me? Do you really want... Like, do you, you want the stream... To, how long do you want the stream to be? Hi, Eva. I'm sorry I accidentally referred to you as the, the what you should not be named prior. You are the other co-host of Xyle Gets Reels broadcast. That is what you were referred to as. Proof well, that he's uh, guilty. Uh, apart from six, I mean, when you when you get like a Me Too allegation, pretty much like the best thing you can really ask for is stuff like police reports at the time of it happening. So either right now, the, the story we have to believe, at least for Haley Girl, also he's admitted to all the actions that he did with her as well, by the way. All of the um, posting on Facebook, say uh, cu cutting his, her boyfriend's name into his arm, all, all of this shit, like the stalking across a number of years, 
He's admitted to all that, so he, he knows he did all that shit. So then it's just, are these other girls legitimate? But w when he tries to re refute what these other girls say, what he does is he says, oh, yeah, well, she was actually this really, this really terrible person. I was a really nice guy in the whole relationship, and then flashes a bunch of DMs up on screen. And But none of the DMs ever map onto what the, the statements he's making. He'll like talk about specific events, and they might like talk around it like slightly, but they'll never say what he's saying they're saying like throughout the entire video, but he just skims past all of them. Abs never goes into detail. And obviously there was a big scandal when the video came out that, that he had completely clip-chimped part of the phone call. I haven't actually... Yeah, that was something me... We, we talked about that at the time where the phone call didn't sit right with me, even if like all the other stuff was up the, in the air. The phone call was a bit weird hearing the whole thing. I remember, I think he sent that to me early and I was a little concerned about it gone back and looked at that part yet i'm doing that tonight. no it's bad yeah, it's bad yeah, he but, clip chimped the fuck out of it yeah so that, that's what i recalled it being bad i, I thank I you nicky i just don't i'm not fresh with it um so, okay yeah, that, that so, entire video was just a complete like, hack job by the way they're talking if about I, the magnetar thing i'm sorry i should be giving more context and reacting harder but i'm just fucking exhausted which is not an excuse and i'm now going to make sure i fucking add more to it oh. you know, it's before you respond because I, I think there's a few things to focus on that I think might really help move because otherwise I shouldn't watch it if I can't fucking react if you want to talk about this okay so I think Olivia and the Australian person will just set that to one side because you know that wasn't the, that was the weakest part of the video but the strongest yep. part that I think Queenman is getting at here is the following one there are messages that show he admitted to being a schizo, calling her and harassing her. And he says, yes, that was me and I was crazy. He admits to uploading a picture on Facebook of him cutting the stuff into his arm. Um, and then that caused the police to be called, right? Yeah, apparently he cut a name into his arm. The police weren't quite called. He had tried to kill himself. Uh, this stuff was, I think it had something to do with his military service. This is all like a decade ago. And, um, and that was something that came up in there. So it was like, oh, well, that part's legitimate. So what's what the fuck? What's going on here? Um, that was cause for concern. And Haley submitted police reports at the time. You have my permission to go to sleep, sheep sauce. I'm not far behind you. Say that he was he was harassing her. And the yeah. problem is, is that he admits to this. This is the video that Magnetar is, had made and, and came in here and was called a pedophile. Um, and those allegations remain up in the air. But Max basically says himself that he has absolutely nothing to base that off of and the burden of proof is 100 percent on mama max max needs to show more than trust me he sexted a child all right i'm sorry that's not good enough uh to say that he's a fucking pedo and to say it so confidently and giddily on his fucking stream the other night yeah i i agree that's not enough this and said yes i did do this stuff but when people speak about it after like muta on this podcast he says oh it was just a person being young and not really doing anything does that make sense so what does harassing mean like phone calling blowing up her social media oh my god i forgot i did something so fucking funny in this live stream and it's so fucked up and it was so on purpose and it's coming up and i forgot and it was like literally one of the funniest things i've done in a while and you guys are gonna be so fucking mad at me. And just like spam fucking texting. I mean, he, I mean, oh my god, up. I forgot what I fucking did. Apparently there were two instances where he showed up at her work uninvited. He showed up at her sister's birthday uninvited, according to her. He says he was invited, but there's no evidence either way. Aside from like some photos where he looks kind of creepy in the background of his her sister's birthday. Um, but yeah, so he showed up at two two events to, at work. Uh, you'll see, you'll see. I'll I'll end off. That'll be the last thing I cover because I don't I can't fucking keep going. We'll get there. Just keep streaming until we run one fact about Camden Gerard Davis. Fuck me, that's that is fucking awful. That's like a that's like the opposite of a drinking game. Thank you so much, James the Frog. Yeah, I'll just keep streaming until we learn one con concrete fact of Camden's crimes. Announced. Uh, sister's birthday, uninvited. Of exposure there was to uh, apparently she alleged that he showed up at her university and showed up outside her apartment in a car at one point. Um, yeah, blowing up her socials. I think when he started. Let's get Magnetar in here because again, I, we're not covering this, so this isn't super relevant to us. So once Magnetar joins the call, uh, slimy Weasley fuck. Like suicide bait. It sounds like cut no. bait. Where is Magnetar? Okay, he's here. Because I don't want to fucking be watching it. You can watch this on Trud's channel. I'll link it. A little doxing pedo cult. 
where he, he sicks them on fucking his goal. Queeman's funny. I didn't know he was a streamer. I just thought he was in Chud's spicy chat. Is he like a, does he make a lot of content? I thought he was just a spicy chat guy. Friends to try and gaslight them into being close to him. That's fucking nuts. That's insane. Personally, lyrics, I'm thinking that Kuhlman is being pretty convincing and you're getting pounded here. I'm sorry, buddy. The, yeah. <laughs> Nicholas, don't be a fucking dick, man. That's fucking obnoxious, you know, mate. Yo, what are we what, uh, <laughs> What's your fucking here, problem, here's dude? The fucking Jesus dick. Christ. Here's what the do fucking you mean? You've got a lot of sway somehow in this community. It's probably because you're in massive fucking size in orbit, okay? So can we just fucking <laughs> chill out a little bit? Oh, let's see, guys. We have um, 1,200 people watching at 12.20 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. So I would say, Chud, it appears um, even at, after the six and a half hour mark, yeah, I guess our stream does have a pretty big orbit. Um, I would say probably slightly larger than yours. Um, and let the two ash out. Sorry, also, I'm not, I didn't mean to do this. I just wanted to talk to Lerix, but the content is flowing. I've but added that's Magnetar, because Chud so. Logic just... refuses to compete with my obviously better show. <laughs> No, Magnetar, I didn't ask you to call him. We're just watching the clip from today. Don't worry, you're off the hook for the rest of the night, buddy. I'm almost out of here. <laughs> Being so supportive know. of your fellow countrymen. Yo, what up? I was okay. just taking a nap, and I woke up to... Some, Sorry, some I feel very bad about this, because now fucking no problem, Hades Luna, and get some we're sleep. talking about this, Thank and I'm trying to fucking here. figure out what's going on. Right, Nick, let's... you have a physical orbit and a social orbit. Thank you. So calm down and reset, okay? What do people want to say? Go. Well, here's the thing. I'm explaining it from like my perspective, what I think is like the most important things to focus on Mama Max for. And I just wouldn't approach it this because it doesn't seem as concrete. That's all I'm saying. It's like, I don't, I'm not really that interested unless he's like a rapist, like clear, like physical abuser. I'm not going to look into this guy's like personal fucking relationships. I'm going to look at what he's doing with this platform, how he's mishandling pedophile stories where this is apparently this guy's job and he's getting paid tens of thousands of dollars for each right. month. That's like, I guess, like more what I'm focusing on. That's what I'm in. Yeah, and, and I think that's fair. So what I'll, what I would respond to that is um, if that's what you want to do your video on, totally fine. As opposed to you don't want to touch it because you don't think it's... Like, it's this guy's serious. personal relationships from like 10 years ago. Unless he's like, he murdered the bitch, raped the bitch, or like physically okay, abused Okay, wait, her. she's in chat. Okay, <laughs> this, is the, this is so funny. That you murdered the bitch, raped the bitch. And meanwhile, she's talking to Magnetar, who's currently dating Haley. Uh, who I did speak to one time on Edwin's stream. She seemed nice, and I spoke to her here. But, like, she's in the chat talking, and, and fucking, he's like, murder the bitch and rapes the child. Like, holy fuck, dude. That's so fucking funny. Ten years ago, unless he's like, he murdered the bitch, raped the... <laughs> Wait. Like, it's this guy's Seriously. personal relationships from, like, ten years ago. Unless he's like, he murdered the bitch, raped the bitch. <laughs> like... Physically okay, abuser. wait, she's in chat. Can yeah, we what? not say the bitch, okay, okay, please? Okay. Can we just chill out? Okay, I mean, bitch in the most respectful way possible. Peacock, peacock. It, it's how I call fucking... Also, this Magnetar's right. their wait, partner. No. Can we just, like, let's have it's some... Just... Okay. Right. Oh, wait, it's is it? Up. Okay. Wait, yes. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bro. Yeah. yeah no, <laughs> Here, that's I've, been on your, I've been on your thing before. Yeah, no, I am Haley's boyfriend. I've been her boyfriend for 10 years. <laughs> I went to high school with Max. Right. What a fucking intro. What an intro to the stream. That is a classic. No, you're good. So... Max had stalked Haley and I for uh, from 20, what, 14 to 2019. He did hold her against her will in a hotel room. He did touch her unwanted. Oh, oh, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was not. No, I didn't just do that. That was in the stream and it caught me off guard. Oh, God. Why did I hit that button? Oh. <laughs> Fourteen in 2019, he did hold her against her will in a hotel room. He did touch her unwanted. Oh, oh, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. Oh, <laughs> You're a I'm retard. So sorry. That was, uh, that was fucked Nicholas, up. Nicholas, can bad. you? Listen, <laughs> it was a mistake out of you. He just said hold her against her will. Oh shit. Oh shit. Right, come on. Yeah. Don't point it out. Just keep moving. Right. Stop <laughs> okay, fucking okay. around. Dude, 
Sean is so regretting having me on. <laughs> There's no way to misclick that. It's not even possible. Round right. Listen. <laughs> His I most recent my... ex that came out against him, which would be publicly, which would be Olivia, I think, he more than one time slept with her, like penetrated sex with her while she was sleeping, and she multiple times told him not to do All that. Right, don't have to she did not. This, part. this is some serious shit now. Lots of videos, but no. I, I say as I fucking did that a minute ago. But yeah, she was on here. I'm going to link this in the chat. You guys can watch this. I, I, I can't do it. I can't steal from Chad right now. I'm so fucking tired. Here's the VOD link. I'm sure it'll be a, an ad hoc panel click. I can't do it. I can't. You got to play the Fortnite clip, Nick. Smaggle, what is the Fortnite clip? What is that? What the fuck is the Fortnite clip? Oh, God. Well, I thought it was funny, so ha ha ha. Is that Haley? I can't tell. I don't know what your YouTube account is. Oh, I'm hoping it is for confirmation that I am also funny, but I'm not sure. Um, wait, where you played Fortnite on his... Oh, fuck, I did that too. Wait, I, okay, so I was just trying to do that, you know, just for... Because I always, I, I always turn my camera on. Where is this? Where Chud just does not know what to do because I turned my camera on while she was explaining her story. Where is that? Uh, I don't know if... It's, is it here? Did he... Is it out of the VOD? One of his girlfriends, obviously having with you, Anthony. Calling a few guys, yeah. I'm not seeing it. We watched it earlier. We watched it earlier. No, that's after. And he needs to stop click and discuss. Yeah, yeah. anyone have a time stamp to Like, that's where you do, like, a, like cancels. I don't know, I get, he doesn't agree with that, so I'm not gonna... Hold on. Where is? Guys, I'm sorry, I can't find it. It was here. Oh wait, I found it. We did follow up. Follow up because that, um, that, that was a fail. A relationship, <laughs> proper investigation. <laughs> when we did follow up. A few months later, I think UNT police department specifically said they didn't follow up Dude, because look at, they thought look at it was. Chud. He like moves his face off camera yeah, to he... laugh when he know. Like you could see it in his glasses that he just looked at it and he's like, "What the fuck is this guy doing? Why is he hitting the gritty?" UNT police department specifically said they didn't follow up because they thought it was a relationship fight, like they thought they were dating or something like that, um, which was a failure of. of <laughs> like he's trying not to police laugh. Police department, um, but. I guess I don't really have any evidence of that, but was that was that before he... that it wasn't reported like the <laughs> yeah. next day? Was, yeah. Was that before or after the situation where he uh, ad, uh, added you on Facebook with a video of him <laughs> like cutting himself? So he, we, I reported it to police um, before, right? Or was no, it right around the, the same reason time? we went to the police the first time? I believe was because and Chun's um, oh Chun just realized it now. Wait, he just realized was it right around the, the reason time. we went to the police the first time. I believe was because <laughs> he just realized it. Of the Wait, he just no. it video. Yeah, because we woke up. And he's like trying like to figure out how to disable the camera. Yeah, we reported that to police, but I remember going to UNT PD uh, before. Maybe. So I went to the police department on campus. And then chat was like, what the fuck? We were watching yes. that. Um, okay. And reported that before. And then the second time I went to the cops. Oh, that was the was... first time <laughs> I went with you. Yeah, the first time we went together was the Facebook video. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry to okay. interrupt. Nicholas, can you stop playing Fortnite where <laughs> we're talking about this serious topic, please? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, it makes me feel more good. comfortable in these discussions. Dude, My you're totally he's autistic. Yeah. He, he's <laughs> I mean, we just played Fortnite for six hours. I'm not lying. I just played Fortnite for six hours while we went through this. Oh, guys. Oh, man. <sighs> it has been a day. It's been a day. It's, it's almost seven hours. It's almost seven hours. It's almost seven hours. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm never doing this again. I don't care. I don't want to be famous. I don't care. I just want to, oh god, I just want to go back to 
not uploading anything ever. Oh my god, this is too much for me, dude. Holy fuck. No more, no more, no more rape review for a while, guys. We're not doing any more. <laughs> There's there's no more rape review for like the immediate future. All right, we're we're retiring rape review until there's a suitable story. But we're oh god, no more, no more, no more, no more. Oh man. Uh. All right, guys.